Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. got a cracking Monday planned for you. Oh, it's been a bit of a frenzy here. Um, lots going on behind the scenes, lots and lots of exciting launches galore being discussed. Um, and this morning is absolutely one of those. Now, some of you might recall that about, I don't know, a couple of months ago, maybe, I don't know, I lose track of time, but a while ago, we brought you Selenite for the first time that we recalled in a strand. It entirely sold out on that launch. And we have been nagging. I was going to say we have been maybe pushing, but no, it's, it's, it's blatant nagging um, that we get it back in stock because it was so incredibly popular. Well, today it has touched down. It has landed. We have Selenite coming up as your deal of the day hour. And my goodness me, are they beautiful. You can see them there. We've actually got them in the three sizes this time, whereas before it was just in one strand. Um, so I'm thinking about your Selenite Marlers, all of your beautiful knotting, you know, that wonderful light performance. So 10 a.m., you need to be with me because that will be another sellout opportunity um, as your deal of the day. What else do we have coming up? Well, Fire Opal is an early bird. Again, I can't remember the last Last time I've seen it, Ross is just confirming in my ear. Yeah, we haven't seen it in ages. Um, that's your early bird today, and I can guarantee at the end of the hour we're going to take it super low for the rarity that Fire Opal is. And if if you've never experienced that gemstone in terms of its visual appearance, well, think Fire and think Opal, and you get something like this: this wonderful, wonderful warmth and colour um, from this wonderful, uh, very rare, sought-after gemstone. So that's coming up, and then at eleven o'clock, I've got. Wonderful Toby uh, joining me to bring you one of the most exquisite strands of Moonstone that I think I've ever seen. I'm going to show it to you. It's a whole hour of Moonstone, but I want to show you this one. Um, full of beautiful colours, coated, we've actually coated the Moonstone, so you're going to get that beautiful uh, adolescence, of course, but you're also uh, going to be getting that magic, I suppose, um, with the exterior coating. So this and 
a collection of beautiful moonstones are coming up in the 11 o'clock hour. Now, you've missed out a few hours, Elle, haven't you? Yes, I have, but I've done that deliberately because I am joined by one of my absolute favourites I've got. And I know she'll be loving, loving the selenite at 10 o'clock. She's nodding at me profusely. I've got the gorgeous, the lovely, the wonderful, the talented Gemma Crow. There she is. Hello. <laughs> you went all coy then. You're on the split screen. You're right, beautiful lady. I'm excited about today. We can't hear you. Sorry, one second. So she just said, she said, I'm excited too. There you go. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, she's got some lovely kits to bring you as well. Some really beautiful components. Um, and of course, oodles of inspiration and know-how. So yes, Gemma's uh, kit hours are at nine o'clock. Um, and then of course at 12 o'clock for your masterclass. Are you in the room, Gemma Crow? I think I'm here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you're back. You're back. You're back. Yeah. So I, I know that this is quite a last minute stepping in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my very best to cover for Debbie Kershaw today. Um, and we've got some absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kits. Lovely hematites, coated hematites, which would go great with that coated moonstone. They really would. Really and well. And the selenite, actually. And the selenite. And I'm... Uh, I've got some selenite to play with, so I'm very excited. Ah, I did think, yeah, Ross said, um, oh, should we give Gemma some? I was like, I think she'll like that. Yeah. I think she'll like that a lot. So yeah. it's going to be uh, amazing. Um, we do love an interactive show, though, so make sure you message us, come and say hello to us this morning. Um, you can do that via text um, or online, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you look down, there's a little message to the studio, and you can say hello to us there. Now, um, it's going to be a wonderful Monday morning, and we're going to start with inspiration from your good self in the Wall of Fame. I'm sorry, Dan's just put this tea bar in front of me. Look, this is the Moonstone coming up the Toby today. Oh, how popular do you think they are going to be? Oh, there's a hundred of each. Do you know when you, when, I, I'll, I'll, confession time, I totally underestimated this, massively underestimated. I love Moonstone, don't get me wrong, but look at that. Oh my goodness me, they're going to go nuts. They're coming up at 11 o'clock, a hundred of each of those with the lovely Toby. So uh, make sure you're with me for that. Now, as I said, starting this Monday morning with inspiration from your good selves. So uh, we have lovely Margaret Gibson, who I always admire your creations, Margaret, on uh, Facebook. You're number 135. And she said, this week's entry to the WAF uses Sharite nuggets, rosary linked together with copper wire Mobius rings. The flame painted copper leaf makes a nice contrast to the fabulous purple um, of the beads, which doesn't show up um, to its best on this photo. Thanks to JM for the great deals this week, which are arriving on my doorstep as we speak. Fabulous, Margaret. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Number 136, uh, sorry, um, is Janet. Good morning to you, Janet. Oh, you've been busy. Hi, Team JM. Here's my entry to the WAF for this week. A selection of the earrings I've made for a sale in aid of a new children's unit at my local hospital. All genuine gemstones and all from your good selves. Keep on the wonderful bonkers lot that you are. Um, you give me something to smile about every day. Whether I can watch um, or buy seeing jewellery, I have made because of you. Stay safe and well, JM family. And that's uh, Janet in sunny Eastbourne. What a lovely message, uh, Janet. And um, thank you as well for, 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 for doing those wonderful things for your new children's unit. How amazing is that? Number 137 is from Sharon. Wowzers, Sharon. That's incredible. Good morning, all. Here are my brooches, uh, a brooch of Jubilee butterflies. Oh, yes, look, they've got the Jubilee colours within. That's amazing. The Union Jack flag. Incredible. The top one has three millimeter white topaz and Union Jack color, color Delica seed beads. The bottom one is also used in Delicas. All products are from JM. Thank you and good luck to everybody in the draw. Sharon, you're amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Number 138 is from Anne Clark. Good morning, Anne. Wow, so pretty. And I love the photography. Uh, here is my entry. It's a pearl 
and black jadeite necklace. Oh, that sounds amazing. With sterling silver spacer beads and a magnetic clasp, all components are from JM. I've hand knotted the necklace. I hope you like it as much as I do. Thank you to all at Jewelry Maker for the products, inspirations, tutorials, and laughs. Good luck to all, and that's from Anne. How lovely. Number 139 is from Linda. Oh, Linda, that's beautiful. That's summertime to be wrapped around your wrist. Hi all at Jewelry Maker. Um, here is my entry for this week. It's a Peridot, beautiful large nugget uh, with rose gold spacer beads and a toggle. All from Jewelry Maker, one of my favorite gemstones. Keep up the good work and entertainment. Uh, what will we do without you? Oh, do you know what, Linda? I don't know what I'd do without you guys either. Uh, number 140 is from David Wilson. Morning, David. Oh, that's beautiful. Hello again. Here's another photo of what my wife, Leslie, has been working on. Apparently, leopard jasper rounds um, and seed beads from Jewelry Maker. She'll be so excited for you to read this out. Uh, she always watches. Thanks, everyone. And that's from Dave. Well, Dave, can I just say your lovely wife, Leslie, is very talented and you must simply must make a promise to me send more photos into the wall of fame good luck good luck to you both number 141 is from Norma morning Norma uh, again another lady that I always admire her creations on Facebook um, hello all at jewelry maker hope you're well I am so delighted with this wee number, see what you did there. Um, I've used three millimeter soda light faceted rondelles with some leftover pearls from another project and finished it with sterling silver to make this a 16 inch necklace. Uh, as always, good luck to my fellow waffers and a big thank you to all at Jewelry Maker and that's from lovely Norma. Number 142 is from the lovely Josephine Green. Josephine, beautiful as always. Hello Jewelry Maker friends, this wonderful thing, the wonderful thing about jewelry making is that you can, uh, you can even do it from your hospital bed. Here is one I've made um, and the nurse enjoyed watching too. Silver wire and lapis all from Jewelry Maker. Although the internet is not great here in the hospital, I am managing to watch daily. Good luck everybody. Well, Josephine, we are sending you lots and lots and lots and lots of love um, and a big cuddle. I hope, I hope you're well. Uh, number 143 is from Maggie. Wowzers, Maggie. Oh my goodness me, Maggie, you've been busy. And she says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here's my entry to the WAF. Just a few stretchy bracelets, the majority made with Jewelry Maker round gemstones I've acquired over the years. I have one of your bracelet boards, fantastic for uh, taking the guesswork out of sizing. Uh, doing craft fairs, I've been asked for smaller sizes, but had no way of displaying them. So down to uh, the DIY center for some foam pipe. Genius. That's a great idea. Really idea. Foam pipe insulation. Um, a bit of leftover viscose material. And hey presto, 13, 14 and 15 centimeter bracelet bars. Good luck to all this week. And that's Maggie. Do you know, again, you are a crafter to the core, Maggie. Always thinking outside of the box and ways to display, uh, display your goodies. What a show we've got planned for you. I'm really excited. So, fire opal as your early bird. Love it. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous kits with Gemma at nine o'clock and of course your tutorial. 10 o'clock, it's all about your selenite back in stock, but not for very long, I can tell you. It's going to sell out again today. 11 o'clock, it's about that. In fact, can I put those behind? Because look at the, right there. Look at that, the moonstone alongside the selenite. Mm, that's cool. 11 o'clock, yeah. Toby is bringing us this gorgeous, gorgeous coated uh, moonstone. Yeah, there's your deal of the days right there. And then at 12 o'clock, back with lovely Gemma, we've got some more gorgeous kits in your masterclass, all about hematite. So we're going to have a very colourful show today, which I'm quite looking forward to. Right then, should we get cracking? I think we should. I think we should. Should we start with Red Tiger's Eye? Arr. Arr. The Year of the Tiger and all that. Um, I was talking about Tiger's Eye on Lifestyle on Saturday night because uh, I didn't realise, even while selling one of their lovely uh, aftershaves, raw, um, it has this little, little, little Tiger's Eye swimming around in the bottom of the bottle. So very cool. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, rich, like a deep mahogany red Tiger's Eye. 300 carats that you're getting on uh, um, 85 centimetre strand. 
Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, you know how it always goes during the first hour here at Jewelry Maker. It's always a bit of a frenzy. Sometimes we'll bring you uh, sort of last in stock quantity. So if you see something that you love, you've got to be quick checking out. Um, and again, come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you this Monday morning. Um, again, that wonderful deep colour, only enhancing the quality of chatoyancy that you're seeing within every single one of these magical stones known as a phenomena gemstone. Tiger's Eye, all the big designers are working with it at the moment. I don't think it takes me to say that. You've probably seen it in Thomas Sabo. You've probably seen it in Van Cleef and Arpels. Um, and of course, the price tags that follow suit. First price crash. How many do we have, Roscoe? 30. Yeah, that's not a huge amount, is it? Especially when I know. Oh, no, I've started again, haven't I? I know what he doesn't know what you know. <laughs> Did you remember the other morning, honestly, it was like, I, you don't know what I know. And it got very... <laughs> <laughs> but I think you know it's, it, it's our friends isn't it it is our friends yeah yeah first prize crash on tiger's eye with that lovely chatoyancy that play of light that seems to migrate across the surface of the gemstone <clears throat> oh you might as well might you <clears throat> You might as well. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? <laughs> Even if you just put it sort of in a in a glass in a jar dish. or something, you know, that's that's amazing. A pound? A pound. A pound? One pound for three hundred carats of tiger's eye. Good morning, lovely jewelry makers. I can see you all there. <laughs> Up and with it this morning. Have you joined the lovely Ruth? Um, for the for the very 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 early early show over at Hobby Maker, um, well, Karen, you're on it this morning. As is Linda, Andrea, Joanna, new customer Jackie, Diane, uh, Julianne, Maureen. I'm sorry, what was that? It wasn't early. Wasn't that early? No, not that early. Yeah, should we just should we just put this one out there? Just to hang on. What are you on about? We get up that time every morning. Yeah, what are you on about? What are you in your pajamas for? I've been for a morning run before. No, I don't really. I, I, I took it that step too far. You were believing me, weren't you? You actually believed me until I, I said that last bit. I've been for a jog. Walk the dogs. No, I haven't. I haven't. No, 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 I haven't. It's not true. Before I said that, you believed me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Can you imagine? I admire people that do get up and go for a jog. Oh, yeah. It'd be lovely it? <laughs> to do it. I'd love to do that. I'm like, I need caffeine. Right then, moving on. Moving on to. Um, am I doing the beautiful Iolite? Oh, gorgeous sources um, of wonderful Iolite, that really wonderful, rich uh, indigo blue. This would be. Oh, Gemma, mm -hmm. with the selenite. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Perfect with the selenite, that lovely silvery colour that goes through the kyanite. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Hello, Isn't how that? beautiful are those selenites? Look at that, they're magical, aren't they? They would be perfect alongside mm. uh, the iolite that you are seeing here. 38 centimetres of natural beauty. A gemstone that is overlooked, I feel. Um, can and does fetch some very high price points, of course. I know that our sister channel have done some absolutely amazing collections of iolite in the past. But I, I don't know if they've actually got any currently within their uh, portfolio of treasures. £19.99. It's quite a unique blue um, because you get this really beautiful, like I said, in, like an indigo blue, isn't it? It's mm. not the same as Tanzanite. You're not going to mistake it for your aquamarine or your sapphires even uh, because it has that injection of uh, purple running through. Now, Ross has just said in my ear, no way near. 60 seconds is ticking away. How many do we have? We have 70 opportunities. I think we could probably count on our little uh, little little digits um, the amount of times that we've actually brought I like to air. <laughs> we could, though. We could probably count how many times we've brought this to air over the past six months. Yeah. We could, couldn't we? Yeah, it's, it's not... It's quite I couldn't do a showcase of I like. No. It's gorgeous. It always reminds me of ink. You know, Inky. when you drop ink into, yes. uh, into water and it disperses through you get those lovely purples i think one of one of our lovely viewers when i last time i actually saw i like said something very very similar actually yeah. said you know uh, you know what it reminds me of the old fountain pen yeah. days you yeah. know you used to dip 
dip the nib in the ink when you're in school. Uh, 19 99 only, but it's going even lower. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds. You know what to do. I've got 70 of these available. Absolutely adore the saucer. I remember when they erupted onto the jewellery maker scene and they have sustained, maintained that real popularity here um, amongst our viewers because they're almost, well, they're a bicone effectively, aren't they? We're going again. The clock's ticking again. Should we take it under £10 for your, for beautiful Iolite? This wonderful gemstone, which is often uh, mined in some of the most remote locations on our beautiful, beautiful planet. Twelve ninety nine is already an amazing deal, but... Um, if Roscoe can take it lower, then he definitely will. I'm def I've definitely got the vibe of using this with selenite. Um, just as little pop, a little punctuation. Yeah, I think it'd be gorgeous as spaces with those selenites. Just literally dot them in between? Yeah. Look how gorgeous that is. Together, they look absolutely amazing, don't they? Mm. Such a pure white gemstone. It's sold out. Um, when we last brought this to air, it's going to do exactly the same this morning. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that for nothing. Um, yeah, check out, check out, or as so many of you already are, but it's going even lower. And regardless of whether you get involved um, at the first, um, on the, at the first price tag, or whether you get involved at the under ten pound price tag, everybody pays that final low price. Uh, but don't be shy. Come and say good morning to us. Top of the morning to us. We'd love to hear from you. Nine ninety-nine. Ross for Iolite. Goodness me. Twenty carats of Iolite, no less. Impeccably faceted Iolite. And we're at a single figure price tag. Things like your stacker bracelets, your stretchies, you can incorporate these in amongst uh, your sea beads, of course, because they have got that bicone-esque. Uh, shape mm -hmm. you know what to do lovely jewelry makers and again a rarity that we see uh, a rarity that we actually see this gorgeous gemstone um, in any shape or form quite frankly uh, but particularly in your sources loving it absolutely loving those beautiful blues something again I think would be really perfect alongside your deal of the day good morning Charlene Samantha London hello to you Michael Carola Brenda Margaret Veronica new customer Dorothy London another Carol you're there as well I hope you're all well and uh, I've got a few of you multi buying on this again it's not one of those uh, gemstones that we show we, we show every every single day, um, every single week even. Um, it is a real rarity. A gemstone of uh, a wonderful pleochroism. You get this wonderful uh, uh, sort of indigo blue. Um, but with it being faceted into a saucer, not only are you going to get those beautiful qualities, you're also going to get this incredible surface luster as light bounces on uh, off the outside of each of those gemstones. Don't leave it in your baskets because I can tell you 70 is not a massive quantity. Not for us here at Jewelry Maker. That can get snapped up in a matter of seconds. And again, come and say hello to Gemma and I. We would love to hear from you. What have you been up to this weekend? Who sparked up the barbecue this weekend? Because it was glorious, wasn't it? Oh, it was lovely. No, no barbecue, but lots of no. gardening and Lo painting furniture and things like that. So. You've been doing, yeah, that, that was me. S Saturday, I was literally here all day. Come 10 o'clock, I could barely open my eyes. Um, but uh, then Sunday, yesterday, got up, cut the grass, what the dogs, did the food shop with Tiggy, got home, put Tiggy down to sleep, had a uh, half hour on the sofa, chill with a cup of tea, then start cooking Sunday dinner. Um, yeah, it was all rum zum zum yesterday, but really enjoyed it because the sun was actually out shining. Our barbecue's broken, so no barbecues for us at the moment. We need to get a new one. We could do it the old school way, but nah, nah, it's, uh, that's too much hard work. Um, like to press a button. Um, shall we do... Oh. This is gorgeous. You've, is it described as gold? Yeah, golden and blue. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, because it's almost Peter Sight esque. You've got a really wonderful, quite a mesmeric blue that you see within this, uh, within this strand. Uh, and a fusion of your golden tiger's eye. There is that phenomena effect that we, are, uh, that we always describe. Uh, with tiger's eye, it's microscopic platelets within the gemstone that capture the light and bring you this beautiful phenomena um, as if it travels across the surface of the gemstone. Um, that's called chatoyancy. I think it's positively poetic. Um, amazing tiger's eye. I love the fact that you can now get it. Yes, you can get it in its natural golden color, but actually with a little bit of a treatment process, um, you, it brings to another dimension doesn't it 90 carats early bird price tag what 
3.99. One price crash, we've just gone lowest ever price tag. I think that's fairly obvious. £3.99 for six mil rounds. Uh, I, mm, I knew that this was going to be popular. There's 20 of these available and you are, you want it. There's so many of you there. Linda, uh, Lincolnshire, Carmel, Sheila, Joanna, Joe, Tracy, Charmaine, Brenda, North Yorkshire. You have to, there's 20 that all that rather there were 20. Uh, good morning to you, Julie. Hi, Elle. Day off. Looking forward to a show with you and some Monday bargains. Oh, well, it's lovely to have your company, Julie. Um, enjoy your day off, my darling. What are you up to? I know you're going to be with us, you said there. Half of the day, you've said that. But uh, yeah, tell me, tell me what you're going to be doing for the rest of it. Because I think, making jewellery, of course. Now, in a couple of auctions, I'm going to show you this. And a couple of auctions, I'm going to bring it to air. This is your Millennium Jade. Now, there are only a few of these left, hence why it's included within the, uh, um, the early hour. There's 150 carats of natural Canadian jade. Now, this was a big star buy. It's been at big auctions in the past, of course, but because of the quantity purely um, is the reason why we are squeezing it within this hour, but a huge collectible opportunity, often referred to as Millennium Jade. Um, so, yeah, just giving you a heads up. Hello, Nikki. Hi. I'm so excited. Oh, why? In October, I'm going to Arkansas, uh, Arkansas to see my daughter. Oh, bless you. Becca and the granddaughter, Emma. It'll be the first time I've seen Becca in 22 years. Wow. Oh, Nikki, that's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. That's a long time. Nice. Oh, you're going to have the best time. And that'll be here before you know it because time goes, doesn't it? It goes really fast. So, oh, so fast. Lovely. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm really excited for you, lovely. You enjoy, you enjoy. Um, you, can get, you can make some goodies, can't you, between now and then um, to spoil them with. And I know how incredibly talented you are. So again, that's coming up. Don't forget, you've also got your beautiful fire opal um, as your early bird, a gemstone we very, very rarely ever see. Keep those messages coming through because I love to hear them, hear, uh, hear from you. Um, moving on to Neon Appetite. Uh, no, I would have described them as oval, ovals. Yeah. Definitely, ov <laughs> is it ovular? O o o oval. Ross is like, <laughs> no, Ross, I don't think that is a word that we use in that context. <laughs> That's quite funny that I just repeated what you said, though. <laughs> I would do no question. I was like, ah, yes, are these uh, <laughs> oval? Uh, <no. laughs> oh, yes, they are oval, and they are also really beautiful neon appetite. Um, did anyone notice, I wonder? Did anyone notice? Um, beautiful neon appetite where you get these wonderful, wonderful, quite invigorating blues. Now, I've got 35 of these and the first price crash is not what you're paying. Um, I think these could be. I'm thinking back to the, that presentation that I've brought you on the jewellery editor where, you know, I, I can say it. Look, neon appetite, which is included. Much like these, they, they have inclusions, but those inclusions often in gemstones make up the beauty and showcase um, that they are genuine treasures. Not stopping here. Remember, this is a gemstone that naturally forms um, in a granular almost size. So to get a big size neon appetite, there's a quote within that PowerPoint that says, size matters when it comes to neon appetite since finding a gemstone over one carat is rare. I'm literally saying that word for word. 220 carats, these are each, uh, uh, each well, significantly over that carat, wait, I can't do the maths, uh, right the way up from 10 by 11 millimetres to 14 by 10 millimetres. Now, we're not even stopping there. Did you say we had 35 of these, Roscoe? 20 of them are left already. Yeah, because, look, County Atrium's bought four, Berkshire's bought two, Sorry's bought two. Um, good morning to you, Brenda. Hello to you, Beverly. Hello to you, Marie, Paulina, Maria, and another Brenda. Nice to see you. And Lynn, uh, lovely to be with you this morning. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. <clears throat> 6 pounds Six pounds ninety-nine for Neon Appetite. Goodness me, that's a low price tag. For, you know, like I said, they're not nuggets, are they? They're no. not teeny-weeny. 
that's amazing, isn't it? I love neon appetite. Me too. It's one of my favourites. That's, and they're really big sizes. Great for rings, I think. Those. Yeah, that's what I they're was nice thinking. Nice rings. rings, even cufflinks. Oh, what do you think of that? Lovely. Yeah, guess what? They've sold out. Knew they would. Knew they would. Well done. Okay, let's. Coming up, beautiful, beautiful Canadian Jane, uh, Jade, often referred to as the Millennium Jade, and I'll explain why. Coming up in one, possibly two auctions time, completely natural completely and utterly natural if i said spinach green to you then it might start ringing some bells um but yeah this is the, this was the strand that we had the email from uh, dave tross because he saw it and went oh my goodness you've got spinach green which is uh, he said i don't think we're going to be able to replace that it's coming up in one or two auctions time the last remaining quantity of those but before that um let's do some really beautiful amethyst oh this strand is gorgeous there are 84, so that's a big quantity, isn't it, for first thing in the morning? That's lovely. Um, faceted rice beads, beautiful. Yeah, really uh, really angular. You're not waving at me. Um, <laughs> just... I was trying to get the attention in the studio, oh, in the gallery. You weren't get, trying to get my attention? No. no. ever the professional that I am. Yes, Gemma? Yes. <laughs> oh, you don't want me, sorry. Gallery? Gemma wants you, sorry, yes. Yeah. See, this is the thing, I should have just pretended. Um, <clears throat> amethyst with chevron markings and pat patterns within. A really generous drill hole, so you could possibly even put some of your... Um, cool, uh, some of your thicker cords and wires running through these as well. Really lovely shape. Um, some might refer to this actually as dog tooth amethyst or, or chevron amethyst because you have those wonderful progressions, those beautiful uh, chapters within a page of a storybook, I suppose, um, in the gemstone's actual formation. Now, it's totally natural. And in one minute's time... Are you going to finish that sentence? <laughs> or, was that, or was that you being... Uh, you you being all mysterious then, Ross? Were you, were you dramatic? You been you been Dermot O'Leary on X Factor, Davina McCall. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. He was being all dram <laughs> dramatic, saying, and in sixty seconds, well, actually, in thirty-seven seconds, we are taking this under ten. There was that good. Was that a good pause? Well, that's good. Yeah, move over, Dermot. <laughs> the winner of 2022 X Factor is. <laughs> Sorry, you don't. <laughs> what what am I talking about? It's going under ten pounds for this beautiful, beautiful strand of amethyst with those wonderful, wonderful stories. Like I said, I always see it that way visually. It's a it's a lovely gemstone that um, shows you how the gemstone has actually progressed during its formation, and I find that absolutely fascinating. Um, under ten pounds. Look, I've said it now. We had a quantity of these, but again, straight away, immediately, people are getting involved. Really lovely shapes. I mean, Gemma, they're perfect for things like your malas. Absolutely, yeah. They're, I mean, they're gorgeous. You could just re strand them i'll tell you what else they look lovely in amongst like your chips and nuggets as well you know so if you've got sort of lots of texture in that in sort of a cluster of those and then one of these it, the scale works really well it balances doesn't yeah. it and that what do we is, think about this that is absolutely gorgeous isn't it rosary link nice long line oh. some nice silver so if i made this silver link would you like it yes i would i think i think it's got a bit of gemma crow written all over Definitely. it Definitely. And um, this is the selenite that's coming up as your deal of the day today. Yeah, rosary linking, malas, all of the above. Mm. So many of you are getting involved. And I would be tempted to use this alongside your, uh, uh, your Canadian jade. I think that would be absolutely beautiful yeah. um, in, uh, in, in combination to one another. Again, lots of you there. Lincolnshire, Suffolk, Linda, Belinda, Brenda, Pauline, Denise. Hello, Christina. Hello to you, Staffordshire. Hello to you, uh, Carol. South Yorkshire, you're there. London, you're there as well. Uh, make sure you do check out, though. Don't leave them in your baskets. Pointless exercise, that is, because they're not guaranteed to you until you make those confirmations. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Uh, lovely Mark Jackson just walked past. Ah. Um, okay, it's time. Now, this was very aptly named Millennium Jade because this discovery was considered to be one of the greatest discoveries of the millennia. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's high praise, don't you think? Um, <clears throat> here's a, a wonderful gemstone that is all natural 
um, all completely natural. And actually, uh, I think it was, was I can't, don't quote me on the exact numbers, but I think it was 80 to 90% of its deposits went immediately over to the Chinese market. Now, this was the strand that when Ross and I first uh, were discussing its launch, uh, Dave got wind of the fact that we actually had this, Dave Troth, and he sort of said, okay, let me, I had a little look at it. He was like, that is spinach green jade. That's like imperial to jadeite. Spinach green is uh, to nephrite. Look at the quality of this colour. Oh, my goodness me. But I will tell you, there is only a handful of these left. Now, this has been major auctions. This has been... <coughs> a, yeah, this has been... <coughs> This has been a headline strand or a headline launch of location parcel. Yeah, we've had a few that have uh, um, yeah slipped through the net. <coughs> we have played them without knowing the importance and the significance of what this deposit is all about. Millennium jade. Uh, jade forms all around the world, all around the world. And jade, as we all know, is the umbrella title for your jadeite and your nephrite. They don't actually single it out uh, in, in sort of eastern locations. Um, I think most of you can tell because of that beautiful luster. It's like a waxy luster across the surface of your nephrite. But yeah, spinach green is the terminology that you would use for what's on your screens right now. And that basically is like imperial green to the jadeite world. It's all completely and utterly natural. How, remind me again, Ross, how many did you say we have? 80, that's it. There was 500 originally and they've absolutely flown out the door. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The quality of the colour. Again, the uh, Millennium Jade aptly named because it was a, a vast boulder that was discovered in this location that had the most unbelievable colour um, that we'd ever seen. And this is from that amazing, amazing deposit. That's how jade forms, whether it's nephrite, whether it's jadeite, in these big boulders. Um, and, yeah, obviously it's not always guaranteed to have that beautiful colour. At the find of the millennium, there we go. You can actually see it written just there, discovered only in the year 2000, 18 tonnes. Um, that was split, you can see there, uh, for beads and also for your beautiful carving. Well, you're getting some of that wonderful quality, that amazing, amazing spinach green saturation, and you can enter uh, this opportunity right now. Now, um, you might be thinking that this is going to be something that you, know, you, you, you really have to dig deep for. Well, you're shopping with Jewelry Maker. We do our absolute best to bring you the best possible deals. Even if we were to stop at £99.99 .99 for Millennium Jade, one of the most exciting discoveries in the, Jane, uh, in the Jade world of the millennium. We're not stopping there. I'd use this with your selenite. Mm. That would look lovely. Because of the richness of colour. Yeah. Do you want to see another price point that we are not stopping at? We should. Because I want to show you. Can I show this? Now, the majority of the jade goes to the Chinese market. The remaining quantity goes to the likes of Tiffany's & Co. Goes to the likes of Van Cleef & Arpels or Cartier. I'm just going to home in on, on Tiffany's for one second. Because if... Not right now, because you, you need to be securing yours. Go on to Tiffany's & Co. and look at Elsa Peretti Jade. You will find, and by the way, it is nephrite, same as this. Elsa Peretti's Jade Eye is this colour. And they are expensive pieces. Often in your free forms, they do like one which looks like a kidney bean. <coughs> and some lovely sort of carved heart-like shapes. Um, and here we go. Uh, here's some pictures to show you. It is the same material that you are looking at right now. Um, that beautiful spinach green nephrite uh, that you can get hold of. Not at £19.99. Here, look, look at those. This, it's exactly the same material as what you are purchasing right now. Beautiful. Beautiful spinach green nephrite today twelve ninety nine. That's that's ridiculous in the best possible way. You're getting one hundred and fifty carats of spinach green jade for twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. 
you know what, and I know I've kind of sort of paced through this auction opportunity purely because we only have 80 of them and, it, and you know, most of you, you know your gemstones, don't you? If you've never really heard about this opportunity, then like I said, have a little look at Elsa Peretti. She is probably one of the most celebrated uh, jewellery designers in the world, frankly. I know that our sister channel um, did hours sort of uh, in homage to her amazing skills. She's included this very gemstone in some of the Tiffany's and Co collections. Um, um, and yeah, the prices are steep. They are very, very, very considered and expensive. Um, I'm not saying that you would, that they're not carved into hearts or like serpent shapes, but you have got definite free forms. I'm looking at the bottom right hand side of your screens right now. You know, take, so, uh, take, take inspiration from such a designer and know that you're not paying anywhere near those prices. We had 80 opportunities. Lynn Tracy, Ayrshire, Miss, uh, Mrs. in Cornwall, Helen, Brendan, Leicestershire. Uh, there's the kidney bean. Look, one just on some gold chain. How beautiful is that? simplistic but because you have got such a quality of color uh, from this amazing discovery you have that spinach green remember that dave actually said sent ross and i a message was going guys understand what you've got here was basically what he was saying um and <clears throat> And we didn't. We didn't understand the scale of, uh, of how exciting this opportunity was and this ac acquisition was. Um, but we went on regardless and we still brought it to you at 12 99 But I hope that you all realise that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Beverly Mavis, hello to you, Trish uh, and Paul. Hello to you, Heather, Julie. Uh, hello to you, County Durham, Julianne, Belinda, Cheryl, Michael, Leicestershire, you've got yours. Those of you that haven't checked out your baskets, I would do it ASAP because 80 is not a massive quantity and there is a lot of multi-buyers. Gemma, what would you do with something like this? Because it's such a beautiful, rich colour. You know, jadeite, I love jadeite, mm -hmm. but with nephrite, you do get a real intensity of colour with this spinach okay. green quality. You do, it's gorgeous. And I, I would emphasise that, I think, by rearranging the strand and doing sort of an ombre effect. Oh, wow. Um, Restranding it, perhaps just the odd spacer just to break up the colour, the colours, or maybe, maybe even... I love the idea of putting the um, amethyst with it. Oh, lovely. Sort of sections. Again, that, that nice clusters of nuggets and then chunky gemstones. Gorgeous. What about what about contrasting it with something like fire opal? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'll probably take out the rich oranges. Maybe in match the intensity of the green with the intensity of the orange. Yeah. And then graduate. You could have the orange and the green ombreing then. That would be gorgeous. What about putting jadeite? It's sibling gemstone oh, yeah. alongside. Yeah. What about putting those two together? So you've yeah. got the siblings yeah. in one amazing piece of jewellery. Yeah. That's um, we're going to do this right now. We've only got 10 of these. They are big pieces of natural type A jade. Well, how about if I told you that if you are thinking, yeah, I like the idea of that, Al. I like the idea of putting nephrite with jadeite together in one amazing piece. Well, you can make that piece of jewellery today for less than 26 pounds, um, both of which are natural. You know, the, these aren't polymer impregnated, they're not dyed in any way, shape or form. This is all type A grade. And they're not small, not small at all. You see as well, the, the difference between those two gemstones, amazing color. This is more like your sort of blossom, uh, sort of apple green, shall we say. And then you have the spinach green color with your nephrite. I think that would be a really beautiful, beautiful design to put the two together. And you've got those organic shapes as mother nature intended. I only we had 10 and they are getting snapped up uber fast julie's got two well done belinda and heather you're straight on it this morning um as is ella lovely ella nice to see you i can't i can't separate them i don't want to separate them i think they belong to to one another um stay where you are gone well done well done well done uh, no i don't see that it might just be me remember coming up Remember, coming up, you have your beautiful fire opal. I think I found it, yeah. Um, yeah, coming up as a big star buy in just a couple of auctions time. Right now, let's bring you... Oh, that's amazing. So look at this colour. It's quite a distinctive colour of tiger's eye, one that we don't see every single day. Um, it's reminiscent of Petersite to me. It's all obsidian almost, like yeah. a gold and obsidian. 
it's it's a really deep inky bl blue yep, do you all think can you see that lovely. and here in the studio we're probably not even seeing it in its best light when you actually take this out to natural light you start seeing the chatoyancy you start seeing the depth of that midnight blue under temp oh i mean there's that and there's that We've got 30 of these. That means we're not stopping at 9.99. We're going to go even lower. Do you see where I'm coming from? It's that really beautiful, again, quite a deep, uh, deep inky black uh, blue, sorry. Do you know what I'd use this with? And you've probably all thought of it already. Yeah. Did you think that too, Adam? Nice. Yeah. Did you think of that, Gem? Uh, Put the two together. That's gorgeous, yeah. yeah. And, and, oh, with yeah, your night. Definitely, because that movement, that sort of cat's eye sort of movement over both really complement each other as well. Oh, yeah. I think that's lovely, actually. Now, we've got the 10 mil, the 8 mil and the 6 mil in your cellar night coming up at 10 o'clock today. It will sell out for sure. I want this strand. I want this strand and I'm going to, I'm thinking about your lovely Marlas and I would probably go with like a, a mixture of your gold and blue in a, in a big tassel, big chunky tassel at the end. Not even stopping here. We had, how many did you say? 30? Yeah, 30 of these. Not anymore anyway. I haven't got that anymore. It's great for gents jewellery. I think Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Father's Day is June 19th. June the 19th. I always know that it's around that day because my husband's birthday, he has, it's like his birthday and then it's Father's Day. <laughs> so he gets a, a double dose of spoils in the June month. So, uh, but I tell you what, it doesn't have to cost the earth, does it? When 6 99 I'm bringing a beautiful gemstone. Um, could be deemed as quite a masculine stone if you wanted to use it um, for the men in our lives, of course. But at the same time, I would wear this, Gemma. I'd wear Absolutely. this definitely. Definitely. And me, definitely. I, I love Tiger's Eye and I... I, I love it dyed as well. Yeah, me too. Uh, you know, it's one of the ones that I really do actually think it enhances it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It, 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 it certainly enhances the chatoyancy. Yeah. Because um, it's almost like a, I don't know, like a black opal where the darker colour seems to accentuate the yeah. performance in the gem itself. 6 99 there were only 30. Good morning, Jackie, Michaela, hello to you, Tracy, Dave, Sarah, Beverly, Lincolnshire. New customer, new customer, welcome. Um, hello to you, Helen, hello to you, Anne in Northamptonshire. Lovely to be with you this Monday morning. I hope you're all well. The sun is shining. Do you all feel now that it's official? Summer is official. Yeah. I feel like it's finally arrived because it's been kind of like tentative in the background but now I put washing out for the first time yesterday yes put washing nice, out isn't it? outside i'm going back to the back to this uh, the months where i put my washing out then i have to shake it vigorously to check there's no bugs yeah. attached to it because uh, <laughs> yeah i had a very big spider encounter yesterday and you know once you see once you've had but you have to shake everything I was yes shaking my coat this morning totally <laughs> I'm, I'm with you i was in the bath funny enough uh, not uh, a couple of days ago i'm gonna i'm gonna soak in the bath and i just do you know at my peripheral saw this <laughs> across the floor <clears throat> i was like Tom! <laughs> uh, I, I i would never hurt them but i'm not too comfortable with them just chilling whilst i'm having a soak in the bath i'm, oh. I'm fairly vulnerable then aren't i so <laughs> i don't really want a, a spider right next to me um <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, it is time. Actually, do you know what? Can we just show that? Because I want to show you the intro. The intro to your early bird could not be any more appropriate for this incredible gemstone. Opal is actually one of those treasures that comes in so many different vari variations. Fire Opal, well, it's perfectly named. As described, these wonderful flashes of red, orange, yellow, and even the purest of white. Up next. So this is a gemstone that I genuinely can't remember the last time I actually brought it to air. It's been months. I think it's been months, and me personally, of course, anyway. Um, it has been months and months. And let's just go back to Opal because 
People that are maybe new to the gemstone world will think opal is, you know, your Australian opal or your Ethiopian opal, where you have that play of color, which is lovely. And of course, that is a wonderful variety. But it's got actually lots of different facets, this gemstone, because you can have boulder opal, you can have matrix opal, you can have dendritic opal, you can have mosaic opal, and you can have fire opal. I mean, there's window opal, there's so many different varieties of. Um, but if you were to say to somebody that's maybe new uh, to the gemstone world, fire opal, visualize it, it would probably be exactly what you're about to see. Um, wonderful warm colors and often a gemstone that forms in or around volcanic activity and it's like that, that, you know, that heat and those pressures seem to rub shoulders with the gemstone and transfer that energy within. Now, with fire opal, it's not the same as what we would be looking for in sort of your more usual opal, um, because this doesn't display play of colour as such. It is more about the overall body colour. So the, 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 the strawberry reds, uh, the beautiful tangerine oranges, um, the wonderful buttercup yellows that you see, uh, and the purest of whites. So it is actually about more the body colour um, within this gorgeous gemstone. My next door neighbour years ago, uh, bless her heart, she was, um, she was a, a lady in her 70s and like, we used to get on so well. We used to do gardening with one another. We used to go shopping with one another all the time. And I noticed that she, uh, that she actually had a fire opal as an engagement ring. And when I asked her about it, she said um, that her husband had bought it for her to, um, because it, it, it reflected her personality. She said, I'm fiery, and therefore I had to have a fire opal. So it always has quite a nostalgic meaning to me as well. Um, but it's a visual beauty. Again, if you can imagine the introduction to your early bird, those wonderful, rich, uh, the heat of the reds, those really beautiful, dazzling oranges and sunflower yellows and even the purest of whites, it's utterly beautiful. Again, an opaque stone, but they glow from the inside out. Now, I can't remember the last time that I actually brought this gemstone to air. It has been months. I do think it has been months and months and months. Um, and something that, to be honest, I would literally just restrand and wear as is. You know, we are in the summer months now. So, you know, these kind of beautiful colours uh, are going to look absolutely beautiful, just literally draped across uh, your decolletage on some sterling silver chain, which I, I believe I can actually bring to you as part of the show as well. Now, <clears throat> this has never been on our screen. Did we buy quantity of these? Oh, that's good. But what that means, we've got a big quantity... It's the first strand that we have had in absolutely ages. I'm having that confirmed in my ear right now. Wayne, our gemstone buyer, was able to buy 300. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because when we have a bigger quantity, it usually means that Wayne has been able to negotiate a slightly better price tag. And he succeeded on this occasion. It is totally and utterly natural fiery heat beautiful sunset oranges um, all in its natural form 22 carats a really beautiful twist on your Oct october birthstone of course um, so if you are an october baby um, and you don't want to go down the ethiopian route you don't want to go down the uh, the australian you know pin fire opal you want something that actually shows a little bit of personality or maybe something that could reflect the actual season that we're in then this is uh, this is this is the gemstone to get involved with. For me, Mexican fire opal is my favourite, by the way. So no surprise that you are getting it from that location. We had 300 and we are going to bring this to you at the best possible price tag. Huge carat weight, 49.99, and it's completely and utterly natural. Now, I'm just going to cast my mind back and share with you, oh gosh, about seven, eight years ago, I did a show with uh, uh, one of uh, an American fire, fire opal uh, miner. He actually joined me in this very studio. Um, wonderful. And he was telling me about the lengths that they have to go to to actually just find that location. Years goes into finding that location of source. So to offer it at 49.99 in its own right is absolutely incredible. And it's only found in small amounts. You don't get huge offerings of your fire opal, sadly. And maybe that explains also why we don't get it on our screens that often. Um, this is opal, genuine opal, totally natural unique because it's fiery personality now because of that 300 quantity you won't believe the deal should we make a comparison with ourselves because 
Even here at Jewelry Maker, we have brought you Mexican fire opal of the same quality a long time ago. And we have brought it to you at prices like this, maybe even prices like Maybe even prices like this. But I think the fourteen ninety nine prices would have been for chips and nuggets. Would we all agree? Absolutely. Have you ever seen fire opal at fourteen ninety nine? No. In a faceted form? No. Gemma, incredibly, we are not done. That's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. I want to introduce fire opal to our collectors. Mm portfolio stash whatever you refer to it as because it has been a gemstone which is an investment it has been a gemstone which most of us go okay fire opal i'm going to be talking about 30 pounds upwards mm. for something of this quality and that's me being very conservative by the way on the price tag i myself actually brought rondell necklaces on what was our usa channel uh, five times the price that's on your screen. No, more than that. What am I talking about? Much more than that. Do you want to see another price tag that you are not going to pay this morning? Remember, we bought 300. Um, literally, Wayne literally snatched the hands off when he was given this opportunity. So the full quantity that he got hold of, he absolutely did. Another price that you're not going to pay. As if, we're, as if we're suggesting going lower. Oh, I've just had the most amazing idea. And Erica, it comes from you. Oh, not even paying nine nine. Not paying. We're not stopping here. So those, the, there's a lot of you that have already checked out. You've got ahead of the, of the deluge on the phone lines and on the web and on the app that is absolutely going to happen right now. Erica, you've given me a bit of inspiration because I've seen the quantity that you've bought. So Erica's got six of these. Um, are you thinking about a really big, beautiful, like a big statement fire open necklace? That'd be amazing. Can you imagine it in a bubble style? Oh. Like really layered up and having all that movement so you could really get the colours. Mix them up. Yeah. All sort of like, like you know, quite... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, no particular order or anything yeah. like that. Quite haphazard. Mix up yeah. all those beautiful colours. It would be incredible. We're going lower. We're not even stopping here. I've never, and I can say this with absolute conviction, I have never brought faceted fire opal at lower than $9.99, I, I believe, ever in my entire jewellery and gemstone career. Um, but that's exactly precisely what we are going to do for you this morning. We had 300 of these. That's, that's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I don't even remember if we've brought nuggets anywhere near that. What are you doing, Ross? That's... Ross, what are you doing? What's this? You're joking. Hang on. <laughs> what? That's... No, but Ross, that, that's not what it, that, my sheet says more than $7.99. Yes, they are. He likes to keep a few tricks up his sleeve, does our Ross. Gabrielle's bought 10. Well, why wouldn't oh. she? Well done, Gabrielle. You're not alone, by the way. Julie's bought three. Sarah's bought three. London's bought seven. Uh, Tish and uh, Paul have bought two. Erminia, hello to you, buying three. Brenda, and we did say, look, I want to introduce Fire Opal to everyone's portfolio. Um, and this is a perfect opportunity for you to do that. But that was me thinking that it, at 9.99, and that is genuinely what it says on my, on my star by sheet. 314 quantity, 9.99. That's what I was prepping for last night. Everybody is getting this opportunity, though. No, uh, this is unheard of. It should be a sellout. If I don't sell out of this opportunity, then I haven't done my job properly, frankly, because you'll never get, you'll never, ever, ever get fire open. I haven't. That's me being completely honest and upfront. If we don't sell out of this, then Wayne is quite within his rights to say, L, why don't you sell out of that, though? Six ninety nine for fire open. Seriously. That's <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, he'll be stamping around the place. He produced me on Saturday. You'd be like, what, 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 what's going on? I can't get a better deal than what's on your screens right now. Um, he's delivered. That's crazy, isn't it? £6.99 only 
pure white colours. Uh, like I said, with fire opal, it's not about it's not about play of colour because it's a very unique formation. It's exactly the same as with dendritic opal. You don't look at you don't look for play of colour. It's about the body colour. So you know, uh, and there's no no colour which is more desirable or more valuable than others. It's all down to personal preference. So I actually asked this question to that um, American miner those years ago. And uh, he actually said it's personal preference. So if you prefer the strawberry reds, if you prefer the sort of marmalade oranges, if you prefer the, that pure white, that's that's exactly it. It's pure, pure preference. Um, and that's all. Uh, it, kind of, it forms in a few locations around the world, but every single one of those locations offer it in small quantities. Again, use use jewelry makers as an example of that. How often of how when was the last time you saw fire opal on our screens? I mean, I'm here a lot. Mm. I'm here, here quite a lot, and I haven't seen it in months. Months and months and months. Jim, do you remember no, the last time? I don't think I've worked with it for a couple of years. So yeah. It's, yeah, and I haven't seen it, no, for a long time. Long time? Yeah. Well, let's ask the question. Ross, can we do a fire opal hour? Not a chance, he says. <laughs> Not a chance. We don't, we don't have any within our vault. He said, Not a chance. Um... Amazing, amazing, amazing. Six ninety nine, and there's so many of you there. Eleanor, you've got six. Hello to you, Northumberland. You've got five. Put uh, Kamarvinter. You've got six. Um, you, oh, oh, oh! Wait a second. There is one on our website. Wait a second. You can get fire opal from jewelry maker, but it's forty nine pounds and ninety five pence. Ten carats more, but forty nine pounds and ninety five pence. That's it. There it is. Okay, I beg your pardon. How many have we got of those, though? Only a few. Yeah, literally only a few. So that's our fire opal that we have. You've just seen it on our own website. Mm. It's not six ninety nine, though, is it? Yeah, making a direct comparison with, um, with ourselves. Oh, it's too late to feel bad about it, Ross. Um, it's, too, it's, it's too late to feel guilty when we're in the middle of everything. Oh, well, it's all good. Forty nine ninety five. That's still a good deal, mind. That is still a really good deal for Fire Opal of that quality. But this quality at six ninety nine is an absolute no brainer. Hello, Ray, Essex, Denise, Carol, Sylvia, uh, Kamal, Interrupter, Quantity, Weldon, Chu, Rebecca, Gloria, Christine, Catherine, Brian, Four, Beverly, Heather. Look at the quantity. Look, I mean, look how many of you there. You know that this is a hugely exciting unmissable opportunity and that's why there are literally four rows of names hello to julie uh pre-covid last show with fire opal and limited stock there we go uh, uh, yeah i i don't i don't question that i don't question that at all i think you're probably right julie i think it probably was pre-covid hello to you lanarkshire hi bought a strand of fire opal years ago uh just to look and now i have two thanks to you and making that's from eileen just to, exactly, just to look at, sorry. It, exactly. And it has been years. I, I mean, I'm here, what, two weeks of the month, and then Carol's here two weeks of the month. You're here a lot as well, Gemma. We don't see it, do we? No, no we don't. We see don't it. see it. No. We had 300 and, I'll give you the exact quantity, 14. We are down to double figures now. So many many of you said, I, I am going to capitalise and I am going to multi-buy on this opportunity. Um, I love the idea of something really sort of, you know, layering up those carrot weights across the neckline and wearing it in the ear and around the wrist. Really go for that full sunset inspiration. Okay, now... Last of stock diamonds still to, uh, to bring you, which I launched only last week. For those of you that uh, have the jade, I, uh, sorry, the, the, the Canadian uh, jade in your baskets, make sure you check that out because it is on the verge of selling out. Um, but star by straight into this opportunity, pink diamonds. Okay, so last week I uh, launched on what I recall was the first time that Jewelry Maker had pink diamonds. I, again, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I don't remember ever having pink diamonds prior to this, uh, this very strand. And I shared an article with you all uh, from the jewelry editor that spoke about the rarity of pink diamonds. 
um, they were talking about how the Argyle mine is uh, was the loca was the location that uh, sort of unearthed the most pink diamonds globally. Um, that being said, if you can remember that uh, uh, that contrast, they were actually saying, okay, to put it visually, seven pickup trucks will actually uh, offer you one ashtray of pink diamonds. But let's have a quick scan through this. Pink diamonds, a modern history of one of the most valuable gemstones in the world. Their elusive nature and stratospheric prices make pink diamonds the most portable form of wealth on our planet. Find out why here. Um, I'll read on. Rare and awe-inspiring, the pink diamond is one of the most valuable coloured diamonds in the world, worth, uh, worth anywhere between 10 to 100 times more than the equivalent white. Pink diamonds represent only 0.03% of global annual production of diamonds. Coloured diamonds, whether blue, yellow, orange or green, are more valuable than equivalent whites. But when it comes to pink, they are so exceptional <coughs> that you could fit into your palm of the hand an entire year, uh, year's yield of premium quality pink diamonds. And that makes them uh, the most portable form of wealth on our planet. So when the world's wealthiest seek out something to truly set them apart, a pink diamond is the gemstone of choice. From Queen Elizabeth to the Sultan of Brunei and Hollywood stars, uh, they are all drawn to the allure of pink diamonds. Jennifer Lopez's six-carat pink diamond engagement ring from Ben Affleck is reported to have set him back a cool $1.2 million. Tennis player Anna Kornikova's pink diamond uh, engagement ring uh, with a pear-cut center stone from the Argyle mine has an estimated value of over 2.5 million dollars. The increasing rarity of pink diamonds only adds to their allure, so much so that only about 50 or 60 top quality stones come onto the market every year. But don't expect to see conker sized pinks. Uh, most are no bigger than a pea. If, it, if that sounds disappointingly small, when a single carat can fetch almost a million pounds, it is clear anything over one carat is exceptional. Of course, smaller, lesser quality pinks in lighter tones exist in greater numbers, but they are still many times more valuable than your average white. The reason there are a few, uh, uh, there are a few top quality pinks is likely due to the force of the subterranean volcanic explosions that forced the diamonds nearer to the Earth's surface and shattered many of them on the way. Um, moving on. Although pink diamonds appear sporadically in mines in Brazil, Russia and India, the occurrence of them is nowhere on the scale of the colour saturation of those found in the Argyle mine. This one mine is 90% of the world's pink diamonds and the Argyle's pink, uh, special stones get the royal treatment. Each year, Rio Tinto, the mining company that owns the mine, invites a select few jewellers and dealers to bid for the top 1% of its offerings of pink diamonds. Now, yes... Gemporia were, uh, you know, are within that uh, that offering. You know, we've got a wonderful relationship with Rio Tinto, but and also uh, you've all heard of the Argyle mine, yeah? It's now closed. So look at that statistic: ninety percent of the world's pink diamonds come from the Argyle mine. It's now closed. We're bringing you pink diamonds. This is the last of stock opportunity. It's been on once previously with myself and it flew. It's too special. It's too rare. It's too celebrated to actually be within our vault. We have 30 of these left from a triple figure quantity from the only last week, the launch that happened last week. 12 carats of pink diamonds. I never even contemplated entertaining the idea that I could possess pink diamonds. Yes, they're in their rough form, not a single facet within these beautiful, beautiful rarities. Why? Um, because you know what? Sometimes diamonds actually, I, I love them as Mother Nature actually intended. Um, and listen, yeah, I, we're not, I'm not saying this is the top percent of pink diamonds that has come from that Argyle mine, but they are a premium grade because they have that beautiful, beautiful pink color. 69 pounds and 99 pence would be good, wouldn't it? For 12 carats. If you weren't watching on that occasion, you will not believe how low we took 12 carats of pink diamonds. The final 30 opportunities. 
29 pounds and 99 pence even if these were a sort of a yellowish color um, or a less desirable saturation of fancy diamonds and they are natural by the way these aren't irradiated these are natural diamonds that is incredible the unbelievable thing not only are you sourcing pink diamonds 12 carats off in its natural form you're sourcing them for less than 29.99 Nobody paid $29.99, and you don't have to either. There are 18 chances remaining out of the original 107. We are taking it under £20. Pink diamonds, we, I don't recall ever bringing you pink diamonds. And the reality is, with the Argyle mine now closed, being the main producer of pink diamonds to the world, um, Huey, let me just read this to you because it's so important whilst you're dialing through. Mining pink diamonds is an expensive business. For every million carats of rough diamonds produced from the Argyle mine, less than one carat will make it to tender. Or to put it more visually, it takes seven pickup trucks of diamonds to produce one ashtray full of pinks. And you are getting 12 carats for under £20 this morning. Can you tell why I was uber excited about this amazing launch? Yeah, uh, the fact that these aren't irradiated, they're not dyed diamonds, they're not coated diamonds. Um, they are completely natural. And again, you can get your certificate of authenticity. Um, I'm the only person that's brought these to wear. And I think this is, I, I'm going to be the only... OK, the only person to have them full stop because uh, because they are about to sell out. Well, I'm delighted um, that you've managed to get hold of this opportunity. One carat of pink diamond um, at £20 would be frankly incredible. Twelve is frankly amazing. I've got less than ten now. Maria, Elaine, Zoe, uh, Sandra, Deborah. We've got multi buyers. Gabrielle, Brenda, Linda, Weldon, Chu, Nicolette, Donna, Lillian. You'll go off the bottom of the screen now. I can't see all of your names just yet. Multi buyers on this opportunity, but we are down to single figure quantities. Did you imagine that this Monday morning you would wake up and go, "I could buy some pink diamonds today"? That's what you just. <clears throat> Natural fire opal, Canadian jade, pink diamonds, and now I'm going to bring you some black diamonds too. Did you imagine that's how your Monday morning was going to start? <laughs> it's pretty special, isn't it? I reckon, I, I don't know a single other person that, knows, uh, that owns a pink diamond. I, I don't. I don't, own a, I, I don't know anybody that owns pink diamonds apart from you wonderful people. So congratulations, those of you that managed to secure theirs. Um, again, get your certi certificate of authenticity because it will say the fact that it's not enhanced. It'll say the carrot weight. It'll say, of course, pink diamonds. It will not say the fact that they were, you, you just purchased them for 19 pounds and 99 pence. Janice, Surrey, Eleanor, Lynn, Devon, Olga, well done. Uh, you've got yours. USA, I can see you on the phone as well. Hello to you, Di. Hello to you, uh, leader in London. Angus, Surrey, new customer, new customer sue morag fiona new customer devon sarah uh, you need to check out your baskets if you want to guarantee your success brenda I, I can see you there on those phone lines i'm literally down to the last couple now literally down to the last few um but what an amazing amazing achievement i'm gonna leave it with you um because there are literally three left and i'm so over allocated now there is something so seducing about a black diamond Would we all agree and it was Sarah Jessica Parker um, and a TV series, Sex in the City, which was a massive, massive uh, uh, craze, if you like, in the 90s, that really put black diamonds um, on the map. When uh, Mr. Big, her boyfriend, and if this doesn't, if this doesn't, if it isn't resonating with you, then don't worry. But basically, um, he proposed to her with a black diamond. And when she asked, when she asked the question, why a black diamond? And he, she, he actually said to her, because you're different from all the rest, um, look at the luster. Nine and a half carats of scintillation of luster of diamonds. Have I got many of these, Ross? 
40 of these available. Uh, this, was, th this strand was launched alongside your pink diamonds. They absolutely flew. Um, when it comes to black diamonds, obviously, you're not necessarily talking about your brilliance. You're not necessarily talking about uh, the fire because it is. I'm not going to say it's an opaque gemstone, but it is, it's more of a metallic. It is much more metallic. Um, and our ability to see within the heart of the gem, uh, the diamond, um, is, is not there. And that's not what we should be seeing. But it's all about the exterior, which I think is why so many of us prefer black diamonds in their rough form. Now, this is not what you are paying on black diamonds. Again, can we just pinch ourselves for one second and say this Monday morning, before we even reach half past nine, did you imagine that you were going, no, don't, don't literally pinch yourselves, but you know, it's just, 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 just hypothetically speaking. Um, did you imagine that you're gonna wake up this Monday morning by nine and a half carats of black diamonds for less than 20 pounds? We've brought you such a lineup, a catalog of high-end treasures before even half past nine this morning, um, alongside your Canadian jade, your fire opal, alongside your pink diamonds, your jadeite, and now black diamonds, and we're going lower than 20 pounds. We have got 40 of these left within the vault. Again, it's only been on your screens once previously. I remember when we first started bringing diamonds and they were all what, triple figure prices, Gem, is that right? Yeah, easily. We should expect yeah. that of diamonds yeah. though. Of course. We should expect it. Yeah, everybody knows diamonds, everybody knows that they're, yeah. they're expensive and rare and precious, so. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Not 15 pounds? Definitely not 15 pounds. Not even one, you try and find anywhere that can bring you one carat of diamonds for 15 pounds. <laughs> Do you know anybody that owns nine and a half carats in one piece? <clears throat> Apart from outside of the jewelry maker family, because you probably do. You probably do, because you shop with jewelry maker, 14 pounds. <coughs> oh, sorry. And 99 pence only for the scintillation luster across the surface of this beautifully metallic stone. Uh, nine and a half carats of diamonds for 15 pounds. That's madness, absolute madness. Would you use it with some pearls? Oh, yeah. black di diamonds and pearls. Selenite. With the selenite, yes. That would look yes. gorgeous with the selenite. Oh, they'd be amazing made up in a tassel. Can you imagine, yeah. imagine a diamond tassel, as if we're saying that now. <laughs> Well, like, that's why I said pinch yourself, because it's the kind of thing that you, you, you never imagine to be able to achieve or to be able to work with. Um, wow. I, I mean, it makes me proud, really proud to actually work for this wonderful company. Yvette, well done. Donna, Johnny, hello to you, Denise, uh, Nancy, Gabrielle, Nicolette, Pauline, hello to you, Michaela, uh, Marilyn, you're there as well. Carmarthenshire, Penny, Elaine, Angus. I'm going to leave it with you because, again, time is ticking by. Um, we've got some really, really beautiful kits and inspiration coming up with our gorgeous, gorgeous designer, Gemma Crow. Don't forget, Selenite coming up as your deal of the day as well at 10 this morning. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Lovely to be with you this morning. My name's Ellen. I'm joined by the gorgeous and the ridiculously talented designer that is Gemma Crow. Oh. You're right, beautiful lady. Yes, I'm well, thank you. Thank you so much for stepping in. Oh, no, it's lovely to be here. How is, it's nice to be back oh. again so soon. I, get a do I got a double dose of you. Yeah. Twice in one week. That's oh. good, isn't it? Um, and lovely lovely kits yeah i mean these are gorgeous aren't they the tube settings and the necklaces are oh so lovely well take a little look so we've got them uh, in um drop earrings we've got them in studs and we've got almost like a like a pendant so if you can see or a charm if you wanted it to be um you're basically getting it well there's the necklace or rather the the actual pendant itself um you could put this on 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 pearls as you have seen uh with debbie's jewelry of course you could put them inside your with your selenite um it's the actual component that we're bringing you mm. and of course the actual loose stones now take a little look on the website all the w's at jewelrymaker.com and of course you can uh you can shop ahead now again we're bringing it to you in the three different designs um with each of those little mini kits you actually get the different colors so uh, here they all are um and by the way we are going lower than the prices that you're seeing um, just there. So uh, first you've got your some, some lovely three mil stones. Mm -hmm. It's not showing um, with, oh, it does, yeah. With the drop earrings, you actually get the stones as well. And likewise with the pendants. Um, so you might have some already in your stash if you wanted to secure those um, within your tube settings. And it is a simple technique, a process, isn't yeah. it, of just kind of pushing them into place. Yeah, they, they sit into the tube and, and then you rub the... the the setting over with like um with one of the, the burnisher the burnisher that's it and i think you just rub them over um I've, I've done it with my own you know made my own um sort of little cups to sip gemstones in but obviously this is all done for you so you know nice really oh, nice beautiful really beautiful i mean so elegant as well um now we've got a hundred of each of these kits um what's that have them all love it very to the point, aren't we? We've been very direct with this one. Yeah, just have them all. 
have them all um, because you've got your beautiful drops in this kit. And again, if you can see, uh, you get, let me scooch those over. You get the yellow gold, you get the gemstones, you get the rose gold pair, and also you get the silver pair as well. Um, so these are, just so you know, uh, precious metal. They are precious metal. So you've got the rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, yellow gold plated 925 sterling silver, and then also at your, well, your silver, your silver, silver. Um, then you're getting the, the, the collection of your stones. So you actually have, um, well, three pairs and one pair left over. Yeah. Um, perfect, perfect amount. I love the simplicity of this design. You're actually making, exaggerating, if you like, that uh, that shepherd hook so it sort of tails down behind the ear. That's an amazing price point, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, really? We're not even stopping there? So would you buy earrings like this, ge genuine gemstone earrings in precious metal like this in a jeweler's for $39.99? Just one pair? No, probably not. It's going to be more, isn't it? Yeah. Today, you get three beautiful luxury pairs of earrings. Well, the ingredients to make those. Wow, that's very good. Amazing. I was at, that should be the price of one of these Mm. Shepherd hooks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's fantastic, isn't it? Or the gemstones, the, even. Yeah, the gemstones and just on their own without the precious metal. And, and just, you, you know, you're not just paying for the components and the metals and the stones, you're paying for that, that design as well. It's a really current um, design, isn't it? Very Yeah, so very, on trend. Very, trend very Monica Veneda, actually, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Well, do you know, do the gemstones that you're looking at here, in here, Petalite, which I love, mm. it's, that's the pure white. Gorgeous. Rose de France, which is that really beautiful, uh, softer purple. Mm -hmm. Then you have beautiful, beautiful Peridot, and of course your Amethyst. They're amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I'm thinking back to another uh, Shepherd Hooks that we've brought you in the past. Again, comparing directly with ourselves. Three pairs of Shepherd Hooks. They were about eighteen ninety nine. You know the ones I'm talking about, yeah. the liquid-like ones. Liquid ones yeah. yeah, they were eighteen ninety nine. So for an extra pound, you're getting your gemstones. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. And those, those cups, you know, that ability to set the stone within, you know, so it's an integral part of the earring, which is wonderful. Yeah, which we've shown demonstrations on before. Um, so do have a little look on our, our, our on our Facebook page, or uh, you can also get in touch with our wonderful designers on their Facebook page uh, pages as well. Yeah, it's basically just. I mean, I've been sat with Debbie when she's demoed this. You pop the gemstone in, then you just very gently work your way around with the burnisher. Yeah, you push push the the setting around. I think I think Claire may have demonstrated on Saturday. I think she did. Claire, I think with, her, Claire with, with, with a stack tubes, of rings tube setting i think it was saturday wasn't no, it? or it friday was friday i think it was friday but yeah. yeah you see you can go back and watch that demonstration but if you i think if you go onto our youtube channel yeah like absolutely setting you'll see everything you need to know everything that you need to know um okay let's do the pendant one next again these are all available uh the, the shop ahead the um the kits are there simultaneously um so three beautiful stones Perfectly calibrated to go alongside um, these gorgeous pendants. I'm going to pick one of the pendants up. Such a gorgeous design. Very, very, very high end in the fact that you have that almost floating, don't mm. you, that, uh, that floating... Uh, um, uh, gemstone setting. Uh, so within your collection, you have Sakota Emerald, Rajasthan Garnet, and a Sphene. How often do we see wow. Sphene? Sphene known to be one of the most dispersive and fiery gemstones out there. Can you see it? Gorgeous. You it? see that spectrum of colours literally ricocheting from that gem? Um, that gorgeous, gorgeous, that's a limey green, isn't mm. it? Um, it is basically like a peridot with fire. Mm. Tons of fire, basically, yeah. Oh my goodness, the Rajasthan garnet's amazing too, isn't it? $19.99 for all of these. They are precious metal plated, gold plated 925 sterling silver, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, and then obviously your 925 sterling silver. There's a clock ticking, Ross, do you know? Oh. Oh, he does. He says, yes, of course I know. Fantastic. Do you know, I've, I've, made, I've made this, almost this exact design up myself with, um, you know, sterling silver and made the cups and made everything individually instead of having it bought. And, you know, the process takes so long. Well, yeah, sold and, and probably costs more to, to make than, than you could so buy these for. Might we, might we be better, Gemma? Mm. 
getting the kit and then saving ourselves all that trouble. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you've got, you know, that complete professionalism. And, you know, uh, and unless you oh. send things off, you can't, you, you have to pay to have things plated. So you can only work in sterling silver or copper. So You, you know. might have that complete professionalism. Um, I, however, that's no. questionable. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. And I, I know what you mean. Well, yeah, and it's, it's still it's still hand, handmade jewellery because you're setting the stones. Yeah, you're still setting it yourself. And of course, you don't have to use what you've got there. You, there's, we, we have got so many calibrated stones now, so you can mix you know, them up. Mix absolutely. Them up. I'm intrigued by this one. I love that with the pearls. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Fourteen ninety nine. Wow. That's amazing. It's five pounds each. Five pounds each with mm. genuine gemstones and precious metal. Yeah, even just the gemstones on their own. That's that's wonderful. I'm buying this kit. I'm going to buy this really kit and I'm going to recreate this this look because I uh, yeah just literally popped onto a jump ring mm. in amongst some pearls or. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really gorgeous. Becomes it, it's so high end. That simplistic mm. look. Yeah. Uh, literally having that almost floating emerald in this case love it li love it it's a gorgeous design and they are precious metal as i think most people would actually be thinking right now are oh, the base metal they're not they are 925 sterling silver um obviously with your yellow gold or rose gold plating in that case and you do get all three with the gemstones so yeah you can make that design um and i think i've been with you when you've made a design like this before mm -hmm. and, and the whole process you wouldn't be able to do the gold plated and the rose gold plated, though, would you? Exactly. This is the thing. You know, you can only work with your stone and silver, or perhaps your copper, maybe. But you know, if you wanted it plated, you'd have to send it off and pay to have that done. So. Yeah. We had a plating tool once, which was quite expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see. That it was very cool. It was it very, very, very cool. cool. But then you've got to buy the gold to do True. the plating. You've got to buy the rose gold you know it's all, all round we're actually probably better off just getting yeah. involved right now with this because yeah. it is uh, because it is far more affordable and again you haven't got a source of gemstones they have been perfectly calibrated to go within these settings candy wendy june margaret joyce maria bristol beverly vivian lynn lillian hello to you i've got i can't see all of your names because you do actually go off the bottom of the screens mm -hmm. that's working out of five pounds each pardon sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, look, how many do we have of these then, Ross? Oh, just shy of 100, but they're, 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 they're proven to be very popular. And um, do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if you are not a gemstone setter, these are still relatively easy to do, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you, you know, as long as you've got something to sort of hold it steady while you push the gemstone, that's, that's it. And I think it's, it's just a very simple tool that just pushes pushes the silver basically the silver is very stretchy you know and, yeah. and you can sort of push it so that it just hugs the top of the yeah just past the girdle of the gem it, yeah and, and, and of course protects the gemstone that uh, rubbed yeah. over setting hello June saying good morning everybody wow 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 promised no buys today but these tube setting kits are just fab I had to buy them great yeah. show oh well I, I agree with you June that's naps they are such an amazing deal and you're getting Sveen when do you see Sveen oh, I love Sveen. Me too. Yeah, it's one of my favourites. Um, it's I one of those that, that literally... Lime, yeah, lime yeah, me greens. too. Mm. Me too. It's, it, you can, you can, Sveen almost whispers in your ear saying, take me outside. <laughs> take me outside. <laughs> because it's so fiery and yeah. dispersive. <laughs> uh, beautiful. But likewise, so with the garnet. So with that gorgeous emerald as well. Five pounds each uh, for precious metal and, of course, the gemstones. Um, do get hold of the, uh, of the drop earrings to go alongside that. Um, but would you like some lovely studs? Mm. These are lovely, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Now, these, these are excluding the stones, but they take a four millimetre. You could possibly ever go at putting a four mil round. Oh, you could, then. You could give it a whirl. You know, what? you know, even if you if you don't like gem setting, you can glue. There's you know no harm in using no. glue if you want to to glue your stones into place or, or other elements. You could use these as um, a foundation for um, resin work or great idea or cerulean or milliput. Milliput, yeah. All of that. Oh, I love it. And again, you are getting the three colours, not just the gold plated. So you get the silver and you get the rose. Mm -hmm. And obviously the butterfly backs. These are precious metal. Not fourteen ninety nine. I'm hang on a minute. So how much are all three of the kits together? Nineteen ninety nine. 
£14.99, so that's £35, and we shall see with this one, shall we? Right now we're at 50 for all three. That's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. For all of... You'd make that back on one pair, I think, or one pendant. Yeah. If you, if you sell your jewellery, of course. Um, well, it's going even lower. We have how many of these available? A hundred of these available. I'm just going to... This one's a studio sample, so don't worry, I'm going to pop one in the ear so you can get an idea of the uh, sort of scale and size of, uh, of these studs. They're so gorgeous. I love a pair of studs. I do because they're the kind of uh, the kind of earring that you can literally wear um, uh, that you can wear and never even take off. Not everybody likes the dangle earrings, so or maybe you've got multiple piercings and you were thinking about the drop earrings and the studs um, a little bit higher up. Now, obviously, these aren't gemstone set, but you get the idea, don't you? So you could you could put either I don't know. Have you got what what, what four millimeter round faceted around gemstones? Have you actually got at home? Not rounds, round brilliant cut. I beg your pardon. Eleven ninety nine. That's great, isn't it? The, yeah. That's madness <laughs> for all three. Yeah. So you're getting everything. If you want to buy all three kits, that's all of them for, well, under fifty pounds, which is basically three, six, nine, nine sterling silver, mm. genuine gemstone pieces of jewellery. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, that's amazing. So hang on. So, what was the total maths exactly? Ross? Uh, 46.97. Can we divide that by nine? That means you can make each of those sterling silver pieces of jewellery for £5.21. That's pretty good, isn't it? That is pretty amazing. Pretty, that's pretty <laughs> epic. Um, and I think a lot of us actually have got sort of calibrated stones in our stashes <clears throat> and maybe need the mounts to actually support those. Yeah. Yeah, and a rubbed yeah. over setting it's going to protect the stones mm -hmm. you're less likely to uh, uh to chip it as well which yeah. i don't know about you but i've certainly chipped um stones a tanzanite a tanzanite solitaire i bought from our sister channel i chipped um and it's irreparable obviously because mm -hmm. it's a it's a faceted stone but rubbed over actually protects the exterior the girdle of the stone and ultimately makes it look that little bit bigger mm -hmm. um have a little look at the tutorials that we have available on our um on our facebook page now stay where there you are. We do have gemstones to bring you as well, individually. These. Dan's got them. Lovely Dan's passing them to me as we speak. These. Peridot. Is it not these? So wait, Peridot and kyanite. Kyanite, beautiful. Two peridots, one kyanite. So if you got the earrings and say the pendants, mm. mix them up. You could use your Arissa kyanite, which is a really rare, beautiful blue. We've got 120 opportunities. Should we give you a price promise? Should we take them under 10 pounds? Mm. Or should we take it under five? All 120 of these are going to go. For the Orissa kyanite, that's, oh, uh, that's madness. Orissa kyanite, do you know it was discovered purely by chance? Was it? Floods um, in that area um, basically ex moved some of the, uh, some of the dirt um, and obviously the surface um, and then saw this beautiful, like a teal. It's a really rare teal mm. colour. Kyanite we associate to blue usually. Mm. Um, it comes in oranges, but Arissa kyanite is this really, really quite, quite distinctive bluey green. We are going to take these, all three of them, under five pounds. Price pledge that for you here today. You've got Chiang Mai Peridot from Heaven's Lake, that beautiful, beautiful location. And the quality of those stones um, equally matched. The rarity in the collectability of your Orissa kyanite, um, which I remember being discovered some years ago. Since that launch, we, haven't, we don't have a great deal of it at all. Um, discovered purely by chance. So you're getting one carrot that comes within this presentation box 
for four pounds and 99 pence again anybody that got involved uh, with these beautiful kits you know imagine you could you could choose couldn't you you could go okay i'm going to put i'm going to put the arissa kyanite within there i'm going to put one of the peridots or mm. you can make use that i think the peridots deserve to be earrings don't they yeah, absolutely i mean if you if you multi-bought on that which is you know at that price you could you, you could have a pair you could have the um kyanite as a pair of earrings uh. or if you bought three you could have a matching pendant perhaps. oh sweet yeah. And go for the whole suite then, yeah, couldn't you? I would like that. What do you love about Orissa Kainai? Because I heard you saying, oh, I love that stuff. I just love the colour of it. I love, I mean, I love, I love all greens pretty much, but this particular sort of hue, it's like, um, it's a bit like a jadeite green, isn't it? Yeah. And but a little bit, and a little bit grandidurite. A bit grandidurite, yeah. It's, it's just, it's a bit just parabo, yeah. a bit more green than blue, but there's that hint of it in it. It makes it really sort of cool i just love i just love it it should if we shouldn't be paying 4.99 for that one stone let yeah. alone the three um we had quantity of these but they are flying out the door um do stay where you, where you are make sure you check them out and, and and i can see some sweets um coming up as well so lovely Gemma is stepping in uh, this morning so um and she's we're gonna we, we, we've challenged you haven't yes. we so again yeah. it was quite last minute so bless uh, Gemma. thank you for doing that right. um challenge is coming up a little bit later on now i only have a few of these so you will need to have I'm, your wits about you i'm a little bit devastated i'm not going to get these love these these were launched <laughs> birthday because we had we had the round ones the other day but we I, we didn't think we had any of the ovals left well, oh. to be honest, there's only 10. Oh, they, they're amazing. Does anyone else see the all-seeing eye yeah. in these? There we are. Box clasps. That's a grand did you right? That's stunning. Yeah, w yeah. Gemma and I literally had the rounds the other day. And we spoke about these. They sold out. Yeah. And we thought these had sold out. We've got less than 10. So single-figure quantities. You're not just getting one. You're getting all four. We were just, yeah, that on its own shouldn't be seventy nine ninety nine. We were talking about how luxurious a box clasp is mm. and the fact that, you know, if you look at all your vintage uh, pieces of jewellery, I shouldn't say all, but most, yeah. um, they tend to have a box clasp. Yeah. Because they stand the test of time, don't yeah, they? they? do, yeah. And they, they give you that quality, you know, that, you know, things were really well made, weren't they? Yeah. Um, there wasn't the mass production. And so these box class we've just also just nodded to the quality and workmanship totally i think that you know so you these in your pieces really sort of talk about your what you you who you are as a maker designer well we also discussed Gemma, didn't we that when we're buying when we're actually have they sold out well when we're actually buying jewelry the first thing that we look at is the clasp yeah because that tells me then if you if the clasp looks lovely and it's nice mm -hmm. and secure then the rest of the jewelry probably will yeah. be as well yeah um okay i have got some really gorgeous sterling silver chains here they, again they are complete um if you want to separate them you obviously can as jewelry makers if you want to customize it you can um but we've done lots of price comparisons on these before and i think you know again Oh, Misoma, Ashley Clark, uh, um, Monica Veneda, definitely, uh, Gucci, all of those big designers are incorporating, uh, sometimes referred to as a, a, a paperclip chain. Yeah. Um, now, again, you can make this, you could, you've got to get a, a, a big amount of your sterling silver wire, mm -hmm. you've then got to be able to solder each and every single one of those links, mm -hmm. you've also then got to texture each and every single one of those links, and you've got to buy the two class. Mm -hmm. There are 20 of these left. Now, and I, I'm doing this from memory, but um, some of the price comparisons that we showed you were triple figures, yeah. and that's for one. Mm -hmm. These are 20 inches, all 925 sterling silver, and we're not stopping at ninety nine ninety nine. But even if we did, Gemma, that's fifty pounds each. Yeah, it's it's amazing if you went to the high street or any of those names you mentioned. Yep. Like you said you'd be paying, you know, three, sometimes four figures for something yep. like that. And you know, I have done this. I have made a chain just like this. Yeah. And it took me a, an entire day to make the links and then polish and then clean and then put it together and just, you know, it's time is money. <laughs> time is money. Well, I tell you, well, we could we could save you that. Because, look, here we go, Monica Veneda, uh, the Ulta Textured Chain Necklace. Mm -hmm. The only difference, really, I'm going to say, is the fact that they've got a different clasp. Yeah. And 18 inches, I think that one is, so it's slightly shorter than ours. It's got a much more substantial clasp on ours, too. Yes, £100 from Monica Veneda. Yeah. 
I actually prefer it as well, Ben, yeah. We're not, that, that's, that's already, and that's only one chain, you get two with ours. The last 18 chances. That's for the two. <laughs> 17 pounds. 17 pounds 49. Is it, you said time is money, basically oh. you've made it. To, I know, crazy, isn't it? That's an, that is it's such a great buy. I mean, what's the gram weight in that? It's got to be huge. 12 grams. Per, per, well. Uh, it's going to be six grams six per. Six grams each. Yeah. Gosh. Six I? grams, but yeah, please, please do. They're gorgeous, oh, aren't they? Yeah. But there are only 18 of these left. And again, I would definitely check them out. Um, it's all the rage at the moment. This sort of elongated, what we call a paper link chain in many cases. Um, layering chain, something that I discussed with you on Saturday morning as well. Um, it's a trend that definitely does not seem to be going away anytime soon. You're right to be shocked by that, Gemma. £17.50 yeah. per sterling silver, 20 inch six grams worth in each of those chains um what an amazing deal that is so good. yeah they've flown out the door um they've been incredibly incredibly popular and i should imagine caroline's in the building today i imagine it's going to be something that she uh, will endeavor to buy again mm. but what will she be able to do it at that kind of price tag i mean look how beautiful that is looks absolutely amazing That's against gorgeous. the skin doesn't it i'm definitely going to be if there's any of those left which doesn't look like there will be Definitely having one of those in the break. Two I'll, of those in the break. Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep everything crossed for you. You've got six left. Six of them left within the vault. Again, it's. I should okay. imagine they will be reordered, but we can't always guarantee that it's going to be that price tag. Make that four left uh, because we've got yeah people multi buying. Mm. Uh, well done, Marion. Um, that would be nice in an anklet as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, and I'm thinking the two together. You could because the clasps are actually really nice. You could link them together and have the clasp as a feature. Lovely. Yeah, you can have beautiful. a really long, long line piece. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, now, you are on the countdown now to your deal of the day. Um, a sellout launch that we brought you uh, not so long ago, Selenite, we're bringing it to you in three amazing strands of rounds. But right now, um, uh, you're gonna do what on pre-order? Okay, challenge Gemma, oh, and we you. pass to you, Gemma, one of my all-time favourite gemstones, and actually, well, t two of my all-time favourites, uh, gemstones that I often put together, mm. because I always describe rhodochrosite, actually, as the pink version of malachite. Yeah. Oh, you're not, Ross. Are you, can I, can I, Ross, I, I think that's a bad idea. Oh, and Ross is saying in my ears, I'm going to put the deal of the day on pre-order the selenite. I think it's, he totally... Oh. And the rhodochrosite and the malachite. That's, I think that's... It's going to be gone. It is going to be gone. <laughs> I mean, I hope, Ross, I get the chance to say, yeah. I told you so. <laughs> they are not stopping at 99.99. We are taking these even lower. Um, back in stock, they sold out on the first, uh, first launch not so long ago. Not so long ago. Here it is beautiful you can pre-order yours um I, I just the reason why i think it's risky is because we don't have massive quantities of them five of each have gone of the selenite and some of the rhodochrosites and also the malachites uh shop ahead mm. yeah i would because i think it is still going to be a sellout i should imagine people can remember just how how amazing the deal was last oh, time. Oh, amazing. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Now, again, two gemstones that I think literally work perfectly together. Mm. In fact, I think I bought a very similar strand to both of these um, uh, some months ago. Um, and Willow wears it on a, on a daily basis. She calls them her brave and strong bracelets. Oh. Um, so I'm going to start with the Malachi. Of course, Malachi, again, hugely popular at the moment. There's with some of the biggest names in the jewellery mm -hmm. industry, really massively driving the demand for this beautiful, this very distinctive green. It, it, it's one of those gemstones that you uh, won't 
um, misinterpret for other gems out there because it is so individual and so incredibly mm. unique. Yeah. Now, malachite forms in uh, stalactites and stalagmites. So um, if you can imagine sort of these beautiful, vast suspensions um, or elevations, whichever way it is, um, of concentric lines, that's completely and utterly natural. Very distinctive, the sort of florets and the markings that you get within malachite. Um, very popular again, like I said, Van Cleef and Arpe Chopard, mm -hmm. uh, Piaget, Liberties. Um, so many big designers are actually including malachite within uh, within their jewellery. And uh, just to pass on some experience that I actually had when I was over in Tucson at the beginning of the year. I, there was malachite there, there was, but they were in free forms. And when I actually asked some of the vendors, like, well, do you do it in, in, in strands? And he was like, no, not at the moment, because there's so much of a demand for it in its rough. Mm -hmm. um, because all of those designs that I was just saying, Lola Rose has just done a malachite watch, which I love. Mm. Um, and they're, they're all slices, so they can get a bigger, yeah. they can get more money for it that Almost way. Like veneer. Yeah, yeah, it's a slice. Yeah. So very difficult to get in strands right now. So here you are. Look at look, look at this Chopard. It's a slither, a slither of uh, of your malachite. Here's another malachite. I love it. I absolutely love it. Piaget, a simple bead, wow. one thousand three hundred thirty pounds. Van Cleef and Arpels. Mm. Ah, Ross, has you seen that design? Mm. Happy Hearts, back to Chopard, £2,530. Harrods. Love that. I love that. Or you could make something like this from Ashley Clark. Oh, wow. That's and nice. you could definitely make this. Oh, yeah, nice and easy. That. You could probably make about three of them. Yeah, and it's gold from for May. Strand. It's not gold, it's gold for May. It's, you know. Yeah. Oh. Now, Ross has just said, oh, L, this is the one we launched. Do you remember the price? No. 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 Oh, yes, I do remember now you said. The shop ahead on your Oda Crow site. Maybe mix the two together. I really like them worn together. Because in 48 seconds, we halved that price. Mm. So Amazing. a single figure price tag means that you could make, what, three of those Ashley Clark bracelets? With a few additions, obviously. Yeah. Instead of paying £135, you're going to be paying literally single figures for this beautiful strand. I love malachite. It's so distinctive. Steeped. It's one of my, I'd say it's in my top three gems. I love it. I absolutely love it. That wonderful colour is completely natural. Many people actually think malachite has been dyed mm. um, because it is such an unusual green. It is. I mean, there are attempts, aren't there, to, aren't there, to sort of um, replicate it by dyeing other gemstones. So yeah. It's never the same. They, never the same. They can't, they can't even get the colour right no. you know, in those you know, dyed pieces. I mean, look at this. Less than 100 available, a single figure price tag. And let's go through this, Russ, because, you know, it's not just the big jewellery designers yeah. that are working with it. It is, it, it's so beautiful that it's influencing interior design now. Well, you know, I've seen this wallpaper. Um, I subscribe to a wallpaper um, supplier because mm -hmm. uh, I, I love wallpaper. So yeah, me too. This, this wallpaper is about £420 a roll. Yes. It's so, hugely you know, expensive. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just for malachite print. Print. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm going to let you into a bit of an inside secret. So about about a year ago, I've pitched to our sister channel, not here at Jewelry Maker, but to actually wow. do gemstone wallpapers on gems. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. like, imagine that with Botswana as well and all those beautiful yeah. prints to do wallpaper on our sister channel. Um, again, look at this. This is a, a lovely malachite uh, 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 lamp. That isn't malachite, though. That is a print. Yeah, it is a print. So we've taken inspiration from the gemstone. Four hundred and seventy-five dollars for that. Um, again, I know there's um, uh, there's also there's also jewelry boxes. Dolce and Gabbana have done jewelry, jewelry boxes with this beautiful patterning. I'll leave it with you. Um, the Rhoda Crow site is available. You can pre-order uh, pre-order that. As is all the selenite too. Mm -hmm. um, so Gem, again, thank you so much for joining me. Literally jumping oh. in. I know it was very yeah. last minute. Oh, um, that's great but for you. Not only do you jump in, not, we also say, have a challenge. Yeah, well, I like a challenge. I like to sit here and bead. It's nice. So I did, I did 
only just get round to using the malachite, but all I've done is just put a little halo around one of the selenites. Lovely. Just just to create, you know, just that little that little halo. That's amazing. And have you also yeah. used the tassel? Yeah, so I use the tassels on the end of the strand as well, just to. Just and to then this one here, I'm seeing too. And that one with the rhodochrosite, yeah. Alongside the selenite. I just think that is such such a pretty, delicate bracelet. I absolutely love. As if that. you've made that in about twenty minutes. Yeah, well, yeah, they came they came into the studio about twenty five to <laughs> twenty five to the hour, didn't they? So you know, it didn't have Bless long, but you. This, you don't need much time to make these into lovely pieces of jewellery. That's the thing. Amazing. Well, I'll shop ahead and get yours. Mm. Take it away, my lovely. So, I show you how to do the halo around. Yes. Yeah, with the malachite. Okay. And that could be you could do the same with yeah, the rhodochrosite, you couldn't could. you? Because they are the same size. You could indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I, I love rhodochrosite, and do you know what? I'm so pleased I got to work with it because I, I've been trying to find some rhodochrosite to make some earrings to go with my necklace. It's because I've I oh a good rhodochrosite necklace. That, um, you, you always wear that rhodochrosite necklace, I, don't you? Yeah, it's a gift. So yeah, so I wear it a lot. And of course, I haven't got any rhodochrosite to go with it. At you home. have now, and I have now. Yeah, <laughs> so really pleased with that. Right, so I'm going to take a piece of. Um, 0.4 wire, you can use bead and thread or, mon or monofilament, it's absolutely fine. With the wire, you don't need any fastenings or findings, so it's much easier. And I've just got a short length, it's about, I don't know, about 15 centimetres or so, you don't need much. I'm going to thread um, one of my selenites onto, um, onto my wire. I'm going to put it roughly centre, okay? And then I'm going to pick up four of my um, malachites. So I'm just picking up four and popping it, popping them onto one of the ends. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is take that end now round. So I'm like going around the gemstone and back through the center. Okay. So I'm just going to make, allow a bit more through. Okay, and pull nice and tight and they sit just around the edge of the gem. Okay, and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other side now and do four onto this side too. Two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to take this wire and back through. Now this is, um, the selenite has a really nice generous drill hole which enables us to go through that's taken um, three lengths of 0.4 wire. So it's actually really, wow. really good. So there we go. They've got this sort of halo, but can you, you can see that it's not quite all the way around because we've got this gap where the drill holes are. Now, it's better to fill that with um, two little gemstones on straight onto the wire than to try and put five around because yeah. they don't sit quite right. So with this, I'm just going to pick one up onto this side and pop it there to complete that circle. And then we can, if you were putting a tassel on or a tassel top, you could take that through your tassel and then pull it back up and then secure it. Or even a jump ring if you want to use it as a connector. There's That'd a, be a nice ring as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be a nice ring. It would. So I'm just going to make a little um, bend in that wire and then I'm going to do a wrap loop. And then I've got it to use in whatever I want. So I'm just going to keep that gemstone. So just wrap the wire around and then... Give that a little snip off. Okay, so give that a little pinch. And then I'm coming, I'm going to pick up another of the um, malachite there and let that sit into the other side, like so, like so. And then I'm going to, again, put a little wrap loop on this side. So just rolling that round making a loop and then wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, and there you go. You've got a little, a little um, connector. It's like a halo or it can be, it can mimic a flower. It's, you know, and then you can use that however you want. I've, I've done it to suspend a tassel. It could be almost like the, 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 uh, a marker bead or something like that in a Marla style piece. So yeah, so this is, that's that technique. There's, it's really lovely and simple and it, because they're lovely tiny gemstones, um, they sit beautifully into into halos like this and patterns like this. So yeah, amazing. 
I love it. I love it. I love it. They're just you could literally do tons with those, couldn't you? Oh, you could. Yeah, you can make loads of them. Make a mass of them. Loads of these little um, stretchy bracelets, or friendship bracelets, macrame with these for a really delicate look. There's so many things you could do with them. They're love gorgeous. It. Well, let's bring the gemstone that you were very keen, very excited to get your hands love on. Let's gemstone. bring. Um, and again, I've spoken about rhodochrosite at length before. We know that it is a, a very ge uh, rare gemstone, formerly known, uh, or fondly known, I should say, um, as Inca Rose. Because, you know, malachite, for example, turquoise, often found alongside uh, your copper mines. They're copper-bearing mm. gemstones. Uh, rhodochrosite is often discovered alongside silver mines. So, okay. um, uh, Argentina, where it, was, uh, where it was discovered, actually, like I said, it was found alongside an ancient ancient uh, 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 silver mine um, and referred to as Inca Rose. Now you get, obviously, you, you get these beautiful patterns, you get these wonderful, wonderful uh, markings and bands within the actual gemstone itself. You can also get rhodochrosite, which is completely uh, transparent and it kind of glows with the colours, um, glows with that really beautiful blush pink. Uh, you pay a premium, of course, for, uh, for, for quality rhodochrosite. That's mm -hmm. definitely what you're seeing on your screens right now. So, Gemma, at $19.99, that's an amazing deal for it rhodochrosite. Is, it is an amazing deal, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable that Ross is even suggesting this, but... Gosh, that's translucent rhodochrosite. It's, it's really beautiful. It's the markings individually, you know, even at that tiny that you know that really three millimeter faceted it's you know you are seeing some of those markings and those sort of lovely almost like lace isn't it like it is um, like lace yeah as within if, as if as if we've taken it under 10 pounds it's amazing rhodochrosite is expensive and i can remember mm. speaking to marie um uh, 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 uh once a uh, buyer here uh, and gemologist she was saying rhodochrosite is hugely expensive yeah um very expensive. Yeah, it's. I mean, I, I suppose that's why I haven't been able to get hold of it for the. You know. For no, the, I mean, you can get obviously get lesser grade, but yeah. that's not really what we want to. What, no. what we want to offer no. our customers, we want to be able to offer you the premium quality. Um, there are so many of you on those phone lines. Um, again, I've shown you powerpoints, haven't I? In the past, I've shown you big designers. Again, across the the jewelry editor talking about this beautiful gemstone. Um, I've spoken certainly about uh, about sort of the, the, the history of it and the fact that uh, the, if you get this really beautiful pinkish blush uh, color that is rhodochrosite of desirability it is still only found in a handful of places around the world um, again often alongside your silver mines uh, rarely found in any big quantities so again to actually get hold of 33 carats here it is here's the powerpoint that i've shown you in the past so see look at that look at that doesn't tell you the price would we agree you've got the same markings that, oh, I can't, not exactly the same, but you've got those beautiful bands. You can see that that is, is opaque. You can see the patinations and it's smothered in pink and orange sapphires, rubies and black spinels. There we go. What about this? 47 pounds. It's not too dissimilar to yours, actually. Like mine. And that's, that's a good price, by the way. That's that a really, good really price. good price. 9.99 today. And I'm going to say our quality is better than that one there. Uh, hello to you, Elizabeth, saying, morning, everybody. I would put it with pearls. Oh, yes. Absolutely, yeah. So pretty with pearls. Really. What really about gorgeous. What about with selenite? I think it's perfect. I think it's the perfect combination, that selenite. It's, because it's so... I, I think road across that is so soft and pretty it's just so pretty and then alongside the selenite i just think that it's very angelic and oh it's romantic isn't it it is romantic well you can pre-order your selenite you can shop ahead on the deal of the day i think it was a risky move on producer ross's part but he's yeah. done it i can tell you we are going lower than the prices that you are about to see um i told you so ross the six mil is the most popular. No, no, no surprise there. They'll all sell out. We've got about 100, I think, of each of them there or thereabouts. Um, when we first launched Selenite in a strand, they sold out in, in a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. They are back. I don't think they're going to see another show after, after today. Make sure you're with me. It's happening after this.
Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. Um, a, f a couple of months ago, I think it was, and sorry if, you have, if, if I've got that a little bit wrong, but I know it was quite recently. Um, oh, Ross says I can tell you the exact date because he has that information at his disposal. Um, Sunday, the 3rd of April. So there we are. It was a couple mm. of months ago. That I was. I'm pretty sure I was here. Were you with us? I'm pretty sure I was here for... for As the our project. early bird... We launched in Rondell's 150 carats of selenite. And in the, in the build-up to that, we were kind of saying, I don't, I don't think we've actually had selenite in a strand before. I know that lovely Alex has brought it to you in, um, in towers. I know that we've seen them in, uh, in spheres. But I don't remember ever actually having it in a strand. Mm. I, I've, I've 
definitely been here when we've launched. Oh, like well, it was France. probably that one. Yeah, it must have been, if that's the only one we've done. Yeah. yeah. And I'll tell you, it sold out in literally a couple of minutes. Well, immediately after that show, mm -hmm. uh, Ross and I went skipping to our gemstone buyer and said, you need to buy more, please, more, please, more, please. And he said, OK, I'm on it. Um, and it has, it's arrived. It's arrived today and we are launching it today. But with the popularity, not just here at Jewelry Maker, of course, your, uh, uh, your chakra jewelries, of course, crystal healing. Lots of people are you know, very uh, passionate about the beliefs of gemstones. Um, uh, selenite's popularity has absolutely skyrocketed. Well, that aside for a second, it's a beautiful stone. It's a really, really beautiful stone. If you go on our, um, on our, on our, our website, there you go, selenite. This is all the selenite that we actually have on our website currently. We've got a charging plate, that's to charge a gemstone. Um, and then we've got it as part of uh, your Marla knotting board. That's all the selenite that we actually have currently on our website outside of today's deal of the day. Um, so we were very excited and uh, again, sold out in literally a couple of minutes. Um, but let's talk about this beautiful gemstone for those people that maybe uh, haven't heard of it. Now, selenite is a, a specific variety of a mineral called gypsum, named after the ancient Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. The Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows with the stone. This gemstone received its official name uh, from J.G. Walrius in 1747 when he wrote, yeah, that. Gypsum, as a general material, has been valued since as far back as Egyptians when it was used for decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite uh, is in the Santa Sabina Church in Rome. The large arched windows built in the 5th century are made of sheets of selenite, not glass. After large amounts of gypsum were found near Paris, uh, a material known as plaster of Paris was created. Plaster of Paris is gypsum that had been chemically altered uh, to extract the water within. It's also said French farmers use raw gypsum as a soil additive. These days, obviously, we don't use it in windows. We don't use it for farming. We use it in jewelry because it is so beautiful. Now, if you want to see that photograph we will do in a second. Now, selenite metaphysical properties. The gemstone selenite is most closely associated with the crown chakra, which represents wisdom and spirituality, as well as the third eye chakra. The colorless beauty, that's a perfect description, don't you think? Colorless beauty and translucency of selenite is often attributed to purity and peace in both metaphysical beliefs and color theory. Selenite is excellent to use when meditating or trying to achieve mental clarity as it is believed to compel the person holding it to be honest with themselves. So, I mean, Gemma, I know you've got, you've got you know, strong beliefs about this. It's classed in the metaphysical world as one of the most powerful of stones. Well, yeah, I find it a very energetic stone, uh, so much so that I, I, I've got a couple of towers in my house and I bought one for my son and one for, one for me. And um, he, he said, he, you know, he's finding that he's finding it difficult to concentrate when he's trying to do his um, homework because it, it, I, he's just finding it hard to stay on track and he too, feels too energised. And I said, well, just move your selenite off your desk. Is it on your desk? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, move it out of the way because it does give you so much energy. So sometimes that's really useful. Sometimes if you're trying to focus, focus not so you much. might not want to, but it's, it's very good for raising energy, not just of you, but of other, the gemstones around you. So we use it as charging plates, for example. Yes, so that's what we saw on the website, so yeah. for charging your gemstones. Um, I mean, this is, uh, it got me thinking, right, okay, so to find selenite, actually, yes, we've seen it in towers, seen mm. it in beautiful sculptures, but to find it in jewellery, well, I'll be frank and honest, I could only find a handful. Yeah. Um, available online. Um, here was one of them, Selenite Energy Gemstone Bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, it's a simple stretchy with sterling silver, as you can see, £49. You could make that bracelet and have significant carat weights left over. Um, there was another piece that I found. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we'll show you that in a second. 
Um, but let's talk about something that you were saying. So uh, the beliefs attached to your selenite. Mm. Um, I love this. I think it really simplifies um, the gemstones. Serenity. Even if you don't believe in crystal healing, which I know not everybody does, I think just by looking, visually looking at this gemstone, many of you will see the associations. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Serenity, purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity, spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and positive thoughts. I think, like I said, even if you're not into the metaphysical side of things, most of us can actually appreciate those words relating to this gemstone. Yeah. Now, here's another piece of jewelry. A really simple selenite drop choker that's for five rounds 63 pounds selenite is often the gemstone that you put alongside your chakra jewelry did you want to see that that church that has selenite as windows not glass look what it does to the sunlight it's beautiful the dispersion through it is absolutely gorgeous that sort of soft light is lovely and did you know also it's an amplifier stone not only for gemstones but actually it was used for magnification as well so if you have a selenite tower and you know how the um crystals are lined up very tightly packed almost mm -hmm. tubes yeah um and then so if you have it cut and polished top and bottom you put it over text it amplifies it and you can it actually magnifies and the 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 image comes up to the top of the of the That's selenite. That's amazing. So you're not going to see that effect in rounds, but if you ever have a flat slab of it, it amplifies anything that comes through, it and it actually projects it onto the surface. It's ap it's a miraculous stone, it's isn't it? Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got it's got innocence. It has that purity. It has that aura. And it is completely and utterly natural. I think one of the things that we did last time that we brought the, the Rondell strand, the sellout Rondell strand, didn't we dim the lights and then put a single source underneath it as well? I wonder if I've got the torch. I've got the torch here. Now we have three different sizes, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, and also your six millimeter. You've been able to shop ahead. Six mil, I can tell you, is absolutely flying so uh, do shop ahead but look when I just put um, uh, this is a, this is a UV torch um, to the gemstone itself it glows like the moon isn't it <laughs> Selen, so, yeah you can see it then can't yeah. you look at how beautiful that is oh it's gorgeous just makes you want to just put them all in. Imagine those all in just a glass jar with oh. a, sat on one of those little UV light, you know, um, plates. That would be gorgeous. Oh, all of this, all of these in one piece of jewellery. Can oh, you beautiful, imagine? Beautiful lamp. Like a Marla necklace. Now, we've never been able to, to, to suggest uh, selenite in, in a Marla necklace until today. We have the three sizes and I can say with absolute confidence that these will also sell out. We are going to start with the 10 millimeters. Graphics are live. Um, the rondelles that we had uh, for you uh, just a couple of months ago sold out in a matter of couple of minutes and I don't think these are going to be any different. Shop ahead with your eight mils and your six mils. You can do that too. Imagine a Marla necklace with your selenite. Imagine one of the most powerful gemstones. Um, oh, with a jade Buddha. Yes, I would put selenite with a couple of, of pearls personally. I think they'd be really lovely with some pearls. But yeah, a little jade carving at the bottom would be absolutely beautiful, don't you think? Now, you're shopping ahead and you're making your confirmations and you're doing so. Look at that. The cat's eye literally gliding across the surface of the stone. You're making your confirmations at 98 pounds and 99 pence. Now remember, remember, this is Jewelry Maker. We are not, we are not stopping there. Remember that, that, that necklace, what? Five rounds for 63 pounds. Five star reviews, fabulous. Now, 
serenity, purification, or a simple stretchy bracelet for £50. You'll be able to make at least two of those out of one strand. This is not your price tag. Clasta is one of the most powerful of gemstones, metaphysically, but I also can see it in its visual appearance. What's that? Almost 100 carats more than the one that we brought to you previously. Right now we're doing the 10 millimetres. I would love to see selenite marla necklaces. Um, jewellery makers, I know that's so, something that so many of you can actually achieve. Just simple knotting. Would you use it with something like black jadeite? Would you go with something like an ivory pearl? Mm. Oh, all of the above. I mean, that's the thing. That's the joy of selenite. It's pure. What? It's it's literally pure, oh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I mean, you can put any colour with it. I I would probably keep it quite soft and not contrast too much. I'd go with a nice soft jadeite. Yeah, me too. Or like like the rhodochrosite or something very gentle. I think it's it's so gentle. You've got to got to keep it very calm. I think. Look at that. It's beautiful. Forty-five percent of the stock's gone. Oh, I wanted these. We're not stopping there. No. <laughs> Do you know why I was so confident this was going to be an on-screen sellout, Gemma? Because it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> and, we, and really, yeah, we never get it. So. It's 39.99 for 10 millimetre rounds. Yeah, that's brilliant. The first time that we have ever brought you selenite in rounds. And it is top quality. You can see that beautiful, pure, I always say linen fresh white, but actually it's even beyond that. You know when you literally buy fresh, fresh white sheets and they have that almost a slight bluish because they are yeah. so bright? Yeah. And so clean, you almost get that beauty, that purity within each of these. $39.99 and they are absolutely flying out the door. I only had 100. The rondelles that we brought you in April, we had 50 of. So we learned from that auction opportunity and we said, right, okay, they, our lovely JM viewers want it. Let's get a bigger carrot weight. Let's bring the most desirable shape in your rounds. But shall we, shall we still match the price? Yeah, the price of the one which was 100 carats less and a smaller quantity, because none of you, not Caroline, not Rita, not London, not Suzanne, not Deborah, not Nicolette, not Lynn, not Sarah, J, uh, Sarah Ann, not Yvette, not Charmaine, not Susan, not Helen, not Wiltshire, none of you are paying 39 pounds and 99 pence today. Oh, I would love to see um, your creations out of this. Gemma, um, sadly, you and I are definitely going to miss no, out on this opportunity. No. Luckily, I have had the, four, the six mils to work with, so... You can at least make get something some this time. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a gemstone that, you know, you would wear? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Because I know, you, again, you're really into crystal healing. Um, well, I, yeah, I, I, love, I love the meanings behind things. I like to tell a story when I'm making a piece or if I'm gifting. It's nice to have that story, isn't it? But... I would, I would definitely wear this, especially if I needed my energy raising. You know, some situations you go in and you know your energy is going to be low. Yeah. There's difficult situations that we all have to go through sometimes. And if you know something's going to take your energy, then this is the sort of thing you can put on just to, even if you don't believe in it, it's just like that Dumbo's feather sort of situation. It's yeah. Like, you know, if you've got something, you can just focus on and go, okay, I just remind myself to lift my energy. Yeah. This is it. This is I the love one. Wow. 29.99. For 247 carats of pure, sorry, Adam, <laughs> of absolutely beautiful, pure white. Look at that. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, no, there are no other strands of selenite on Jewelry Maker. Literally, the only strands that we have are before me right now on your live show. Um, do I think they're going to be available in an hour's time? No. Simple no. I don't think so. I think they're going to sell out literally on screen. These are the larger sizes. People are literally uh, multi-buying on this opportunity. I do have the eight millimeters and the six millimeters, a hundred of the eight and 150 of the six mil. So, you know, like our lovely Anne and Sue in-house designers do those graduated marlers. That's what I'd be doing. Hello, Deborah. Um, I'm putting these with my beautiful, oh my goodness, yes. Oh, wow. With yeah. my beautiful natural white onyx drop 
yes. beautiful, ethereal, bridal. Perfect. I love it. You have literally done the perfect mic drop there, uh, Deborah, haven't you? That's oh, perfect. My, oh, I see what you mean, sorry. The white onyx drop, not mic drop. <laughs> Although you could do both. Oh, my goodness. That would be absolutely yeah. amazing. And, Deborah, that needs to be for you. That, that piece of jewellery needs to be for you. It's actually, I, I'm going to say, I think these are too special to, part, to even sell. I certainly wouldn't sell them. $29.99. Hello to you, Zorin. Hello to you, Jennifer. Nicolette Pauline. Uh, Chris and Jean. Anna Kildare. London. Hello, Millie B. Hello to you, uh, Channelars. Alison. Karen. Helen. Eleanor. Hello to you, Vera. Soon. Janice. Bev. Wiltshire, you're there as well. Uh, let me look against the skin. It looks so beautiful, doesn't it? It is, yeah. I can, you can imagine it's a holiday. On holiday day with the sun on it and a tan and how that's going to glow in the evening and a sort of you oh, know, the I evening light it. I so want this. really beautiful I am so close to being massively unprofessional and saying Gemma just take over a minute while I go and get my phone <laughs> um if it was if it was well, they've moved our dressing rooms now so they're the other side too far of the away building. it's too far away <laughs> otherwise I would definitely definitely be doing that um wow I can wish list it I can wish list it Look at that. Mm. Unbelievable. Not only does it look beautiful, and that's the thing about selenite, it looks amazing in all lighting conditions, yeah, doesn't it? That's, that's it. You know, every light's going to give you a different, different sort of play on, on that texture, that internal texture in it. It's just gorgeous. Amazing. And again, so many beliefs attached to this gemstone. Um, can I just go back to, uh, uh, to the, the article that I was reading to you at the very beginning whilst you, um, whilst you make your confirmations? So again, uh, a specific variety um, of gypsum uh, named after the ancient Greek goddess of the moon, Selene. The Greeks especially appreciated the beauty of selenite, even making windows with the stone. Um, uh, gypsum as a general material has been valued since as far back as Egyptian times when it was used for decorative purposes. One unique use of selenite is in the Santa Sabina church in Rome. Um, so going back to the 5th century, you get this beautiful, beautiful gemstone that literally has a magic and ability to play with light. Mm -hmm. um, again, for those of you that are uh, very interested in the metaphysical side of things, the crystal healing side of things, uh, it's classed as one of the most powerful stones, right? Yeah, well, it's the one that sort of charges charges other stones so you know it's got to be vibrating pretty pretty significantly to to do that and if i tell you i tell you the stone you need to put with it um that you will my sister knows nothing about gemstones and their metaphysical properties and i bought her selenite bowl just because it was so beautiful but a lovely selenite bowl and she puts it by her bedside and she's got um a, a big um Oh no. You've gone blank. What? <laughs> fluorite. She's fluorite. got a massive fluorite piece, like a palm stone. And she put it in the bowl and she and she she rang me and she said, Gemma, will it will it what's why does my fluorite um, sort of change colour? It's gone brighter and glows and it's been in this and I said, Well, have you put it in that bowl? And she said, Yeah. And that and it honestly And she literally noticed it. She knows nothing wow. about that. She was really surprised and it did. It it completely wow. glows. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's incredible. Should we do the eight mils? There is 100. 40 have already gone on pre-order. You know the six mils? Half the stock has gone on the 150. Ross, I told you so. I told you so. I know that's not nice to say, but I told you so. Um, right, oh. And do you know what? More is more with selenite. I think oh, yeah. you can absolutely go to down go on the carrot, carrot weight of this gemstone. Yeah. yeah. Right now for your eight millimetres, look at that. It's not coating. It's not light trickery. You get this beautiful, it's tiny fibres within, uh, within selenite that literally are grabbing hold of the light and bring, creating almost like a movement within. Whether you're in, 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 in a highly light saturated area like us in here in the studio, uh, or whether you're influencing it to one single light source like we are on our screens right now, whether you're do, uh, wearing this on a moonlight walk, whichever it is, you're mm. going to see your selenite literally glow. Um, and it creates a sensation here on Jewelry Maker. We've only ever once had it in the strand we've had it in in in, in uh, um carvings and we've never in rounds never had it in rounds 
Um, yeah, we've had it in carvings, we've had it in sculptures for sure. Um, but yeah, Ross and I only in April literally launched a, a strand of rondelles. It sold out in a couple of minutes. Um, and we were like, I don't think we've even had it. I didn't think we'd even had it in a strand previously. Um, spoke to our wonderful gemstone buyer, said, look, we need to get it. We need to get it quick. Um, well, it's going to be on our screen this morning and then it's going to be disappearing because this is flying again. We're talking about the eight millimeters. Um, some think that the eight millimeters are that little bit more wearable. Like I said, I'm, I'm all about just maximum carat weight when it comes mm. to this gemstone. I would literally put all three strands in one piece of jewellery. All up, yeah, and me. I love the idea of just doing little graduated sections. So, you oh. know, having the six, eight, ten, and then um, eight and six. So you've got like a little little section and then rosary link in sections like that. Beautiful. It'd be nice. It'd be like a, a rhythm through, through the piece. A rhythm of selenite. Mm. Nice Nobody's thing. paying 49.99. We're on the verge of selling out. There's 36 left out of the 100 that we have. The phone lines have. Yeah, I don't know what if, when, we'll have selenite again. It's difficult to get bring in a strand because of mm. the complexity of cutting. 24 pounds and 99 pence only. I loved your idea, Deborah, using mm. it alongside your lovely white onyx. I think you could equally put it with your type A jade. I think you could absolutely put it with some of your finest quality pearls. Um, you could go for something maybe monochrome if you wanted to as well. I think mm. that would look absolutely beautiful maybe with a black jadeite. But all of the gemstones that I'm saying I'm, are, are, are gemstones of high quality. Would we yeah. all agree? Yeah, and, and calm as well. You know, all the gemstones were mentioned are quite soft and calming or spiritual. I think you sort of get that from it, don't you? Yeah. If Angelite, the name Angelite wasn't already taken, this sums up Angelite. Definitely. Like the word Angelite, it just matches Yes, it. it's so true. So, so true. But also sell, sell in, I suppose you can yeah. actually see it, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can, yeah. You can see that within there. It's just magical, absolutely magical, and it is going to sell out. It's, oh gosh, there's so many of you with it in your baskets. Um, I can't stress enough, this is flying out the door. Gloria, Elizabeth, Zoe, Mary and Jerry, Linda, Lincolnshire, Anne, Shirley, Margaret, new customers. What a first purchase, I can tell you. Yeah, oh, fabulous. You're going to be absolutely hypnotised by this gemstone if it's, the, if it's the first time you've actually seen it in person. Anne in Worcestershire, I think that's our Anne, isn't it? Uh, probably. Probably. Uh, Janice, imagine. Sharon, Bev, Wiltshire, Jax, Alison, Charmaine, Yvette, so, uh, Swansea, Sarah in County Armagh, Manchester, hello to you, Brenda in Surrey, Suzanne in Yorkshire, uh, Gloria, Linda, Staffordshire, Caroline, Derbyshire, new customers, Oxfordshire, you're all there. Right now we're talking about the eight millimetres, but I mean, to get that entire carrot weight right now, and you can see that consistency of quality. Mm. I was saying earlier on, and I often use the term like uh, linen fresh white and I use that terminology usually for um, the, the, the purest of white gemstones but this is even beyond that even beyond that because you have it this this the quality is so high that you almost get like a bluish white color within mm. tiny tiny fibers within the gemstone itself are bringing you that beautiful phenomena effect and of course metaphysically this is deemed as one of the most powerful gemstones that exists um, there are just 20 of these left shop ahead again for your six millimeters there's a slight cue on the phone lines um, stay where you are don't abandon your calls because we will get to you uh, now, out of the 150, six mils, mm. 85 have already gone. Yeah. Oh, I want, I so want to run and get my mobile so I can shop ahead with this. Because mm. for me, whether it's a mala, whether it's a knotted necklace, whether it's literally just cascading, whether... Mm. I'm it's amazed there's only, I'm amazed there's only 85 Me gone, too, to be honest. To be honest, I thought it was going to sell <laughs> out. they'd be gone before we got to them. Oh, wow. Right now for the six mils. Shall we, shall we make an announcement? The six millimetre natural selenite and all that wonderful energy and that story and the history and the beauty, I'm going to tell you is going under 20 pounds. Have you ever seen any selenite under twenty pounds? Um, I don't think so. 
I spoke to, uh, it's one of the, um, the mums at the, uh, the school run hmm. who was particularly fond of gemstones uh, and crystal healing. And she actually said, I, she, she brought up selenite. She said, I'd love to have a selenite tower. And I said, oh, we do those at Jewelry Maker. She went, yeah, but even at Jewelry Maker, it's, you know, it's a certain price point, isn't hmm. it? I was like, yeah, I get it. I've just made a price promise that these are going under 20 for your six mils. Shall we do it? We've got less than 50 left. You've, you've taken that knowledge and you've run with it. 86 and a half carats of natural selenite. Look at that magic for 19 pounds and 99 <laughs> pence only. Oh, all chances, all hope that Gemma and I had <laughs> of getting hold of this parcel has literally just Gone. flown out the window. Dis yeah, literally. Piff, poff, poof. <laughs> it is. It's evaporated. All chances of us getting hold oh. of this. Sorry, Gemma. Oh, that's okay. Um, hello, Hazel. With black jade, I, I do that. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Absolutely. Very Chanel. Yeah. Do you know what, though? You know what, Hazel? Even Chanel don't use hel uh, selenite. Oh, I don't know that ever, but I don't recall ever seeing selenite within their collection. They should, though, because it really does channel that um, inner Chanel, doesn't it? The perfect, mm. pure, it's the purest of whites. I actually can't think of a ge another gemstone that has a, a more pure no. white than selenite. No. Petalite? No. No, not even that. It's... It's the purest of stones. It is, yeah. It is angelic, isn't it? It's absolutely, it absolutely is. It's, yeah, it glows, it... And a yeah. few words that we've, uh, we associate to this gemstone. These aren't my words. It was put together on, uh, it was on a, a website discussing this gemstone, but it was so good that I had to steal it. Um, and they spoke about, they spoke about serenity. They spoke mm. about uh, purification, peace, meditation, universal consciousness, clarity of thought, purity of heart, universal love, integrity spirituality, psychic development, forgiveness, and also positive thoughts. But every single one of those, again, whether you're into um, your crystal healing or you're not, I think it resonates, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh. And, yeah, and it, it's just gorgeous. Also, I didn't say, it's the first gemstone that my son ever bought as well. Is it? Yeah, when he was about eight, seven or eight. So he, he was drawn to yeah, it. Yeah, he was drawn to it. The first piece, of, piece that ever came into my house was because Tom had bought it. So it, it's one of those things, like you said, it's universally um, admired. Yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting to look at. It's beautiful to look at. And yeah. I've loved the fact so many people, Gemma, have got all these, I've got ideas what they're going to yeah. do with it. Uh, the six mil have sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Now... <gasps> Oh, what time is it? I've got 25 minutes. See if I can get hold of... Oh, so they'll sell out before then, won't they? Oh, I shall try. Now, amazing. Well done to you all. And please do share your photographs of the pieces mm. that you make out of that parcel. Because, And we will, of course, endeavour to get more selenite in um, as soon as we possibly can because it is stunning. Now, we have... Uh, can I just repeat what I said in the break? Yeah, go on. Yeah? And you can confirm that yeah. like I said this, and I said it to Ross earlier on, and you guys, I was like, hands down, yeah, they are the best pills I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. Mm, Not yeah. just here at Jewelry Maker, ever. And I want them. I was even, whilst, very naughty of me, by the way, but whilst Gemma was doing her challenge, I was like, Ross, how much are the pills? <laughs> because I want them. Yeah, they, they are extraordinary. Uh, extraordinary is the perfect description. Yeah. Have you ever seen pearls? Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me just move this back, sorry. More amazing, I'm going to put them on the bust, than this. It's, they, they are so lustrous, aren't they? And the colour, the, the, the skim of copper glow over the top of that purple colour is incredible. It is. It's, they are absolutely beautiful. Literally, naturally purple. Mm. 
with like a copper yes. coat. <laughs> Perfectly spherical. Yeah, beautiful. With a slight graduation up to 10 millimetres. Mm. Sorry, 12. There are, there are how many of these? 12 in the world. When are we doing this? At the end of this hour. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and tell you they're not going to be a considered purchase. They are. They definitely are. They should be. <laughs> but they are worth every single penny and more, significantly more. I've sold pearls. Do you know that footballer that can bend it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Years ago. And he bought them five figures. And I still think this is better. They're coming up. They are coming up. And they are amazing, absolutely amazing. I want them. I do. Oh, I want them so bad. They're beautiful. Okay. Um, not yet, though. Now, the rondelles that we launched uh, back in uh, April, um, we've got six. Six of them, literally, on and gone. They sold out, and they sold out a few, sort of came back for whatever reason. I'm not entirely sure what that was, but they're too special to not to have sat within our vault. Those of you that maybe want to create, uh, um, well, the design mm. aspect of things with using your rondelles alongside your rounds, I will put them together so you can actually see um, how consistent the quality is that you get from us here um, at JM. There are only four of the rondelles. Six mils have sold out completely. Single figures of the eight mils. There's about 20, what, sorry? 20, 21 of the 10, um, of the 10 millimeter selenite. So again, if you wanted to incorporate it alongside that parcel, there are six of these available. 29.99 for natural selenite in your rondelles. Again, just a, a different shape. Again, still has that beautiful, magical performance of light. Um, five by eight millimeters in their size. I love it. And, and again, they're sold out on our screens, literally on our screens. For whatever reason, we had six um, come back to us. Well, you can grab that opportunity like Rita, like Jacqueline. I've also got uh, George, uh, Georgina on the phone lines, Manchester on the phone lines, Dorset on the phone lines, new customer on the phone lines. You can still do it, though, because it is done first come, first serve. It's done on, on confirmation. So, Jacqueline, you've got yours. Um, pardon? Oh, massively over-allocated on those. Okay, well done. The Canadian jadeite that we did earlier on. and Yeah, and I referenced that spinach green. Ah, uh, okay. Because the last of your Canadian jade sold out and lots of people actually missed out, we have the only other strand that we had from that parcel mm. available to you all. So here it is. Canadian jade, spinach green colour. Remember the reference? Um, remember the reference that was, and the message that was sent to, uh, to, 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 to Ross and I? It was this parcel that he was discussing, and the two strands that you have seen today. It was like, guys, you have spinach green, which uh, is like imperial is to jadeite, spinach is to nephrite, is the terminology. Again, remember what Dave has actually often said with, uh, with jadeite, it is quite literal, isn't it? It's mm. quite literal how they describe yeah. it. The white is called mutton, flat, uh, mutton fat. Um, the blue is like your dove blue. You know, it's quite a literal description. With this one, it is, it is literally uh, spinach green. When are we doing this? Right now. And I'm going to read you. Uh, the graphics are live. Start dialing through. Can I, read, uh, can I just read that first paragraph? There. Although Chinese nephrite prices uh, received little attention for many decades, since the rise of, the Ch of China's economy in the 1990s, the original jade, because it, nephrite is older than jadeite, um, has, appre has appreciated tremendously. As of 2014, the world auction record for jade is held not by Burmese jadeite, but by Chinese nephrite. You think we assume that, that nephrite is almost in the shadows of jadeite. Not the case. In fact, over in, uh, in the East, they, they really differentiate between the two. Jade is jade, whether it's nephrite or whether it is jadeite. Here is the email, and uh, he also wrote across our star by sheets, our notes on our desk, and as you can see, addressed, uh, addressed to Ross and I. 
Um, guys, just seen your strand for tomorrow's birthday deal. This is a new mine of Burmese nephrite. Originally, this was being sold as jadeite because it is so translucent. Essentially, this is the original jade from a new mine. I've just looked through all of them. You've got spinach green color and it's natural. Spinach green is uh, to nephrite is what imperial green is to jadeite. We could never dream of bringing you imperial jade and I don't know if we'll have the chance to get this grade again. Please let the audience know. So this is, that was the point of the email. It was to tell you mm. the scale and the, of the quality. Um, Ross and I massively underestimated what we had. That's, uh, we didn't raise the price point. Uh, I mean, we left it away. We were always planning on bringing it, even after that wonderful information that Dave uh, provided for us. We weren't going to change it. That's not what we're about. This is totally natural Burmese nephrite. We have just l uh, less than 50 of these available. It was launched as part of the birthday event. Remember, the, the highest price piece of, uh, piece of jade is not from jadeite. It's actually nephrite. Um, and you've seen, there we go, we can show that. There it is, that's the, the actual artifact itself. That is what, it's a mutton fat nephrite. Uh, large white imperial nephrite sold in 2021. Yeah, you are reading that, that number right. I know, it's, 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 it's astonishing and it's astronomical. But it's this very gemstone. Burmese nephrite, just a different colouring. We've still brought it to air though. At twenty nine point, twenty nine point. What am I talking about? Twenty nine pounds <laughs> and ninety nine pence. <laughs> Get your certificate of authenticity. Um, I think this would be lovely alongside your, your, your selenite that you've just seen, actually. Mm. That would be a really beautiful combination. Yeah, yeah. Um, did we not? Okay, it was, it, was, it, it, was, it was a birthday banger. I know, I'll never get, to, I'll never get tired of actually saying it, but we still, took, uh, we still introduced this as a birthday banger, one of the most amazing and exciting discoveries. And uh, here we are, ha, ah, it's a birthday banger here at Jewelry Maker. Yes, you are getting that spinach green color of nephrite. Um, yes, we don't know if we'll uh, be able to uh, get hold of, uh, of this quality of green um, from this location again. Now, there is a limited quantity of these available. Remember, nephrite and jadeite, are, they're not chemically the same. They actually form completely differently. But they, how I always word it is they are uh, use jade as their surname. Uh, jadeite and nephrite are actually their, uh, their, 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 their Christian names. So you've actually got sibling stones that c come under that same same level of luxury, that same level of desirability. But over recent years, the price of nephrite has gone through the roof. Apart from here, it seems. At 19.99, Anne, Pat, Deborah, Alison, London, Charmaine, Ayrshire. Um, well, yeah, we did the deal. And you know, here at Jewelry Maker, we absolutely pass on the savings from, uh, for, you know, from time of purchase. Um, as long as you recognize, as long as you actually appreciate, this is no reflection of the true value or worth. The quality that you are getting right now really is amazing. Um, we only had, well, less than 50 in actual fact, and a lot of you are choosing to multi-buy. Um, get it whilst you can. Worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity also. Yeah, don't think that nephrite is an inferior, an inferior stone to your jadeite, because it, it absolutely isn't. And I think there's going to be some people um, behind the scenes that are going, oh, as if you suggested such a thing. No, I'm saying the opposite. It definitely isn't. Nephrite can command sometimes higher prices than that of your jadeite. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Um, stay where you are. Now, coming up, we've got your beautiful pearls. The pearls. That's what I'm going to call this. The ultimate pearl. I think these are amazing. Do you know when something really, really, really gets you right there? That's what these have done for me. Yeah. They are. Oh. Ross. Ross. I don't want to wait. 
And I know it's a really big no-no to do this. I know I'm not, as a presenter, it's... No, 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 it is a really big no-no. They're grumbling already, they know that I'm going to say. Can we do them now? <laughs> I shouldn't do that. They, they're like, are you producing from the floor, Al? <laughs> I don't normally, but please. If there is... Uh, every, whoever gets these, and I'm, again, these are, these are considered. Um, but for every single one of you that does get them, just wow. Because in my 23 years of working in high-end jewellery, these, for me, are the best I've seen. Um, since the development of culturing pills, of course, and I don't want to, I don't want to dwell on this too much, but the pill market has changed dramatically, um, in the sense that Mickey Moto was the one that, that 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 came up with a genius idea of actually instigating culturing pills, um, where basically you take your mollusk and they insert um, a single nucleated bead. Now. That nucleated bead, that mollusk ultimately then is nurtured lovingly. Honestly, they're pampered. They have all the barnacles literally chipped off their sides. They test the minerals within the waters and the temperatures to make sure that they are, you know, perfectly, perfectly happy. Um, and then years in, uh, years uh, into that process, they'll decide to open the mollusk up and keep everything crossed that a pearl will be inside. Doesn't, it's not always the case. Now, most pearls of any variety will form within the muscle, within, within the actual sort of the flesh, if you like, of the mollusk itself. But occasionally, accidents occur where a pearl has almost rolled out of the muscle and sits alongside the exterior of the shell. Now, if you were to think of an oyster shell, and it, uh, th th there's lots of different varieties of oysters out there. Um, the colour, the bulk of the colour is actually on the rim, on the circumference of it. Another thing to remember here, imagine how large those mollusks have to be to be able to house a 10 or 12 millimetre cultured pill. Mm. It's, we're talking dinner plate size. So they are looked after even before they start culturing. But like I said, these accidents happen where occasionally a pearl will tumble out and sit alongside the rim. Now, when that happens, it's, it's a celebration because what a uh, mollusk will do is it will pass on the colour of its shell, basically, to the pearl because it's that nacre uh, that it's coating it with. In very, very rare circumstances, you will get colour like this. No, they are not bleached and dyed. They are completely and utterly natural. Bonhams recently had an auction opportunity for a single rare pearl that was actually found purely by chance on a dinner plate. And almost eaten, they said. <laughs> that single pearl, and I forget the price, was sold at auction for a staggering, here we go, 15 to 20,000 US dollars. You can see a rare purple neospherical pearl discovered by a diner whilst enjoying a plate of clams <laughs> uh, will be sold at Bonhams on the 16th of June in Los Angeles, estimated between 15 and 20,000. You know, just get, uh, look, at the, look at the date. It's only last year. Yeah. And that's a single pearl. Amazing. A single pearl. You are about to get a whole strand. A whole strand. Take a little look at this. Now, this was a uh, strong pinkish purple freshwater bead cultured pearls that were written about recently um, with the GIA. Jack Lynch, 
of Sea Hunt Pearl, San Francisco, recently submitted a necklace consisting of 33 strong pinkish purple near round pearls, ranging from 11.9 to 13.8 millimeters in your diameter. The unusually intense color and large size of the pearls immediately drew our attention. Mr. Lynch indicated that the pearls were farmed uh, in both Hunan and Hubei provinces of China over a period of three and a half to four years. So you've got to remember that to, to find one of those pills, as we just showed in Bonhams, and the price tag um, is, is incredible. But to be able to get an entire necklace yeah. or strand in this case is incredibly, uh, uh, incredibly rare and takes years to achieve. They debuted in the Hong Kong in Hong Kong Jewelry Show in 2019. The initial harvests were priced at sky high premiums, especially the perfect rounds, well into the high thousands. And we can look at designers on our home shores here in the UK, Yoko of London, and they even say, "Look, high jewelry. This is high end jewelry." They can, you can buy beautiful purple pearls, but they won't tell you the price until you actually phone up. <laughs> but you can finance it for as little as, uh, just call it a thousand, shall we? Per month. month. Wow. <laughs> per month. It's stunning, isn't it? It is stunning. Absolutely. I actually think they're slightly paler than ours. Yeah. Look at that for, a, I love it. It's beautiful. The Novus ring. Two thousand and three hundred pounds for one. Well, is that a single pearl and then one, and then some eighteen karat gold? Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm. Two thousand three hundred pounds. That's the kind of prices that these command. Here's some earrings. Two. Five thousand seven hundred pounds in eighteen karat white gold. You notice none of these are with silver. They're all with your 18 karat or with your platinums. Drenched in diamonds. I'm going to say it again. Well, I love those. They're amazing. Amazing. And you look, look, all of that, all the beautiful sapphire and diamonds. Um, you wear those, by the way, at the back of the year, of course. You know, the, the, the pearl is what's centre stage. You wear the diamonds and the sapphires at the back. They still look beautiful, don't get me wrong. But it is all about those perfect round, oh, duet. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, duet nice. earrings. Again, I've worked in the industry since, uh, since I was 20 years old, but just before 20 years old, actually. And I've never seen pearls like this before. Never. Oh, yes, 22,500. Dave did actually look, inquire on the price of this necklace. Wow. And they're no and near as colourful, no. vivid as these. We've got a message coming into the studio. Hello, oh, Caroline, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Al, Gemma and crew. I purchased these pills when they were launched. I have some stunning strands, but these are mesmerising. Mm. I, I, I knew you bought them, Caroline. Caroline, you own the best pills that I've ever seen. And I don't say that lightly. Mm. I don't. I've seen pills which are like £50,000. I have. And like I, I've, I've always shared with you, I would have got absolutely crucified if I ever handled pills of this quality without any white gloves. Mm. I'm going to just ask you this. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? Because I don't think I have. Yeah, they are exceptional. Um, there's 12. Yes, they are an investment. Yes, they are. This would, I think, it's only, this is only my preference, but I would absolutely put this with a gold clasp. Mm -hmm. Not silver. I would put this with gold or even platinum. Maybe you've got something that you've inherited, uh, some, some, uh, something, a necklace that you don't use. Recycle it. Yeah, that's a good idea. And use, I, I've gone on to auction sites, bought an old piece of jewellery, not for the piece of jewellery, but for the clasp. Yeah. Yeah, you know, brooches make great clasps. You know, you can, you know, yeah. um, use a, a brooch and just sort of have it as a, as a clasp or a feature. And Gemma, this needs to be insured. Yes. 
When we say get things valued, we don't we don't say get it valued just so that you know. Oh no, it's great. It's, it's lovely to know that it's worth more than what we bring it to you at on your screens. But we don't just do it for that reason. We say get it get it get it valued so that you can put it on your insurance mm -hmm. because. Ultimately, that's the most important thing. If heaven, heaven forbid this was to get stolen or to you were to lose it, we wouldn't be able to replace it at the prices more often than not than we actually bring this to air. Mm. Twelve people will get this. And I so wish I was one of them. We're offering it to you on five split payments, interest-free, over five months. You are getting home... The best pearls I've seen. There's a photograph that we've shown before at Tucson. There was a, 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 a special ceremony that Dave and Jake went to. They were, you had to be invited. Um, and there was pieces of jewellery in a cabinet, which was, by the way, guarded, mm -hmm. alarmed, <laughs> that had, an inch, uh, had a coral piece from Sophia Loren and it had some other amazing designs. And, and there was one necklace, one pearl necklace that had the most beautiful purple i'd say almost exactly like this yeah. i don't know how much it was worth but it was guarded and it was alongside sophie loren's yeah. jewelry it's gonna have been we take this to a three-figured price already we have single figures remaining. Again, I, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is not a considered purchase. It is. However, it is not reflective of the true value and worth. The quality of these perfect rounds, naturally coloured, flawless nacre surface at £899. What? Look at the split pay. Mm. £179.80. When you look at this, when you look at that Yoko London piece that I showed you a few moments ago, hang on, we'll bring it on, don't worry. Our, our, our PowerPoint's having a little moment. Can't say I blame it, I'm having a moment with these as well. 22 and a half thousand pounds. Yeah, and it's got the spaces, which is, you know, Hampshire, West Yorkshire, well done. Mm. London, well done. I've got Suffolk, Channel Isles, and another new customer who wants three. Mm -hmm. Gemma, do you see why I'm saying they're the best pearls? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I've they, never seen pearls anywhere near as They are that. absolutely gorgeous. I, I do, I do like metallic pearls, and and, and I do love um, the pearls with lots of texture. But it's so rare you see pearls with that sort of such smooth they're like, flawless aren't they they literally are flawless they're so smooth they almost your eyes almost hurt <laughs> they're just they're so smooth and and beautiful and for me that copper glow that copper mm. almost like an iridescence over the surface is just fantastic i would i would be putting this with rose gold i think um what novus did there with the with the yeah they've done gold. 18 carat rose just, yeah it absolutely hits a nail on the head in terms of design i think and spacing them out like that so you can wear them more opera length is lovely you know they're beautiful i i i'm i'm, I'm quite quiet because i I'm really want them see. i really want them <laughs> yeah they are they are pretty spectacular you can get them home today for 159 pounds and 80 pence on split pay this is probably going to be the only occasion that they ever go up to my neckline, but still, I'm going to, t I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to seize it. I'm going to take this opportunity and run with it. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah, stunning. Again, I'm going to ask you: Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? They I, are very. very I don't beautiful. think I have. I don't think I've never seen pearls of. And I've brought some incredible pearls. Please don't think I'm being dis disrespectful to any other pearls um, that I've brought to her. I know they are beautiful, but this one is just literally 
hit me straight through the heart and I, I can see so many of you are, have got that same same feeling um, you've got of course 30 days get them home T don't you don't have to take my word for it take them into a high-end jewelers and I do mean high-end take it to somewhere that naturally that appreciates the fact that these are naturally colored D take get a certificate as well uh, naturally colored pearls Edison pearls which I've barely even mentioned yeah Barely even mention the fact they're Edison pearls. That pe level and pedigree. Um, don't tell them what you paid for them. Don't tell them. I guarantee that it will be, it'll come back significantly more than what's on your screens right now. We have got people on the phone lines. We've got people on the web as well. The best quality pearls, the most perfectly spherical. I'm always very tentative, very wary to actually use the description flawless when it comes to um, an organic gemstone, although I have no hesitation with this right now. No hesitation. Because the nacre surface of a pearl, which is a little bit like our skin, we expect it to have the odd blemish. Nothing. Nothing. And that is pure rarity. Remember, 15 to 20,000 pounds a single purple pearl was sold at Bonham's as an estimate of 15 uh, to 20,000 pounds, you are getting an entire 38 centimeter strand. Mm. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. Um, we're actually over allocated. We're about to cut to a break. <laughs> we are having a break, Ross, aren't we? <laughs> if you want it, it's probably gonna take me a minute to get to the <laughs> to my phone. I'm just giving you a little bit of a heads up, but that is unbelievable. Well done, everybody. They're beautiful. They really, really are. Still got so much though, yes. because this amazing lineup of Moonstone is coming up within the next hour. I'm going to be joined by the lovely Toby um, to bring a lovely showcase of your uh, of your coated Moonstone. And then um, you're coming back to me at twelve o'clock, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Yeah, we've got some um, gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly kits. Hematite. Hematite kit. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love Those it. Those colours. They're lovely. Amazing. Stay where you are on those phone lines, jewelry makers. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. 
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Apologies, I know you're expecting the dashing Toby. Um, unfortunately, he's stuck in traffic. He's literally stuck in traffic. So you've got little old me, if that's all right, if that's all right. Um, but we will still deliver. We will still absolutely bring you the vision of colour that is before you on this tea bar. We are about to talk about the beauty that is moonstone um and actually let's be honest we don't get a lot of moonstone anymore here at jewelry maker um it is this wonderful i think perfect addition on the back of your selenite deal of the day as well because here's two gemstones which almost seem to hypnotize with their ability to play with light of course that play of light brings you what we know in the trade as a phenomena effect um and it was actually, this gemstone was actually named after, um, again, there's a reference to the moon, as we said earlier on, Selenite and uh, uh, the, the goddess of the moon, uh, Selene herself. Uh, but with, with moonstone, it's the reflection on the water. When you have the most beautiful still light, and if you can imagine it maybe, the moon up in the sky, uh, a beautiful sort of uh, still pond before you, that reflection and how it seems to throw that reflection across the pond water um, or a lake or, or even maybe the, the open sea, uh, that is what historically this gemstone was seen that magic was captured within visually captured within this gemstone so much so actually they thought it was particles of the moon um, that had arrived here on the planet so you get a phenomena effect as i said um, light seems to sort of play across the surface and we call that shilla um, many, many, many different uh, gemstone traders. So I'm looking down at your moonstone right now and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, many different sort of gemstone traders will actually refer to this gemstone as one that they will only put in your high precious metals. I told a story again talking to one, um, one moonstone trader over in Tucson and he was saying, um, only ever an 18 karat gold. He would never put it in anything less than that. Uh, and, and how he spoke about this gemstone was just almost it was positively poetic. Ross is just saying something in my ear. What was that, Ross? You're going to put all the colours on pre-order. Don't you think, though, Ross, this is like the perfect showcase to put alongside... Um, alongside your dealer of the day, your, your, your Serenite, because they both have a, um, quite a, 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 sort of a similar uh, vision of beauty. Now, you have approximately 
100 of each of these beautiful colours. Excuse me, moving around in the background. Um, now, Moonstone naturally occurs in a variety of colours, but it's most recognised for its pure, right, uh, pure white. Now, with uh, developments gemolo uh, gemologically, of course, we know that we can enhance and, and treat gemstones. Gemma said earlier on about how she prefers uh, tiger's eye when it's actually gone through that dry... Uh, that, 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 uh, um, dying process because again it shows it enhances the ability to see that wonderful chatoyancy um, but I'm just going to read something to you a paragraph from my own notes whilst you're admiring these beautiful colours its name owes itself to the mysterious adolescence and shimmer that bears resemblance to the colours of the moon with silver to bluish iridescence which is caused by intergrowths of two different types of feldspar um, which uh, Re refract different indexes um it's it's incredible that, that this can even occur within mother nature of course a member of the feldspar family and one of the gemstones that most of us actually will be compelled to buy first i hear it quite a lot what was the first gemstone that you ever bought sometimes it's tiger's eye sometimes it's moonstone and i think it is that inner magic that uh, that surrounds this gem um it is surrounded by mystery uh, a gemstone that has featured across lots of different cultures for thousands and thousands of years. Indians regard, uh, India, in India, sorry, they regarded this gemstone, uh, moonstone, as the dream stone and an ability to bring that wearer beautiful visions at night. It has been set in jewellery from as early as 100 AD and was particularly popular in the Art Nouveau period. The finest moonstone will have a silky sheen and a striking play of light. But as I said, I touched on it earlier on, um, with developments from, uh, gemologically speaking, of course, we can bring you that adolescence, that beautiful shimmer um, with, uh, with your moonstone, but we can almost encourage it, enhance it even more with some natural coating. Now, these are all available on pre-order. You can absolutely shop ahead. Can you imagine these in one one amazing design now they are going lower on each of those price tags now i'm going to start with the multi-colored moonstone this this showcase has well has had quite a reaction we've had lots of messages into the studio i'm not surprised i am not surprised at all because i think i think finally summer has declared itself can you imagine whether you're at family weddings or whether you go to barbecues or the jubilee celebrations can you imagine in a design that is unique to you you wearing this absolute vision oh i think this could sell out as quickly as the deal of the day it's it's joyous isn't it it's beautiful. You've got adolescence teamed with, like it's been touched by fairies. You have this shiller across the surface and that wonderful mystical coating. Take an amazing gemstone, but the finest quality natural gemstone. And with some amazing gemological technolo uh, te technological advancements, Look at what can be achieved. $39.99, there are only 100 of these avail uh, available. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I, you know, I love Moonstone. I do. Um, I would say in its natural form, it's really beautiful. However, this is on a different scale. I actually prefer the fact that this has that, uh, that coating, the prefer the fact that you've got these wonderful, almost celebratory like colors. Um, it's a little bit more cheerful, a little bit more uplifting. At 39.99, we had a hundred of these opportunities available, but they are not hanging around. You can shop ahead on all of the lovely colors as well, all of which are in rondelles. So think about sort of uh, uh, lovely marks, um, um, inspiration when he brought you the mermaidial courts you saw how quickly they all sold out if you missed out on the mermaidial courts then this is a fantastic alternative under 20 is that what you said Ross no but no I was just looking at my screen my, my, my sheet star by sheet under 20 pounds 
Ah, uh, okay, let me just relay. Ross is saying in my ear. Um, we've gone under 20, but he has just spoken to Toby on the phone, yeah. He says, I apologise for not being here. He's very sorry, literally, gridlock. He says, it's an apology deal. Ah, oh, look, there he is, in the bottom of the screens. All seven strands. He's willing to let them go lower as an apology for not being here. Okay, what is that price then? Right, okay. They will all go to that same or low. They should have been £19.99. pence. Can you imagine, again, stations? Imagine, like Gemma was saying, like, you know, diamonds by the yard, the Elsa Peretti. Can you just imagine all those different colours then with lengths of chains in between? I tell you what, in 60 seconds, and we want to see you on the phone lines, uh, lovely Toby has, is, is promising a super, super, super low price tag. It should have been £19.99. and pence. He says, I'm not going to make it. Listen, I, I, he, he isn't going anywhere very fast right now. So, um, so, so just go ahead. Obviously, it's live TV. We can't just wait um, for traffic to subside. Uh, so, yeah, you've got little old me, but he is promising you um, the best, most affordable, affordable it was affordable before that means now if you were thinking about one of these strands you might be able to get a different a, a selection of the colors you know this is all ages have you noticed that miss soma all the biggest brands are actually working with vibrant color pops but this is color pops with the magic like they have been touched by magic every single one is going to be exactly the same price so whether you're looking at the fuchsia pink whether you're looking at the green whether you're looking at the red whether you're looking at the orange whether you're looking at the yellow or the blue or the multicolored strand right now we are matching the price across the board 12.99 That's a big, that, I mean, he's very, he is very apologetic then, is not our Toby. That's a big price crash. Oh, my goodness me. Look, look. Look how beautiful this is. Wait, I'm, go, I'm going all in. Look. Oh. Can you imagine, if you, if you could... Oh, look at that. It's absolutely stunning, this showcase, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Shop ahead. They are all going to £12.99 only. Ah, oh, pre-order, enjoy, and share with me uh, what your inspiration what you're going to do with these. Would you mix up the colours? Would you maybe... Um, would you actually sort of pair them with some of the colours? Um, or are you going to go for something really vibrant? A real a celebration. Remember, what is it next weekend, the Jubilee? It is, isn't it? Next weekend is next Thursday. Um, so we've got, what, the, the, the Platinum Jubilee. And yes, that's right, because I've got, I've got a little, little picnic at Willow School. And I've already bought the snacks that you have to go and sign yourself up for, for, for certain snacks that you're going to donate. Um, so I bought that in the shop yesterday. Um, but yeah, imagine this, a vision of colour, because it is a celebration. Let's bring you the pink. Ooh, this was some black, I think. They are on pre-order. I'd put this alongside, yeah, some black spinel or jadeite would be lovely too, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. You want a snack donation, did you say? <laughs> I can do that, Adam. Put it, we put a little list up and it was like, who's going to bring the jumbo bags of crisps? Who's going to bring the squash? Who's going to bring cocktail sausages? You've booked off Thursday? Ross, have you really? Oh, okay, fair enough. Shall we do snacks? Yes. We're going to do snacks. Just because we can. Just because we can. So for your beautiful fuchsia. I did a picnic when we were at Ivy House, didn't we? 
$12.99 only. I'm just hearing in my ear when Elle did a, uh, when Elle did a picnic um, back in Ivy House. And uh, th to be honest, yeah, I did. I went to, we had like, what, crab pate, didn't we? We had a bit of a bit of a um, pros prosciutto and cold meats and some hummus and all of those yummy, delicious things. Some nice bread. Yes, Ross, you're going to regret have book it, having booked that day off. Um, you enjoy your service station food. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence only to get hold of this. I'm going to put it alongside the other colours as well, if I can. Um, so yeah, let me just put this down. What would you put with the pink? What would you put with the pink? Green. Why not? Okay, what about yellow? No brown, it's all vibrant colours. Or would you put it with the orange? Should we do the green next? Been very popular on pre-order. Um, again, oh, I love these strands. They're just fun, aren't they? And I think whatever age, um, whatever style that you actually might have, whether you go for something a little bit more uh, sort of understated, I do certainly with my clothing. I'm a very boring dresser. However, um, when it comes to things like your uh, accessories, I'll go all out. I'll go to town. These would be fabulous in opera length earrings, in sort of waterfall styles. You could actually use them maybe as a spacer. Uh, to some of your cultured pearls, you could use them with something quite dynamic like a black spinel. You know where it's going. You know where it's going. We'll do it in one price crash. $12.99. Here's me waiting, holding my breath almost for that price stack. <laughs> we know what it is. Um, there are a hundred of each and every single one of these. Uh, do you remember that piece that... Um, oh, who was it? What, why, am I, why have I gone blank? Which designer was it? Text in if you know the answer. Was it, was it Saturday? Um, anyway, that literally just beaded, sat and beaded and beaded and beaded and beaded and just kept going until the end of the strand. Who was it that was with me? And it was all about those beautiful colours. Um, can you imagine doing that with these? Literally green, maybe with a few of your spaces, green with a few of your spaces, green. How amazing that would be and literally create a wraparound style. Um, I know Mark does that kind of look quite frequently uh, and just wear it really casually, very on trend at the moment. Remember, this is a gemstone that was really, uh, really relevant within uh, uh, so the Art Nouveau period, of course, but um, in the 1920s, but it's still absolutely relevant to this day and age. Uh, the finest moonstone, remember, will have a silky sheen and a striking play of light. Well, that light is emphasised. Let's bring you now the purple. Oh, did I pick up the wrong one, maybe? Have you got the photo? Because I want to show you the difference between the purple and the pink. And I'm wondering if I picked up the wrong one earlier. I'll show you. That one? So I I that I picked that up for the for the pink, I apologize. There we go. But there's the difference between the purple and the pink. It is very close. They really work together, don't they? Really work. You know where it's going to. Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's magical, it's mystical, it's fun, it's a celebration. This is, for me, yeah, look, we can do your, your, your fine, your couture, we can do your very high, ultra high end, like we just saw with those amazing pearls. Um, but, I mean, Moonstone, if, if there's a huge value to this gemstone, of course, but it's taking Moonstone and showing a little bit of personality. So, jewellery doesn't have to be almost, it doesn't have to be, oh, what's the right word that, uh, I've got one in my head that's completely wrong, but jewellery doesn't have to be all about sort of uh, be too pretentious. It can actually show show your own character within £12.99 pence without it being things like glass or a synthetic bead. It doesn't have to be costume jewellery uh, to actually have a bit of fun. Um, it can absolutely be your genuine gemstones as well. £12.99 pence only. Imagine all of these just literally de-stranded in a gigantic bowl and then you rosary linking. 
or, or literally just feeding on to some lovely beading thread. Was it, who was it? Who was with me the other day that literally just kept beading and beading and beading and made that really lovely layered necklace? Was it Claire McDonald? No, I don't think it was Claire. Why have I gone blank? Why have I, was it Linda? Might well have been Linda, I don't know. Anyway, but literally just beading with a mixture of your Mayuki in amongst it. And it looks so gorgeous. It was like a lovely long line necklace. Um, okay, so there is your beautiful purple. Peach. Oh, it is peachy too. Hmm. Or orange. I'd use this with the yellow. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Here's the yellow. I'd use those two together. And I'd probably include a bit of blue. Why not? You know where they're going to, don't you? Oh, so for that beautiful, like, peach melba, isn't it? You've actually got a pinkish blush within your moonstone where the, uh, the gemstone's natural formation itself is uh, accentuated by, as I said, that very cutting edge treatment, uh, treatment process. Don't forget, coating gemstones, some people actually shy away from coated gemstones, and that's fine. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong, of course. It's, a, it's all personal choice. Um, but, you know, mystic topaz, mystic coated topaz um, is, is, is a very, very similar uh, process to what you're looking at right now. You take the finest quality topaz and they literally bombard it with microscopic atoms uh, those atoms will basically adhere to the gemstone itself and bring you this beautiful almost like a well it is a shiller isn't it across the surface accentuating the shiller that you get naturally within your moonstone um okay uh let's now bring you the blue mm. perfect amongst sea beaders because I always think that colours like this, you've got the colours within your sea beading as a genre, uh, um, I suppose, yeah, you're very lucky to have a, a, an extensive palette of colours, haven't you? Blue um, is historically, by the way, one of the most popular of colours of all gemstones, uh, uh, of all beads that we offer here at Jewelry Maker. So I'm fully expecting this one to be um, uh, sort of on and gone opportunities. Moonstone owes itself... Uh, owes its name to the mysterious adolescence and shimmer that bears resemblance to the colours of the moon, accentuated then with this, this process. Look at that, £12.99 pence only. Um, of course, it is a birthstone too. Ah, uh, next month's birthstone. It's next month's birthstone, yeah. June. So if you know anybody that's a June baby... Pearl, Moonstone, Alexandrite, yes. I'm impressed there with the, with the, with the birthstone knowledge. Um, what a great alternative to a pearl because, you know, my, my, my husband's birthday is in June and I, think, I, I don't think he would wear a pearl, but he would most likely wear a Moonstone. This on something like black leather cord for, 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 for a gent. Um, but at the same time, it's something that I could wear as well. Uh, $12.99 again. Loads of you loving this. Hello, Beth. Hello to you, Helen. Gabrielle, Vivian. Hello to you, Yvette. Anthony and Kay. Susan, Kath. Uh, Isle of Sky. John. Hello to you, Angus. Donna. Merseyside. You're all there as well. Text in. Come and say hello. I apologise once again. Toby was meant to be with me this hour, but he is literally stuck in traffic. So uh, can't get to you. Um, but he has promised, and we are delivering your apology prices so these were all meant to be 19 pounds and 99 pence but purely because toby uh, couldn't make it to the studio we've dropped he's dropped it significantly to 12 pounds and 99 um share with me what you're going to be doing with these because i would love to hear okay the last is it, it's gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful they're all gorgeous <coughs> but i'm drawn to the yellow it's sunshine. You've literally got sunshine here. Well, not literally, but you get the idea. Look at that. Yellow is the colour of creativity. Yellow is the colour of positivity. I don't think Hargreaves got it wrong when he made Mr Happy yellow. It was Hargreaves, wasn't it? Was it Jim? Jim, I think it was, that wrote The Mister Men. 
But he wasn't wrong, was he, when he, when he made Mr. Happy yellow? It is the ha a happiness... Was it Roger? Roger Hargreaves. And just been taken over by his son. Yellow is a happiness-inducing colour, isn't it? You can't help but smile. You know where we are taking this to. No surprises here whatsoever. Again, beautiful moonstone at the core, and then you have these wonderful, wonderful colours uh, which have been uh, added to the gemstone, of course, and then wrapped beautifully with that magical iridescence. Twelve pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven strands. So seven times twelve ninety-nine. So you can get the whole showcase for £90.93. and pence. I'm not saying you would get them all. Yeah, well, I would if I could. But, um, but what a lovely, lovely combination of colours that you can get. Perfect for the summertime months, don't you think? Well done, everybody. Again, do check out those baskets. Apologies once again uh, that Toby couldn't be with us. We'll see him again soon. Now, um, we've got a little selection of loose stones to bring you. So for those of you that maybe got involved in the nine o'clock hour um, and were looking for other stones maybe to set within, uh, but also at the top of this hour, well, we've got a really beautiful star by now I remember this quite vividly this sterling silver chain because it looks like lace um, I never thought I could say that about a, a precious metal which is basically what you're seeing it literally looks like lace it is that that beautiful um, beautiful quality so this is coming up we're going to do a massive massive deal on sterling silver uh, sterling silver chain as well by the spool at the end of the hour oh my goodness me can I show you all of these? That's natural spinel. They are unbelievable. What was that, Paul? Paul's just stepped into the gallery. What did you just say? You don't get spinel that big. No, I agree. I totally, totally agree. I thought initially, uh, it's, it's hard, isn't it? It's one of those that it's the size that would make us all question it, right? Um, because I thought initially, oh, is it a garnet from a, dis a distance? But then you get close and you go, no, it's purer than a garnet. Uh, it's coming up natural Burmese spinel. Most Burmese spinel, even on our sister channel, are significantly smaller. Tiny, tiny, tiny. You've also got an opportunity to buy, I can't believe I'm doing this, Mandarin garnet. Now, look at Harry Winston. There's a piece that he has used, Mandarin garnet and turquoise. And honestly, the price is, is amazing. It's shockingly high. What you're getting these for, incredible. Then I'm going to show you this lineup, a whole parcel of grandidurite. And then what I'm going to start this amazing show, uh, selection with is graded tanzanite. You were pushing for, for many years, actually, for us to grade our tanzanite. And we'd always said... No, we're not going to do it because it takes a long time. It's going to slow that whole, uh, the, the whole time of us bringing it to air, of course. It takes manpower. Things are different now, of course. We are part of the Gemporia Partnership. So grading is kind of a whole natural process of tanzanite. You're not just getting one graded tanzanite. What are you taking this to, Ross? This was with Steve, wasn't it? Okay, okay, I'm not worried then. Are we going to match the Steve price? 700 of these flew on the birthday. 700. I was a bit worried, but Steve decided this price tag. Right, wait, wait, I, hang on a minute. Can I just show you one? First. There's your price. There's the price of this. That one on its own. But wait. You've got a cushion, you've got round brilliant cuts, 
You've got ovals, all graded quality. We have the final selection of the birthday deal that was brought to you with the lovely uh, Carol and Steve. Um, I, I would have been worried a bit concerned about the price tag that I just heard in my ear had I not have known that it was Steve that was responsible for deciding upon it. You are getting graded. I mean, that one here, I would even personally, I'd be going, mm, double A, maybe triple A. It's got that beautiful, um, the content, the amount of vanadium within each and every single one of these tanzanites, obviously, that's the chemical that is responsible for bringing you those beautiful blues. The more of it, the darker it gets. Um, but then when you start looking at the clarity of each and every single one of these, then of course, um, of course, that's added to that beautiful grading, the quality of the cutting, of course, um, and the overall carrot weight. At $99.99, that's, oops, sorry, that's incredible for this quality of tanzanite. Set them into a single ring. Nobody, very few people would expect tanzanite to be at a double figure price tag. Very few people. This is where we're in our, in our very odd but wonderful JM bubble, isn't it? We always said, no, we're not going to grade our tanzanite because it slows the process of bringing them to air and also it, it costs. We've halved that price. How many do we have, Ross? 90 left in the business. Something I touched on on Saturday morning when I joined you and the other, uh, and the other shift side, it was actually Wayne that produced me then. And I said, I feel, I feel duty bound to buy tanzanite right now. Not only because I love it, but also because I've got family, I've got, I've got children. Hopefully one day I'll have grandchildren, yeah. And, and it's one of those that, if I don't buy it, then the future generations within my family are probably, are definitely gonna have to pay significantly more than what's on your screens right now. One of those stones at 49.99 is incredible. Let alone the, what's that? 12, 13. You might have more, you might have less. We guarantee the carrot weight. You're not even paying 49 pounds and 99 pence. They will work with lots of different calibrations, whether you've got ring mounts, whether you work with your bezel strips. 29 pounds. Oh, Steve went lower than that, did he? I'm not nervous. I'm not even batting an eyelid because Steve, Steve called this price tag, not me. And we're just gonna we're just gonna sort of jump on uh, uh, his tail feathers, basically, basically, and say, okay, we'll match it. We're gonna match it. We don't want to be outdone. Definitely, definitely not. But one of those stones at twenty nine ninety nine would be absolutely incredible. Um, in thirty five seconds, this is a big parcel of quality graded tanzanite. And people are already making those confirmations. Well done. Maybe you've got that parcel back from the birthday deal that Carol and Steve brought to you. And you're like, oh, shucks. Why didn't I buy more? You've got a chance now. You have got a chance because we went even lower than this. Uh, Jamati, hello to you. Carola, Linda, Belinda, Beverly, hello to you. Essex, London. Uh, Surrey, you've got yours. Hello to you, Bev. What a parcel this is. The cushion is huge. It's absolutely huge. I, I said earlier on, $24.99, delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. If I just got one of those stones, let alone the parcel, yeah, let alone the entire parcel that you've got here. Amazing. Truly, truly amazing. Well done for those of you that are choosing to multi-buy. I'm looking at 13. So if you do get 13, that's less than two pounds per tanzanite. There's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a, a slide which actually shows the depths that we are actually having to uh, um, descend to, to actually unearth each of these gemstones. And it's something that, you know, we, bec we can become so blasé about. I remember Steve actually talking about it. He's been there, he's been to the tanzanite mine and he was saying he couldn't do it. He was exhausted literally before he even reached to the bottom. You've got to remember then they go down and then they'll do a day's work and then they'll climb back up again. Um, we used to say like literally thousands of meters below the earth's surface and that is getting further and further and further. Now, yeah, but does the quality get better? No, not necessarily. Um, it's becoming few and 
far between, it's just getting more and more and more challenging to actually unearth this gemstone. I think it showed, it actually showed on that slide. I don't know if you've got it, Ross. Um, don't worry. No, let's just talk about this. I can reference it. Let, let's show that one. But um, there's, a, there's a, literally, if you imagine everything flipped over, so you've got the Eiffel Tower, you've got the Shard, and then you've got, um, I can't remember what building it actually references. The Burj Khalifa. There we are. It's literally at that, it's that level below the Earth's surface that we're actually having, and vertically underneath the ground. And the Pantone colour of the year, of course, is very peri. It was announced at the beginning, uh, 2022, and it's pretty much exactly this parcel that you are looking at right now. Um, this beautiful, beautiful uh, depth of your colour. Um, have you found... Oh, we might be able to show you that visual because it really lets you appreciate the scale, the levels, the extent, the work that goes into sourcing, sourcing each and every single one of these amazing stones. Uh, Suzanne, Anne, Julie, well done to you, Norfolk, Merseyside, hello Jesse, hello to you, Marilyn, Deborah, uh, Karen, you're there as well. We've matched Steve's price. Uh, I'd be worried about it otherwise. I'd be worried and concerned of bringing a parcel of this uh, of graded quality. Now, from Tanzanite to Grandidurite, two of our biggest gemstones here at Jewelry Maker, two which are very rare and difficult to get hold of. Now, Grandidurite, I think most of our regulars know this. There are 30 of these opportunities. It's totally and utterly natural. Now, Granted, you're right, widely documented as one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones. Dropped down a little bit in the rarity, but always stayed within the top 10. It's going back up. Do you know why it's gone back up? Because that discovery in Madagascar, the deposit in Madagascar, was what made it drop, meaning it's not as rare because it was being unearthed. It's not being unearthed anymore. I saw one, and I do mean one single Grand Didgerite in the entirety of Tucson when I was there. This is a really exciting gemstone and a, and a gem that many collectors can only dream about owning. Um, it is widely recommended or, or known to be, like I said, one of the rarest, but also one of the most expensive gemstones that exist. Um, we're talking about $20 per, uh, sorry, tw sorry, $20 thousand uh, dollars per carat a really beautiful gemstone one that's quite unique where you have this lovely uh, fusion of uh, of green and blue now you we guarantee at the carat weight, we guarantee um, that you'll get the ma most amazing parcel of quality nine carats in total and there are 30 chances 30 chances the recording looks very different because those are Actually, well, you've got some big solitaires in there. I'd be mixing these up because then you can get some of the big ones, you can get some of the smaller ones too. Nine carats. Naturally, this is how Grand Digirite forms. And again, it's a gemstone which can be found in clarity, uh, but more often than not, actually is expected to have inclusion. So this is Grand Digirite in its rough. You can actually see you've got that really beautiful intensity of, of teal. Number three on the Forbes list, you can see it there, $20,000 per carat. And that's not the most eye clean stone. Um, it is all about colour really when it comes to this gemstone. Um, number four on the rarity list, as you can see, um, the gemstone was named after French explorer Alfred Grandadier, uh, who studied natural history in Madagascar. Mad uh, Grandadierite was discovered in 1902 in southern Madagascar and a new Grandadierite deposit in Madagascar was discovered in 2014. It is that deposit, said deposit, that is now no longer un un uh, unearthing this gemstone. What do you think that's going to mean in terms of the overall value of your Grandadierite? Right. It won't go down now. No, it'll definitely be going up because there's no other place in the world right now that is unearthing, uh, unearthing Grand Digirite as a gemstone. Uh, often translucent with a blue green, um, uh, with a blue green colour, but it's hardly ever seen. Not only do you get the really beautiful rarity of the colour, you also get strong pleochroism that can uh, transmit further blues, greens, and even white light. Um, very wearable, very sought after. As I said a few moments ago, a gemstone that many collect and connoisseurs could only dream of owning. 79.99. Really? 
Adam's just said he's not even staying there. Go on, Adam. You, I feel like you know something more than I don't. You can see the price. Mental, he says. <laughs> you know more than me in there, Adam, you know. And can I just also point out, just because sometimes this is brought up, yeah, that is mental. Actually mental for granted, you're right. For the quality in the carrot weight, it's one of the lowest prices that we've ever brought to air, says Ross. Um, I, what, I've, I'm actually lost for words now, goodness me. I don't know what to say. What was I just saying? Literally stop myself then mid... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it does get brought up. People think that um, on every live show, we know exactly what Ross is going to take these to. I don't even know... I, I didn't know these were even part of the show. I did not know that these were even part of the show. So I don't. And I genuinely did not expect them to be going at £24.99. Not one of those stones should be £24.99. It's grand, did you right? You don't have to take my word for it. Look at the Guinness Book of Records. Look at Forbes. Each and every single one of those will document this gemstone. And by the way, it is moving upwards. Again, moving up the rarity list and up the most expensive gemstones that exist. Um, now, yeah, like I said, you can find it elsewhere. You can find grand digirite. I know other shopping channels will actually bring it to you. I know our sister channel brings it to you. Look at these that were found on, um, on, on eBay. That's £4,300. Would you say that their grand digirite is better than yours? No. And the postage. Look at the postage. £43. In silver. They're in silver. They're not in, they're not in platinum. That's in silver. But again, this, is, this parcel, though, it was a very, very, very short window. The parcel is gone. So what's out there is what's out there. This spinel is, is literally amazing. I need to get my tweezers for this one. Ah, oh, Dan. I'm sorry, lovely. I think I left my tweezers over there. And this is too special to not, to not get it out of the box. When we discuss spinel... Thank you, lovely. It's often referred to as a naturally pure gemstone. It forms alongside sapphires and ruby, and that's a lot of the had a big part in actually the play of confusion with this gemstone um oh my goodness this is this is probably the best parcel i've seen in spinel I, again i mean that i'm surprised these weren't actually commissioned uh on our sister channel ross can you bring up the gia color wheel for, for spinel uh, it's if you put it if you google uh, GIA Spinel uh, Color Quality Factors. Literally, we're doing this live on air right now. Quality Factors. Yeah. Um, and you'll see a really, a bit like the one with Jade, you'll see like a, a spectrum of colors. Look at this. These are huge. Hello? 
I apologise, lovely jewellery makers, literally problems with uh, the mic just there, but I am, I have never left you, I promise you that. Um, now, what was I just saying? If you look at an article, this is literally direct from, we're doing this live as we speak, from the GIA. So you can see Gemological Institute of America, Spinel Quality Factors. And let's just read this together because it's not, it's, not, it's not too difficult to read. That You know, sometimes the, the actual wording can be quite um, overwhelming, but not in the case here. Spinel is generally high sought after by gem connoisseurs. A well-formed spinel crystals are in high demand amongst collectors. Spinels come in a variety of color, but most commercially important are the reds and the pinks, mauve or lilac. Um, are also attractive and blue uh, spinel colours can be intense. So you can see a few examples here on, um, on the GIA, but let's keep going. Colour. Some spinel colours are more rare and more valuable than other. In general, stop. In general, red spinel is the most desirable, followed by fine cobalt blue, but then the vibrant hot pinks and vivid orange stones, violets and bluish colours to purples or lavender stones tend to... Yeah, I don't I disagree with that, because actually if you look at that beautiful picture, and actually if you look at Mahenge spinel, it is all... Where, is the, where are these from? It is all, all about the purples. All about the purples. That's, uh, but here it is. So if we actually were to scroll down even further, it starts talking about how it's making a name for itself over the last couple of decades and the demand for fine quality stones um, exceeds supply. In fact, spinel is um, in great demand amongst gemologists and gem con uh, connoisseurs. Uh, this has, to some degree, closed the spinel versus ruby and sapphire price gap significantly. And I, I, I do totally agree with that. Obviously, we use the four C's. So you want to use, you want to have a spinel with fine colour. You want to have a, a spinel with fine uh, clarity. You want a carrot weight, of course, and you want it to be cut exceptionally. And this is ticking every single one of those boxes. You're getting Burmese spinel here, which is, well, as you can imagine, the, it's, it's the pedigree. It's the pedigree of the sapphire. It's the pedigree of jadeite, um, pedigree of ruby. And it's the pedigree of your spinel. This quality is the best I've seen. Would you all agree? In calibrated stones. So I want to buy some of these. My, stock, my order's already open. There's 26 available. I'm just picking one that's closest to me. It doesn't really matter. They're all amazing. Who launched these? Uh, they took them far too low. One of them, maybe, at the price that I'm hearing. No, I mean, no, even then it's low. How many do we have? 26 available. Get these home. These are fine, gem-quality spinels. Totally and utterly natural. So that's working out that these are all about, round about a carrot in this parcel. We're gar guaranteeing the carrot weight. Um, here you go. Here's a different parcel. You've got ovals within this one. All amazing, amazing quality. Look at that one for those of you that prefer the lavenders. Seriously, does that look like it's £24.99? Absolutely not. Look at the colour before us. All completely and utterly natural. Again, we talk about a purity of when it comes to spinel. That, what do you mean that's not worth? You've got red in that. And in, in what I'm seeing in that recording, there's red spinel. So I, I, can't, I can't take any credit for this launch. Neither can Ross. Because our, our, our friends on the opposite shift side, they, they, they really delivered on the deal on this one. Not one of these should be that price. Not one of these. I've done Mahenge Spinel showcases. I've done Burmese Spinel showcases. Very few and far between, I can tell you. And every single piece of jewellery that has that, 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 that I've seen would have been commissioned in gold. Um, remember, uh, John Soule as well, who, who, who literally, well, his family were part of the whole discovery of Tanzanite, um, literally lift, uplifted his whole family and moved them over uh, to Tanzania. 
um, following this gemstone. Basically, they followed this gemstone because he actually pitched it as being the next big headliner. And I totally, totally agree with that because you've got clarity, you've got a beautiful purity of color, and you've got durability in your spinel as well. I think we all, all know that fine quality like this parcel and you're looking at just one on the on the example that uh, uh, the studio had previously and these are literally picked at random there's a hot red there's a hot red 19.99 on the verge of selling out jewelry makers well done now i have mandarin garnet to bring you uh, your gem investor, Jake Thompson, actually for many years has shouted about the fact that he was like, Mandarin Garnet, Mandarin Garnet, here's the gemstone, exceptionally rare, incredibly beautiful. Um, it's going to price itself. It's going to get to a point, point where many people can't even afford this gemstone. And he, he wasn't wrong. Um, Harry Winston I can, is, is a piece that literally springs to mind where he's actually chosen the lovely colour contrast between the vibrancy of your mandarin garnet literally circling um, a beautiful, beautiful turquoise smothered then in diamonds. Really, what's the colour that we get, we gravitate to? It's, I think I might have said it the, other, the wrong way around. It was a mandarin garnet, and then it's the turquoise all the way around. Um, these are completely natural, honestly. Seriously. Look at this one up here. It's like fire. Oh, those could be a pair of earrings, couldn't they? Oh my goodness me, incredibly rare. So rare that actually many of the gemstone traders that unearth this gemstone will not reveal their, their location of source. I remember when uh, a variety, well it was actually a specotype, but very close to the beauty that you're looking at right now, well, it was discovered and um, it was called the African secret because it was so rare, so limited, that if they were to share that information overnight, everything would be gone. Nine, no, no, we can't take it lower than that. Are you kidding me? Who launched this? Was it, was it, was it, was it, was it our Carol? Was it? What on earth? What on earth? I've got to open this up for you. The next price? is not what you're paying. What on earth is going on here? This is too low already. Sorry, I know you're looking at the top of my head right now, but you need to see these in person. That's not what we're paying. Come on, I'll open it up. Come on, no pressure. No pressure, Al. I've got a minute to do it. Oh no. Here you go, I think I've done it. Oh gosh, the last thing I want to do is literally throw a load of mandarin garnets everywhere. Here we go, slowly, slowly, slowly. There we are, we got there in the end. Oh my goodness me. There's a reason why I wanted to open it. And this is why. Nine ninety nine, and we're going lower. Mandarin garnet is actually one of the rarest forms of garnet. Oh, and yet, oh no, my tweezers are sticky now. Hang on. <laughs> Seven ninety nine. That's a joke. That is actually a joke. It's actually a joke for mandarin garnet. 2.9 carats of mandarin garnet. We never see it. We don't see it on strands. Very rarely, anyway. Yeah, imagine that. I, 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 yeah, wow. Have a little look at the Harry Winston mandarin garnet ring. Again, it's, it, it, it's a big, beautiful mandarin garnet that takes centre stage, and then it's got a wonderful halo um, of turquoise all the way around. Those beautiful colour contrasts look absolutely amazing. It's so rare, very, very rare, and again, completely and utterly natural. To be able to bring you a parcel at 7 99 is frankly ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous. This is a fine, highly collectible gemstone. I mean, if I'm using 
using uh, sort of descriptions like Harry Winston, um, then you know of its extreme rarity. Seven ninety nine, not just for the one, for the whole parcel. For the whole parcel, let me just show show you these beautiful. The spinels and the mandarin garnets you can get for less than thirty pounds. How many do we have of these then, Ross? Really? I'd be getting hold of these, even without a design in mind, even without a, a sort of, a, okay, I'll, I'm going to be maybe prong setting them, or I'm going to be maybe... Um, this is the ring that I was just describing. So it's called Candy. Uh, Candy by Harry Winston. So you can actually see it just there. You can see all of the beautiful diamonds that have been invested within this piece as well. Um, and I'm going to read you my notes whilst you appreciate this. So an extremely rare variety of orange garnet, often referred to as mandarin for, vi for its vivid colour. The combination of vivid colour and high refraction makes this gemstone a true miracle of beauty. Vivid oranges and deep hues are the most desirable, especially when you see clarity um, and size. With its fiery comet-like appearance, Mandarin Garnet first appeared some decades ago. Specialists and collectors flocked to own it um, for its uh, sunset hues. Deposits previously discovered were exhausted quickly as uh, so little of this grade was being unearthed. Wow, 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 amazing. Okay, now it is time for your your reel of sterling silver lace. Isn't it funny when you literally, uh, how, how they finish your precious metal chains can be so different. Diamond cutting, uh, cutting, gram weights, whichever it is. This is five meters and you'll see the polishing itself looks, yeah, positively lace-like. So it comes on the spool itself and I will take this off for you, meaning you can obviously customize it. You can customize it. Um, and obviously nothing is going to be wasted um, on each and every single one of your commissions. But here we go. If I just layer it over the back of my hand, you'll see the difference to maybe what other chains that you've actually had here in the past. Look at that. Beautiful, fine, but a, 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 you know, a, a collection of fine uh, sterling silver chains brought together um, to create this beautiful rope effect. Five meters on the spool, again, something that you can use with your featherweight head pins. I know that when we uh, first brought this to air, some of us were using our, our, our gauges of wire just li literally to um, attach and wrap loop um, uh, directly our, our, our sort of clasps onto that. Five meters, and look at that gram weight on your screens now. Um, over eight and a quarter grams of your precious metal. Um, earlier on, we were, when we were bringing you the deal of the day, uh, we had that selenite necklace that we were showing you. So if you were thinking about maybe suspending just a few of your, um, of your selenites, I think it was five, wasn't it, across the front? You, this would be the perfect chain to do that because you have those um, very gentle, subtle exposed areas within the actual chain uh, to attach onto. Now, the graphics are live. How many do we have of these? Do we have quantity? A hundred. Mm. Ask the question because it's always a necessity. You know, because you don't want to. You don't always want to cut up chains that you've got within your stash. You don't always want to cut up bracelets if you like. And if you were to go into a, an actual silver workshop, this is how they're going to create the necklaces and the bracelets, um, and, and the earrings if you like, whatever design um, that they're going to be showcasing because it's more cost effective. Less is wasted. Less needs to be sort of uh, um, reticulated, I think is the expression that you use, isn't it? Where you actually melt it all down. 99.99. So five meters. How much did, is that? Did we work that out as being 10? <coughs> if we're talking about 18 inch chains, I think that's 10, just over 10, isn't it? We've done the maths on this before. It should, I should know it. Yeah, just over 10. 10 fine sterling silver chains. And when I'm saying fine, I'm not referring to the weight. I'm referring to the finish. So if, the, if you do, if that's exactly what you do, that's £5 per chain. 
and we are going lower, even lower. That's incredible. I mean, again, comparing with ourselves, we can't bring you sterling silver chains. Uh, sometimes we might be a bit naughty and bring, just squeeze them underneath, but we shouldn't. Remember the prices of your precious metal? It's not gone down, no. Over the past uh, two, three years, remember, we, we, we predicted it, not us personally, but the bullion market absolutely predicted an upturn in prices, um, and it has sustained that high price per gram weight, £39.99. pence. That means that you can make 10, 18-inch fine precious metal chains for £4. Yeah, £4 per chain. And you'll still have a little bit left over maybe to make a, a, I don't know, a matching bracelet. Or you could do even more bracelets. Or you could do a ton of your precious metal earrings. You could make some beautiful tassels out of this because it literally feels like silk. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everyone. Amazing, amazing. Again, once again, apologies uh, for the fact that Toby wasn't with us. He's literally stuck in traffic. But don't you worry, I am going to be joined by the gorgeous Gemma Crow after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. 
If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Look who it is. She's back. I'm back. I'm you did back. your mojo. I had a little break. Did my Monday mojo. Monday mojo. Just Love that. talk on a Monday. Those of you that don't know, you can join Clem, uh, Gemma on your mojo, can't you? Cross mojo, yeah. It's, it's, it's on it's Facebook, lovely. by the way, if yeah. you're thinking, what on earth are they talking about? <laughs> but you're back. I'm back. You are back. Um, thank you once again for stepping in. Oh, you're welcome. It's lovely to be here. I was really happy. Little dose of our lovely yeah. Gemma Crow, um, especially with kits like this. Especially. Now you've just heard where they're going to. Yeah, it's un unbelievable. I mean, they're so good. The kits are so good. They're, I love hematite anyway. Me too. Uh, anything metallic, you know, I, I love hematite. So um, yeah. I mean, look, you get what one, two, three, four, five different kits. Mm. Um, there's there's a, like a twist on all of them, whether it be colours, whether it be the mm. additions to it. They're all available on pre-order, so do have a little look ahead. Um, they are going to an incredible price tag. Now I'm going to start with the Whopper. Yeah. Yeah. Should we start with the Whopper? I've been playing with this one this morning. Have you? Well, yeah. I've seen that really beautiful, uh, That's beautiful the long line I've necklace. Got those two there from this morning. Oh yes. It's gorgeous. Tell you what. I tell you what. No, no messing around, our Gemma. Um, and the perfect addition of my Yuki beads. If I can get them to all stand you up. Can. It's, these are lovely because you can colour match them or you can colour contrast them. It's really up to you. That's the yeah. options. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, you, you can see the pinky colour of your hematite. Now, mm. hematite is a genuine gemstone, of course. Um, uh, that, in this case, has uh, obviously been uh, coated, mm -hmm. lovingly coated with this beautiful metallic-like colour. It's always one of our biggest sellers here at mm. Jewelry Maker Hematite, and I can absolutely see why. It's a form of iron oxide, and like most other gemstones that exhibit a metallic luster, hematite is remarkably dense um, and very high in refraction. Most people would imagine a refraction to be internally, but it can also um, have a result, uh, an influence to the external uh, beauty of the gemstone. Typically always opaque, um, but of course, uh, like a blackish silver like grey, but very distinctive one that um, it's, it's quite tricky, a bit like the Malachite actually, uh, to sort of misinterpret it for, as any other gemstone mm -hmm. that's out there. But here's a few fun facts. Did you know that hematite has been found by NASA on Mars? Mm. And you can almost see that, can't you? This yeah. kind of sci-fi uh, sci -fi influence. Some of the earliest writing materials in human history uh, was actually uh, hematite due to its appearance prior to uh, the polishing process um, this is estimated to be about 164,000 years ago wow. but bringing it back to your jewelry making you love it because of the density because it's it's pretty because you get a lovely color because you get gorgeous sparkle um, and also jewelry maker offer it to you at a super affordable price tag so eight components four strands and four tubes of your seed beads which are uh, eight toes mm. They're like gold dust. Yeah, they're ideal. They're the perfect size spacer. Now, we had lovely Alice step in then for a second ago. Yeah, we did. We should have said, Alice, where'd you get the eight O's from? Yeah. They're like gold dust, they yeah. are. Yeah. And she's saying this is called party. Yeah, it is like a party, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I, it's gorgeous. I love them all together. You hold, I've separated mine out, but I love them held all together like that. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Ross has just said, that's the kind of party I want to go to. Yeah. You know, if you were to look at it, that does look like a fun party, doesn't it? Does. It? it does. It does. <laughs> it I does. want to go as well. <laughs> it does. Yeah. It's sort of, I love hematite. It's sort of fun, but it's sort of sophisticated as at well. At the same time. You don't, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you're thinking, oh, no, too much for me, I wouldn't wear all of that colour. When you actually scale it down, you can yeah. tone it down, can't yeah, you? I love when it. You, you, these are great use uh, additions for maybe spacer beads if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or... 
All keep them as they are in a big fiesta. Yeah, that, yeah, fiesta, a party. You're right, yeah. With it's your moonstone that we had earlier on. The other thing that hematite always adds, I think, is weight. So, because it's quite a weighty gemstone, it's mm. nice if you're using seed beads in particular, which are quite light. It's nice to have the addition of hematite to sort of weight the weight the design. Mm. It's you know, and feels it feels more expensive. Something's heavy, it feels is expensive, more expensive. Isn't Absolutely. It? Yeah, yeah, totally. With everything as well. Yeah. Clothes, Not just beads, yeah. clothes. Yeah, handbags. Glassware, yeah. handbags. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. Tableware, yeah. It is so true. If, it, if it's lightweight, you're like, oh. Mm. So you're like disappointed. Yeah. I totally get that. Now, we're at £10 per component. You can shop ahead on all the other colours as well. We are not stopping there. In fact, let's start making our way towards your party deal. How about five pounds per component? So that's yeah. your mystic pink hematite, your green blue hematite, your coffee uh, hematite, and your purple, plus then your four tubes of Ato Mayukis. They're like gold dust, old oh, gold mm. dust Atos. Yeah. Like hen's teeth. Price per component, says Roscoe. Oh, <laughs> I love how you say that, Ross. We're going well low. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Three seventy-five per component. That's, that's really well cool. law. That is. You're not from. You're not from Yorkshire, are you? No. no. <laughs> Close north. <laughs> uh, the, you know the galvanised um, seed beads. I mean, they're eight eight ninety nine. Yes. Tube. You know, just let's standard. round it down. Yeah. Say like here at Jewelry Maker, seven pounds yeah. a tube. Okay. So seven, fourteen, twenty-one, uh, twenty-eight pounds in the in the CB tubes alone. Yeah, yeah. And that means you're getting four strands of hematite for the extra couple of quid. Yeah. Basically, that's nuts. Yeah, it's a great it's a great deal because there's, there's so many opportunities with this. Whether you love seed beading or whether you just you love um, creating statement jewelry or whether you like creating simple stretches. Yeah, stack of styles. You know, there's so much opportunity in this. Absolutely. The, uh, you get generous drill holes with your hematite as well. You so you, they will breeze onto most of your wires. Yeah. Even if you did, as you said, Gem, here we go. Simple stretchy bracelets like that. Look how gorgeous that is. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Really beautiful. Now, I've got a little bit of announcement before we go to the demonstration. Okay. All of the kits, the green, the blue, the purple, the gold, are available on pre-order and... They're going under £10. <gasps> Are they? What? So that means uh, three strands of hematite plus additions under £10. Oh. You can shop ahead. I'd be, I'd be, I'd, I'd literally, yeah. I'd be going uh, going all out on this one. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And if you scroll down, I know it says 72.98. I know it says 82 pounds 98. Ignore those. Um, you can check out and everybody will pay that final low price tag. Guaranteed, and I've said it now, verbalized it literally live on air. They are going under 10 pounds. So by shopping ahead, you are guaranteeing your success. Wow. Any questions that you have for our lovely Gemma, um, who very kindly has stepped in um, this morning. So thank you so much, Gemma. Okay. Um, you're gonna. What are you gonna show us? I'm gonna show you how to create. There's a design on the end. It's a bit like a fan, but it's upside I down. Wrote, is it? Yeah. Ups, well, it's an upside down fan. Oh, oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You I was know, like, oh, oh no, it's not. You know, I sort of set it like up the other way. So it's fan. Yes, it is, and, and it's almost a bit ginkgo leaf, isn't it? Yeah. As well. So I thought I'd show you how to do that, and show you that you know the combinations of of beads and sizes that you've got here will allow you to create these different motifs. You don't just have to single thread them. You know, you can you can do some really interesting patterns and shapes with them. So I'm going to show you how to create that, that sort of fan motif mm -hmm. and also how to use your tassels because, of course, with all the colours, you get all the lovely tassel ends Love and it. you might as well use them. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of wire um, as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I, is that coming up today? Yeah, I assume so, yeah. yes. It so is coming that's up. That's great because you've got um, wire that you can do this with too. So, yeah. Perfect. 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 Okay, Take it away. So, right. So, to start with, we start with, um, I think some people call this a right angle weave and some people call it um, a ladder weave. And that's basically what we're going to do. But we're just going to change it up a bit so that we create this circular shape. Okay. 
So if we, I'm, I'm obviously going to work on a smaller piece of thread because I'm, I'm demoing, but if you were making a, a necklace, I try to use one piece of thread for the whole thing so it makes a motif and then it goes up around the neckline. You don't have to add thread in. Okay, what, what so, kind of length would I need then for the whole piece? So for doing that, you'll, you'll probably want to use about a metre and a half okay. of your beading thread. And I've got a standard beading thread here. This one's coloured just because it's what was available, but any beading thread will be fine. You won't really see the thread. Okay, so take off a nice long working length um, of about a metre and a half. And when we start creating this, we'll start um, at, we'll start in the, roughly in the middle of the, of the thread, okay? okay? And that should give us enough either side to complete the necklace. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, thread on one of my hematites. That's going to be the centre bead. So I'm going to let that sit, drop down to the centre of my thread. And then either side of that, I'm going to thread a mirror image um, of, each, of each other. So this side, I'm going to thread on a hematite and three um, of my ATO seed beads. And then the other side, I'm going to do the same. So a hematite and three of my ATO seed beads. Okay. I'm going to let those all drop down to the center. Okay, so once they're there at the center, then I'm going to um, take one of my threads all the way around and back down through three of my, my three atos and my hematite. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna show you a tip that really helps. Um, I'm gonna take a, just a featherweight head pin, or you can take a bit of 0.4 wire um, and do this. And I am going to just thread that through these three, this section here, okay? So basically, this, these are like the rungs in my ladder. These, this section here is like the rungs in my ladder, okay? So um, I wanna keep them nice and straight. If I don't do this here, what happens is this goes in a curve and then it's hard to attach into later and you lose the initial shape. So just pop that, that head pin through there just to keep that straight. This one sits on the outside of the, of the sort of ladder that we create and it helps give us that um, curve because this is smaller this end and larger this end and that will make more sense as I go through. So now I'm gonna take the, um, another, one of the, the end of my wire, so the, the beading thread that's coming through, the one where I've put the wire through the center, I'm gonna take that one all the way round and now down through the three atos, down through there, and through that, that um, hematite, okay? And I'm gonna pull this into a circle. So I'm gonna grab hold of that tail. I'm gonna pull that down. And remember, you're trying to keep this central on your wire as well. So on your beading thread, you're trying to keep this nice and central. I'm gonna put that down, hold it down while I pull it into that shape, okay? So we've got like almost like a little teardrop shape formed there. Okay, so now what I do is I'm gonna repeat this. So that's the start and then we're I'm gonna pull the wire up like that and like that, and that sort of locks that in, so it stops it sort of un undoing and losing the tension. So now on this wire, I'm going to pick up, so the one that's coming out of the, the ATO beads, I'm gonna pick up three ATO beads. Okay, and one hematite. So I pick those up. And then on this side, I'm gonna pick up one hematite. Okay, so pick that one up and let that drop down there. And then I'm gonna take the thread that I've just threaded the hematite onto. I'm gonna pick up my beads that I've just threaded onto this side. So the hematite and the three atos. I'm gonna take that thread up through those, those beads. Okay, so that is essentially creating another rung. So the rungs have two wires, two of the beading threads passing through them and the, the other hematites sit on the outside. Now you can see this, this edge is sort of um, bigger than this edge, which means it's gonna start forming into that sort of um, fan shape. And if you keep going, you'll form a circle. So like a, almost like a mandala. So you can create lovely pendants like this too. Oh yeah, all the way around. All the way around, yeah. So you can keep, keep going like that. I'll do one more just to show that again, and then we'll come on to one that I've nearly finished. So. On the hematite side, the outer edge, you add one hematite and you let that sit just down 
by the others. On the side that comes out of the ato beads, you add three atos and a hematite, okay? Just pick one up. And so then that hematite, okay? And then you take the thread that you've put the hematite onto up through those three beads, those four beads, sorry. The rung and pull. Okay, and as you go, so also when you do this, try and keep your beading thread flat um, on the desk because that will help it sit flat all the way through. If you do it up in the air, sometimes it twists and um, loses its, its shape a bit. So try and do it so that your beading thread stays nice and flat on the surface. Okay, so this is how you start. You carry on for as long as you, as you want to or until you get um, <coughs> sort of all the way round. I've got this fan shape's gone all the way round now and you'll see I've got two nice long lengths of, of um, thread to work with to complete my, my design. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this, um, this, in fact, I've got one too many on here. I'm just going to take one off because what I want is the longer thread to do the next bit. So I need this longer thread. Okay, so before we come on to um, progressing this, I'm gonna create the little, um, the little topper for the tassel so that we can add that tassel in as we go. So I'll just pop that to the side. I'm gonna take um, some bell making pliers and I've got um, a one millimeter wire here, but um, you could go down to a 0.8 or a 0.6 to do this. I'll find the end of my wire. Seems to have disappeared. There it is. Okay. Take my bell making pliers and I'm going to choose the um, the size of mandrel. So it doesn't have to be a six step bell maker. It can be, it can be a pen, but um, it can be anything round that you can shape mm. shape um, your wire around. We want to create a top that's going to sit on this lovely purple tassel. So I'm going to go here on my third, fourth biggest. Um, mandrel here which is about a five um, millimeter six millimeter and I'm going to grip and turn grip and turn okay so I'll just show you that again from the beginning actually because I got ahead of myself didn't I so take your wire um, and I've got a nice flush cut on there I'm gonna pop that into the jaws of my flush cutters and I don't want anything sticking out I want it right inside the jaws there and then I'm Gripping the pliers and holding them with my dominant hand and with my non-dominant hand, I'm sort of pushing the wire against the pliers as I turn my wrist. Once I get so far and I, it's uncomfortable to turn my wrist any further, I then just release the grip, turn the pliers back over, so let it spin within that circle you've created and turn again. So release the grip, turn, release the grip, turn, release the grip, turn, and you keep going until you've got a sort of cylinder a coil of wire that is long enough to sort of cover all the bits of the tassel that you don't want to see. So I just keep going round and round. And if I just take that up, I can see that's about the right length for my tassel. Okay, so once I'm there, I just remove my pliers, my bell makers, and then I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna have, a, it's gonna be a bit of a guess, guesswork here. Um, I want to create now a spiral that's gonna be about the same circumference as, or the same diameter as the tube that I've created as this. Um, so I'm gonna go for around an inch and a half of wire, I think that would be plenty. And then I'm gonna take my round nose pliers, very tip of my round nose pliers onto the very tip of the wire. So try not to have any poking out. We wanna get a really nice center on here, nice tight circle center. So holding again with my dominant hand, pushing with my thumb against the tip of the pliers to really get a nice tight circle to start with. Okay, so round like this. And we're creating, so I'm pushing that around to start creating that, that spiral. And once I've got this far, I need to swap and use some flat nose pliers because now I need to hold across the spiral whilst I continue to turn it in. So holding across a spiral and turning it in, hold across, push, push that in, and we want to get that as close to the cylinder as possible. I'm going to keep turning it into the cylinder, and I'm going to have to lift it slightly so I can carry on. What I want is this to sit 
on the top of the of oh, the okay. cylinder. Okay, so it's literally like a like I don't know, like a can. Yeah. So yeah. Now you can do it upright and then twist it over, so it's like a little bin and with a bin lid. Um, but sometimes it's hard to get it closed neatly when you do that. So I try to turn it into the piece. Mm -hmm. yep. So now we've got a little tassel topper. So that can now sit into there quite nicely. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do now is get these components ready. Um, where am I? Right. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so get these components ready. So um, there you go. There's my, the last of my, my rungs on my fan. Um, and you see I've still got my bit of wire in there that I said would help. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to take my length of beading thread that's coming from the inside of this sort of curve and I'm going to thread on a combination of gemstones to lead me down into the tassel. So I'm going to pop on three of my um, eight toes. So one, two, three, and maybe four. Let's go four, actually. Four of those, four eight toes. Then one of my hematites. And then one more hematite. Okay, and I'm just going to pull that so that it sits like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my beading thread down through my tassel topper that I've created. So through the, the loop in the top, through there. I'm going to then thread it through my tassel. Um, now I've got a little bit of the, I've got the crimp left on there. So make sure you get rid of that crimp from the end of the strand. We take the beading thread through the little loop in the top of the tassel. Let's get that. We wiggle through. Oh, there we go. And then back up through the top of the tassel. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull that until the tassel sits inside and it's nice and tight in there. Okay, so then to tie all this in, I'm going to bring my thread back up through the hematite, the first hematite. We want to make sure we're keeping that tension. So you can see it's come a little bit loose here, so just Make sure that you're always tightening the design up. So giving it a good, good pull through. Okay, so now that's at the center there. So now what we want to do is repeat what we did the other side. So I'm going to pick up a hematite and four of my eight O's. So one, two, three, four. And then this is where this little piece of wire came in handy. Okay, so I'm just going to now pull that out and it's going to give me a nice straight run through the beads. If I hadn't had that in there, that would be curved and it would take a bit more time to thread it through. So I'm going to pull that, that through. Like so. And that pulls the whole fan design together. Okay, so we've now got this. Lovely. Yeah. And then we want to bring it into actually into the necklace. So what we're going to do is we've got these threads either side and we should have plenty to go up around our neckline so we can carry on beading with these. So I'm going to bring this thread through the first of the hematites on the outside, pull that through and then I'm going to pick up another hematite just to sit in that little space that's created. So you see I've got this little space here. So I'm going to pick up a hematite and then take the thread through the next bead along. And that's just sort of filled that little space out a little bit on the edge. So we'll do the same the other side. The other thing that this does is because we're bringing the thread path back, it firms everything up and keeps everything mm. um, nice and tight and so that your pattern, um, so that your pattern stays neat. So this side, again, I'm gonna take the thread through the first, sort of back on itself through that first hematite Pull it in nice and tight. Pick up another hematite and take it. Take the thread. Let that sit in there, and then take the thread 
through the next hematite along. Okay, and pull that in nice and tight. Okay. We have just introduced graphics for some of oh, your yeah. other kits, and as you can see, four different colorways. Right now is green. You know they're going under £10. Um, can I just double check? Green. Because I've got the three strands of hematite and then the two tassels. Sorry, Gemma. That's okay. These are lovely. It's just... Do you get the cord as well? Because I don't have... See, I don't have... I've got the blue cord. Oh, and you get the blue cord as well? Okay, yeah. I don't have that here in the studio, but, but you do get that. Okay, there we go. No, it's all good. It's all good, Dan. We've got because we've got the picture of it right now. It's all good. Oh, he's passing it in. Ever so efficient. Aww. Thank you. Bless you, Dan. Um, apparently, Ruth's been calling him gorgeous all morning. Is that true? Yeah. Gorgeous, Dan. Yeah. yeah. Take Aww. it. Just it's don't. Just don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. Three threaded. So nine ninety nine only um, for the green. Um, and we've got sort of different versions in the different colourways as well. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, Gemma. Sorry, I didn't beautiful. want to interrupt. Uh, but you, you've got the green colour, the blue colour, and the gold, and the purple. But so I'll bring the gold one on. I love the gold. So that's, the, that's what I did with the gold one. Amazing! Um, it's just, that's two strands knotted. Oh, it's hidden behind your, uh, behind oh, your storage box. Let me bring this. Bring it forward. There you go. There. Amazing. Oh, Gemma, that's gorgeous just feels so lovely because obviously the hematite is so weighty and then with the knotting in between gives it that lovely fluidity and you have those tassels within it as well yeah, love yeah. that love the gold one i think that one's going to be um yeah with a black cord as well i think that's going to the shape of it the shape of them is lovely as well because they're like a cube but mm. with a little pointy end yeah so they're really lovely shape gorgeous love so you them. could treat them almost as spaces couldn't you yeah uh, back to you darling okay right well we're we're now just going to head up now to continue to bead around the neckline so i've got my um beading thread is protruding now from these um from the second hematites along now it's really up to you you could continue so that you've got your your beading thread coming up through the center um or you can um you know take it from the sides it's really up to you wherever you decide you'd like the neckline to start um coming from so for me it was just i chose these two areas here and so now you just start beading. So I picked up three, um, three eightos um, and did just sort of three eighto spaces, then a hematite. I went to three and just repeated that all the way then to the length of the necklace I wanted. And you can see that one's sort of hooked um, held up behind the bust. But actually, it's a really long line piece yeah. um, that sort of sits around 26 inches long. So that's how many, how far the hematite go with when you've got them spaced with those seed beads. You know, so you can make it as short or as long as you like, really. And but also, so we had those, those lovely moonstones earlier on. Wouldn't they be lovely yeah. with the moonstone? Well, yeah, this is it. You, could, um, you can sort of add in... Mm. Um, wherever you like and th th these sort of curves and things that you create um, offer you the opportunity to add sort of centerpieces and other elements into into the sort of negative space that you create with these patterns so there's like so many so many opportunities to sort of evolve these designs mm. but that that's it that's that's the whole that's how that design works and only using one one piece of thread keeps it really simple as well Beautiful. I'm loving each and every single one of these. And uh, uh, yeah, the kits are proven to be very popular. You've got That's the purple nice. and the blue. Um, in fact, should we do the purple now just to show you That's everything lovely. that you're getting within? And again, for those of you that are shopping on the phone lines, Okay, you feel that weight that Lovely, you were referencing. Purple is always one of the most popular colours, again, whether that's fashion um, in clothing mm -hmm. or in your jewellery. Um, but it's not just a flat purple, is it? You've actually right. got real metallic beauty yeah. to this. Matched with, it's, well, let's hold it that way. You can see the 0 0.9 millimetre, pre-threaded too. Mm -hmm. So can you see that there? That's actually a little, uh, little needle pre-threaded purple uh, um, nylon cord, three strands just here of your, of your hematite, and then also you have 
uh, your two really beautiful purple tassels. Under £10 for all of this. I mean, I'm surprised the fact that you can get the cord and the tassels for less than yeah. £10. Yeah, that's They're lovely. the three strands. Yeah, those strands are lovely. They're so lovely. You know, um, we've knotted them, but they're ideal for channel setting because of how yeah. they sit. They've got that sort of cube-like structure. Yeah. So they sit beautifully next to one another, rowed up. Amazing. Gorgeous. Love it. And you can tessellate them because you reference yeah. the fact that that shape. Mm. Yeah, you could almost tessellate them together. Right, the last of the kits. And again, if, if you've missed any of these, then just speak to our call centre because um, some of them are still available right now for the blue. I'd love to row up the blue and the gold in like a collar Cleopatra style piece. Ooh. That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Yeah, almost like replacing the lapis. Yeah. Yeah, lovely idea. Yeah. You know where it's going. Electric blue, full of luster. Two of your gorgeous tassels and slight twist. This is the white woven nylon cord. So you're getting 30 meters here. That's a lot of tassels <laughs> or a lot of knotting. Um, this is one millimeter in its thickness. So you could work it in the same way, couldn't you, as the previous? Yeah, it will, it will pass through. Breeze right through. Electric blue. Oh, you're loving it. Uh, you're absolutely loving this colour, yeah. Alison, Eva, Tracy, Nikki, Leanne, hello to you. Uh, hello, Jill, loving your demo, Gemma. These kids are fab, and your jewellery is just beautiful. Oh, thanks, Jill. Isn't that Thank lovely? Thank you. I've really loved it. I'm, I've got to work with them this morning. It's just like, ooh, what a hello. feast. You've been spoilt this morning, haven't I have. you? I've you've had, had you've a had real selenite. feast gems, yeah. You've had rhodochrosite. Yes. Malachite. Malachite. Beautiful hematite. Should we say selenite again? Selenite. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's need another mention. Oh, I know that deal of the day. <laughs> so that deal of the day was absolutely amazing. Um, okay, now Wayne has just been in, has he? He's given us some pearls. The ones on the T bar. Oh yeah. There are two of these. Oh, only two. You're going to tell me these are natural as well, aren't you? I think I saw our lovely Sue and Anne working with these the other day. Anne loves these. Yes, she does, yeah. And she's made a, a very successful career mm. knotting pearls. Yeah. And she goes to a lot of different um, events. It's not necessarily artisanal. Well, they are artisanal markets, aren't they? But yeah. they're, uh, she goes to the big L events. Big, big craft fairs. Yes. Yes. Um, there are two of these available. Yes, I, I think I saw Anne and Sue working with them as well. Knotted with silk, mm. with your precious metal. Um, they are naturally coloured and you have beautiful La Pedagrina drops. Mm. A few, if you can't quite decide between, you know, the uh, uh, sort of the more um, purpley colours or whether you prefer the more um, blush orange like colours, then this strand is bringing it all to you because you've got a, a huge selection. But even beyond that, remember, it's all about the five virtues when we're talking about your pearls. You get the shape, you get the size, you talk about uh, the nacre as well. Um, but the fact that you have got multiple colours and it's not a case that they've been coated or mm -hmm. dyed. Um, remember that anomaly that I spoke about earlier on during that unbelievable pearl strand? Um, and I just spoke about the, uh, a single pearl rolling towards the uh, circumference of, um, of the oyster. Now, we're under £1,000. There are two of these available. The rock bottom price that we can offer on these today, says Ross. Um, <laughs> again, not it, precious metal and worthwhile having valued. It is worthwhile having because the re real rarity of naturally coloured mm. and also metallic, which I think is something we've missed off our graph. That's ridiculous. Okay. That's got to be one of the lower. Did I, I didn't launch these. Did we? Two, uh, £249. Look at the quality of those colours. They're fantastic, aren't they? I think you could probably command that per pearl, couldn't you? If you yeah. Want. Well, this is, a, you know, earrings or, or in a, you know, just simple necklace. Well, this is what Sally Hewer has been saying recently to, uh, to, 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 to Dave. Well done. One of these are left. Mm. Oh, look, those two need to be a pair of earrings, don't they? Mm. In fact, that could be a suite, those three. Yeah. Those three just there. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You've got red and it's all natural. There's one left. Well done. Oh, they've sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. 
Unbelievable. Yeah, Sally Hill was saying basically it's no longer viable, financially viable, to sell them by the strand because they are so rare. I, I, I did see Dan bringing these in. Are we, are we doing a recap? Thursday? Mr. Troth joined me in the studio for the partnership launch of natural white onyx. Yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? It was amazing. Mm -hmm. That massive drop and, yeah, gorgeous rounds. We've only got eight mil and six mil left. That's Ooh. it. I'm surprised there's only six mil left. And me. <laughs> um, why was this so rare? It was the gemstone of, t uh, the gemstone of uh, 2022 Tucson. Me no, let me rephrase this. Onyx in the market is dyed. We know that. We know that. We, we should expect that. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, one location have discovered a natural source of pure white onyx. Um, but more than that, when you look at onyx, and I'm not talking about this, the, the onyx that's possibly, well, they all have been dyed, but most onyx will have a level of opacity. These are translucent onyxes and they absolutely flew out the door now i'm just trying to jog my memory dave was saying we we you we can get this we can get it again we're not you're not going to stand here and tell you that we can't get hold of it because we but we can what we can't do is get it at the price that you're about to see because big designers are working with Black onyx, which has been dyed, like Tiffany's and Co. in 18 karat gold, like Bulgari and Boucheron. Black onyx. Gorgeous. But in this one location, which we can show you a photograph of, in Brazil, a remote area of Brazil, you can see that location is capped with pure natural white onyx but again we can get it we will get it again probably but no way near the prices that you're about to see this was not even brought on uh, um, our sister's channels in strands they had individual pieces of jewelry mm. and he said at the time i don't think anything was over 10 carats out the last remaining quantities of your eight millimeter pure natural white onyx you heard it mentioned literally by one of our lovely viewers who texted into the studio this morning saying that with the selenite mm. that would be absolutely incredible mm. if we were to stop here that's amazing and incredibly competitive because we're not talking about bleached or dyed onyx here the the, the real rarity and we, yeah I, I can remember ross ross was saying to me in my ear do you remember how low we went on this l I do, because he made, he made a price promise, didn't he? Every single one of the four opportunities that we launched, that's it, there was only four, were promised under £100. The largest carat weight in a strand, eight millimetres, so that's this one here, I'm bringing you the six mil in a few moments time. We didn't even stop at 99.99. How many do we have left though? Okay, under 20 of these remain. It's a small launch par uh, parcel. It is. We don't have a big quantity, and that is the rarity of your pure Blanca, he called it, didn't he? Blanca Onyx. Wow. £64.99 pence only, as if you can get hold of this. From one location in the world, £16.24 pence on your split pay. This is all about the 8 mil. There are less than 20 opportunities. Um, these are the smooth, these are the faceted. Yeah, and if you remember, Anne and Sue created a really beautiful long line pendant with the high goo, um, and they also had that lovely uh, white onyx drop yes. too. Now, we're recapping these. Shall we do the six millimetres? The only faceted, like you, I'm very surprised to mm. see that these are still available. Imagine this with those pearls that you just seen. Imagine this with your selenite. Oh, my goodness. Imagine this with your black jadeite. Yeah, gorgeous, yeah. 
that would work. Why were we all surprised about the, for the fact that these are faceted rounds? Because effectively you're cutting carrot weight away. Mm. Six mils are, are always our most popular size in your rounds. We saw it in the selenite earlier on that all but sold out and it was exactly the same in this opportunity. 90 carats. Very, very, very limited. We'll do it in one price crash. Matching that launch price. Fifty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence for the six millimeter rounds. Um, yeah, like I said, you those of you who will be thinking onyx, onyx, on, onyx can be quite inexpensive. Mm. Yes, it can. The one that's died. Yes, it can. That's inexpensive, and it's much more opaque. This really has an ability to mm. to glow. You love this, didn't I you? I do. I do love it. I love that glow. I love onyx. I do love onyx. I love. I love it died. I you know. Um, and it's when I remember from childhood. I remember onyx being yeah. something that I knew about. So I do love it, but just think that the dyed versions, you know, they don't have to be perfect, do they? Because they're going to take a dye. These exactly, have got to yeah. be the, the best The specimen. perfect level yeah. of purity. Yeah. This was the most popular. I don't know, actually, that's a bit unfair. But so many of you love this drop. It's gorgeous. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah, it's half drilled. If I just point that towards you. So all you need to do is literally create your bale or... or, or, or add your bale with a bit of jewelry making glue mm. that is what it play, what it did with light because if you remember if you think back to uh, thursday morning um i put a torch behind it and you saw this really beautiful glow it kind of does um to light what jadeite does to light in the same way um it has this magical sort of absorption it's 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 absolutely incredible again so for your uh, blanca onyx discovered in one location this is a mm, this is the Biggest, was it the biggest carrot weight? Yeah, the biggest solitaire uh, that we actually had. And hindsight, we should have perhaps started that showcase um, on Thursday with this one. 99.99. Oh no, I've just, it's just, I've just remembered. Oh my goodness, it's just, I've just remembered. I don't, I didn't see what this went Did you not? To. No. How many do we have? Oh goodness me, they're gonna go. It's just dawned on me what we did with this. Yeah, it's huge. Sixty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's amazing, isn't it? You can get this home for seventeen pounds and forty-nine. It's huge. I was saying, Gemma, you know, like uh, those um, not complete three hundred and sixty necklaces, the ones which almost look like scarves. Yeah. I... Can you imagine getting two of these? Wow. <laughs> and actually having one on either end, like a scarf that you would just come and drape around. Blimey. Yeah, you wouldn't want to throw that over your no, shoulder, would you? Don't throw it. <laughs> don't throw it over your shoulder. No, definitely. Oops, definitely, definitely not. But imagine how beautiful. Literally just have them down the front, I yeah. would. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's... Even like on a scarf bale. Yeah. Because it's big enough. It's got that, that boldness to it. So yeah. maybe hanging from a scarf bale would be fantastic. Oh, goodness me. Well done. Well done. Stay where you are. Now, I've got time to just quickly recap. And um, there are three of these left. I'm okay with that, you know. <laughs> Seven of you have got it in your basket, mine, but I'm totally okay with there being three of these left. Because <laughs> it does mean I'm getting one. I don't... I, I, I'll be honest. I've, I think this is probably one of my favourite strands I've seen in... Yeah, you were a bit speechless when that came in, weren't you? Utterly <laughs> speechless. It literally just, oh, that's what jewellery's about, though, isn't it? That's mm. what gemstones are all about. It's, it's one of those pieces. It's one of, gemstones literally, they choose you, not the other way around. Do we all agree? Yeah, that's true, actually. That is true. Sometimes some things just really jump out and scream at you, don't they? Do you know what? I've just had a thought of that with a smoky quartz. Oh... Uh. That would look amazing. Nice. Well, I asked the question then, I'm going to say it again. I, I truly believe in my 23 years of working with gemstones, I've never seen pearls this beautiful. So I'm going to ask you the question. Have you ever seen anything more stunning than this? I will be joining you on this opportunity. Um, it's unreal quality. And obviously, it's a considered price tag. 
Break it down into bite-sized chunks, if you like. Um, you've got five months, 0% interest to get hold of these, um, and the kind of thing that you should, you definitely should get valued. Um, I wouldn't put, personally, I wouldn't put it with sterling silver. Personally, this is something that would go with the uh, with, with your 18 karat golds. Mm. Um, it's unbelievable. Use that 30-day money-back guarantee, and again, just because this might well be the only chance that I get, but I will be checking them out after. Imagine owning something like that. Stunning. Unbelievable. Yeah. Gemma, thank you, thank oh. you, thank you so much thank for joining for me this morning. Um, I've loved having you here as always. Do you know when you're back? Uh, no, I've no idea. Fingers crossed soon. <laughs> Fingers soon, crossed yeah. very soon. But again, I know you stepped in last minute, so thank you yes, very much yeah. for doing that. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody, um, on this opportunity. Um, it's been wonderful. Likewise with your selenite, likewise with these pills. But have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you soon.